Well, hello. Hello, welcome, welcome uh, to Let's Play End of Dragons Part 5. It almost sounds crazy to say this is just Part 5, doesn't it? Really? Jesus. <laughs> We're so many hours in and only five videos. I kind of love that. <laughs> you know, I really do. Um, so, yeah, anyway, welcome, welcome, guys. Uh, I'm really excited to play today. Because I think we're on the edge of the Jade Sea. First of all, I think we're on the edge of some amazing story with June. Um, and this mansion that I've been looking at. But also, I think we're going to... Um, I don't know. We might be at the Harvest Temple by the end of all this. Okay, it's interesting to see some spuds there. Really, really, really captivating. So, uh, yeah, between uh, the last part of the Let's Play and this, I played a tiny bit. I have to compliment... Uh, where was it? First of all, this POI didn't know not the whole the forever tree. Wait, there's a hero challenge down there This here that no not the late luck goddess ruins here st. Angica's shrine Wow, what a place Did I really never get this let's go get that hero challenge and I'll show you st. An Angica's shrine because it is so cool over there I was playing it just casually for footage for the review and uh, there was a spud fishing down there, and it was such a cool moment. It was such a weird, like, feeling that I've I, Guild Wars very rarely gives you because people are always on the move in this game. You know, fishing is one of those first features that, <clears throat> as far as the general maps are concerned, people stop. You know, they're not role players, but they've stopped. You know, that's so rare in Guild Wars. You usually only find it if people are standing around waiting for a meta at a designated spot. This was stumbling upon someone. At what was essentially a really random feeling area of the map. <clears throat> Just kind of playing and hanging around. And it was in a beautiful room as well. So here I'll show you. Look at this spirit. I think the ghosts are actually teasing and showing where hidden stuff is. I think you're meant to follow ghosts whenever you see them. But here look. There's this little ruin hidden right here. And I didn't know if I was coming to the big jumping puzzle when I found this. Look at this amazing room, right? And it's like, okay, there's a chest may as well leave right because this is it this is what this was all about usually there's like some scary enemies here by the way like will of the wisps but it's not that look at this look at that window look at how pitch black that looks i love the lighting here and uh if you walk against it you can actually go through i mean fantastic guild wars needs to do this kind of thing a lot more look at how brilliant that is there's a whole room look and the ghosts are moving in they're teasing you they're showing you hidden stuff so this is a one-way zip line, by the way, which is pretty fascinating all on its own, right? Oh, look, there's this whole room in here. And a whole beautiful... I've kind of ruined it the way that I've entered here. I mean, if you watch this episode of the review, you'll see. I mean, I had such a mind-blowing entrance here. Now, I was talking to Mike last night, and I think he told me that he found this place. And fished up a legendary fish in here, which is pretty cool. Um... So, yeah, and I can sort of fish. There were some offshore fish here. Look at that. There's grotto fish over there. And they're actually quite challenging to fish up in this little area. So, this was something. There was another really cool thing that I found. Um, again, it's in the review footage. It's like a teleporter in the treetops that takes you into a completely enclosed room. So there's some grotto fish. So, look, and there's players around. I'm sure this mega server thing's been fixed at this point, by the way, guys. By the way, what about the dead in here? I didn't really pay attention to that. Open requires one jade tech. Oh, that's the chest. I didn't really pay attention to the bodies. Hold on, did a ghost just sail into this? It's kneeling here. Do they want me to kneel to show us it? Look at this, look, look, look. What's going on with the bodies? They're not teasing that there's something behind there, are they? I don't think they are. Maybe I'm looking too deeply into this. I figured the reward was this whole grotto. Maybe there's something deeper. But it's actually part of map comp as well to get in here. Originally, I was above this room. And I was like, well... What was really cool being above the room is they had like that shallow water effect there. So I thought that I was like at the bottom of the map already when I was on top of the room. And I saw the POI was below me. And I was like, that's mind-blowing. Came over here, read as you can fall down, went in. But yeah, there's a really cool thing. I think it's... No. I don't know where it is. Here, it's the ancient archives. This place, there's a teleporter here. You've got to get really high up, and then there's a teleporter that takes you in. It's fantastic in there. Really cool. Very, very, very beautiful. 
Aside from that, I don't think there was too much. I mean, there was there was obviously footage and stuff, and there are things for us to do here in the in the forest still, especially around the north, as you can see. There's loads of stuff, but I'm guessing we'll do that when we get back here in the story, because the story's gonna take us to Kinkaishi Basin and through, right? So let's do it. So let's go to um, Saitang. I don't know if the story's gonna do the same thing again, where we go into the crazy dream area. So yeah, just as a reminder. Um, well, okay, so what's the current state of affairs? Let's read the story journal. Am I still on the run or am I all right now? In the name of the law. With newfound evidence proving my innocence, I met Rama at the East Precinct office with the hopes of appealing to Lee. Unfortunately, my plan was derailed, both by Lee's absence and a less than cooperative precinct employee. After helping the precinct with some field work on the streets of Kaneng, Rama's lifelong friend, and perhaps more, question mark, Captain Min put us in touch with the minister. Rama and I are back on track to speak with Lee and put this mis misunderstanding to bed. The whole ordeal has made me increasingly grateful for those especially kind-hearted citizens of Kantha, like Min and Rama. Has it? It's also made me very thankful my only work drama is dragon-related. At the Ministry of Security, Rama and I met with Lee in an attempt to convince him of my innocence. I suspect that Lee may be the only person in Kantha able to rattle Rama's cool composure. After presenting him with the evidence of Anka's culpability, it seems Lee has finally acknowledged the truth. More importantly, he's agreed to transport us to June's mansion so we can plead for her uh, help with containing the Su Wan situation. For the first time in recent events, I feel hopeful for what's to come. That's funny. Did ArenaNet really think we'd be feeling hopeful there? Because, I mean, it was pretty well telegraphed, I think, that <laughs> he was a bastard about to assassinate us. I should have known better than to be overly optimistic. Upon reaching the Minsec rooftop to board our transport to June. Oh, that was what the idea was. We were getting on an airship. That's what we thought we did. Lee ordered his elite guard to ambush me. Much to Lee's outrage, Rama refused to allow this injustice to take place, and the two of us fought side by side to fend off the guards. The situation became even graver when Captain Min arrived with some devastating news. Lee was, in fact, the covert leader of the purists. What was his name? White Falcon? With that Golden Falcon, something like that? Red Duck? It wasn't Red Duck, that was the restaurant. With the help of uh, some quick thinking from Captain Min, <laughs> can you imagine a big evil guy being called the Red Duck? Uh, Ram and I were able to take down the not-so-elite guard and detain Lee for his crimes. I'm incredibly grateful for the courage and kindness Rama showed me, but I worry about his well-being knowing that Lee was his long-time mentor. I do feel a bit better knowing that he'll be in the capa capable company of Captain Min during Lee's detention process. Now, with one destructive force contained, I make my way to June's mansion to ask for her help in vanquishing another. On my way, I was unexpectedly pulled back into Su Wan's mind. We were able to have a brief conversation in which she stressed that when the time comes, we will have to kill her. But then everything changed. Her mind was filled with monsters, and she began to speak in the voice of the void. It warned me of its inevitability. Oh, this gives a lot more clarity on what I was supposed to be interpreting there. The void spoke to me. It warned me of its inevitability. Was it the void in Mordremoth then? Was it the void in Krakatoric? I guess that is. Was it even the void in Balthazar? And is it the void in Lyssa? Then its minions attacked me. Thankfully, Kaith and Aurene arrived to help. They managed to hold the void off long enough for me to escape. I had no choice but to leave them behind. This meeting had better go as we hope. We're running out of time, and without June, there is no way we can reconstruct the extractor in time. So we're going to June to build the extractor. Simple, simple. Right, guys? Uh, welcome to everyone in the live chat, by the way. And hey, we already had two donations. Dabada, 453. Thanks, man. Who says, when you want to do the meta on the servers, you, uh, you're on US. Um, we want to try and get people to learn mechanics. I don't know whether I'm going to do the meta today or what. I don't know where I'll get. All I know is I will be in the JC today. Um, but yeah, I mean, when we get there, you probably jump in the gun, man, by several hours. But thank you. And then Marco as well did what, did a face, a super chat face. Awesome stuff, man. Uh, with $9. That's really generous of the both of you. Thank you, guys. Uh, we heard that information there about June. Okay, let's go upstairs. So it's this giant mansion, which we... Well, I assume, anyway. Yeah, it is. It is. The green star burst is there. I had to zoom out to get a good sense of it. Also, at this point, I'm sure we should be able to finish map comp here and get this last hero challenge, right? That eludes us. Maybe it's around the back of the mansion. 
It feels like Kainang had a hero point that was inaccessible without doing the strike mission. And now it feels like maybe that elevator's activate uh, open to me. And now it feels like maybe um, it's the same here in Xingji. Maybe when I get up the back of June's mansion, it's okay. This is really interesting to me because it looks like he's going to be a boss fight place. But we do know it's not a strike because we've seen three or four. And we know the last one's at the Harvest Temple. So what do we have in store here? I, I cannot wait. Weight of the world. Different kind of weight being written there. Man, I've got to close the door as well before I freeze. Probably put the heating on preemptively. Oh, it's day. It's forced day. Nice. Hey, Kazmir. You made it. Commander, what happened? Suwan, she's lost. Lost? Overwhelmed by void. Completely. The way the world will be. Soon. It won't. We will stop this. We have to. Come on, Timey's waiting. She's arranged a meeting with June. Which is surprising, honestly. Since as far as I know, June still blames you for what happened. Okay. It's cool that they've given a name to the whole Oblivion thing now, you know, Void. Timey, we're here. And even able to personify it. I'll let you in. Jesus. <laughs> it's very sunny and nice here, honestly, isn't it? These digs are even nicer than Empress Inn's digs, right? <laughs> This place, June's Mansion, is way bigger than uh, the Royal Court. <laughs> Welcome! Welcome to the Estado June! Hello. Things are real bad, aren't they? <sighs> yes. We need to start work on the extractor right away. Where's June? Oh, um, inside! Right this way. Timey's being weird right now. Isn't she being a bit weird? This is really ominous. Hold on, before I go in, I've got to close the door. Okay, there we go. Sorry, just ran all the way across the house there. Okay. Why am I not seeing a door? It's got a bit of a trick to it. June likes to show off for her guests. Everything here runs on Jade Tech. Power down that battery, Commander. Oh, nice. She's got a little aquarium here. One of these giant wall things. This is like one of those things. If I ever became rich in real life, I'd love to do this. <laughs> you know, just have a whole wall be an aquarium. Is it hollow stuff? That was certainly flashy. This is where you've been working? Wow. Yeah. Even though the labs over at Junlai are better equipped. June says she does all her best work here. Look at that chandelier. I'm not going to question her methods. She's found so many applications for dragon magic. Been kind of awkward, though, since she hates you, Commander. Speaking of that, how did you get her to agree to meet? Oh, agree? Tie me. Commander, how did you get in here? How did you get past my security? Oh my Tie god, me. it's so old. Oh, um, hi, June. I was just coming to see you, and as you can see, I brought, um... Gods, I was foolish to let you into my confidence. And Ambassador Mead, I vouched for you. Lady June, I didn't know that I wasn't invited. If I had, I Don't. never would have... I won't let you make a fool of me again. Oh, damn. Just listen, the world is coming undone. Su Wan's void will tear it apart. Then I will figure out how to contain her. Alone. Now either remove yourself or prepare to be removed. That includes... All right, I'll leave. Tiny. Damn it, June. I'll leave. Would you listen to any voice but your own for five seconds? You need us. Look, I'm leaving. It's all good. Wow, we're still moving slow even in here. Anti-portal security. Pattern portal dampening field prevents using certain arcane teleportation abilities. Dude, I really like her. She's not like a bad person or anything. She's just super independent. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got here. Let's see how well the Diviner Harbinger can do, shall we? Dude, I'm moving slow. Oh, is it because I had Toggle Warp on? No, I'm just moving slow, right? Maybe? I actually saw a bit of feedback on like people annoyed with the slow walking, but it's not really a problem. It's that if you're playing story and you're not very into story, Guild Wars is terrible. Because it's like so much standing around, it's really boring. It's really I thought you were going to brief June on the plan. I tried, but she's got her own ideas. 
And whenever I tried to talk about you or the extractor, she shut me down. So what now, then? If we can make her listen, I'm sure she'll come around. We just need to find a way up to her workshop. I could open a portal. No. Not unless you want to portal your way straight into a cell block. This place is flush with anti-magic security. But it's also pretty easy to manipulate. June made those stairs disappear just by rerouting power from the batteries. So if we redirected power back to them... Exactly. There are batteries all over the place. Oh, and this place is connected to the JadeBot network, so you can launch them anywhere in here. This sounds I just complicated. Need to authorize your credentials. Okay. Deploy your remote controlled bot to scout the area. So we can fly around. Dude, this is so cool. Hold on, is this always like this? Am I really so stupid? I never noticed that I'm standing here like this. And I appear as my own guildy. Was that true in the open world and everything? That is so cool. That's my first acknowledgement of this, despite the fact this is like my fourth Jade Bot moment in the expansion. I can ping myself. <laughs> I'm just scratching my head. Dude, that's awesome. Okay. Um. Nothing happened. Not enough power. Looks like there are three cells. We only filled one. Insufficient power. So we need Jade Charges. So what's this? Is that a battery behind a shield? Sorry, I think I've lost the plot a little bit here. Just explore the mansion's wings. Oh, this is really cool. So this is like I explore a bit, and then I will... Um... Oh, I can explore the balconies and stuff. And then I'm going to open the other wings and the other doors, right? Hold on, so I don't need to be the Jade Bot in here. I can just go explore, right? I can just... No? Let's see. A shield? How do I make this go away? I don't know. The Jade Bot might be able to do it, actually. No. Go up, go down, deactivate bot, action cam. You got any advice for me, Kazma? This is quite cool. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look, there's a power charge here. So the question is, which door do I go in first? This is cool as shit. Okay, I'm going to go the east wing. Sorry, south. <laughs> I can't say I feel great about ransacking June's home. I don't either, but she hasn't left us much of a choice. True. But if we were hoping to make her trust us more... This might not be the best course of action. And if it doesn't work out, we are almost certainly being deported. If the fabric of reality is around long enough for us to be deported, I'll accept it. Happily. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, we're in a full-on trick house. This is amazing. Okay, now there's a lever over here, though. Do we want to go downstairs or not? And now the levers over here. Commander, oh. look out! We tripped the security again. Again? What do you mean again? You mean from since when I got attacked the first time? They shouldn't do anything. Oh, never mind. I thought I was in shroud and I wasn't. My bad. I was saying I swear I floated them, but I didn't. Oh, there's another guy. It's so weird having that ping on me. I'm so used to having the ping on me and because I've done something wrong. collection here. She's certainly decorated. And she makes sure everyone who enters this house knows it. I spent a little more time in court with her than you did, Commander. And I think I get it. The nobility won't let her forget where she came from. So she won't let them forget where she's gone. That's a nice little thought. Wow, look at this. And she's been a lot of places. She, she essentially wants to outgrow them, right? These ancient scrolls are recovered artifacts of the Norn, in quotes, a race of giants from the Shiverpeak Mountains. The text is untranslatable and much of their cult remains a mystery today. 
Well, this aged poorly. You know, this is really cool. When I entered this, I, I was going to say out loud, or I thought to myself, I didn't say it, that this is very Norny, you know, because I saw, like, the, it's like the game. It's like the hunt trophies. But then I sort of didn't because I, I, I guess I sort of second-guessed myself because, you know, this is also a mansion and so on, which doesn't feel very Norny. Look at the floor. What do you think that pressure plate does? Which pressure plate is that? I want to interact with all this stuff. This is great. This is one of the vases made by Udile Ray. While most of her life she only had access to simple materials, Jinlai's success allowed June to gift her many new crafting tools. She was clearly a devoted daughter. Hold on, this is her mum, is it? Oh, that. Oh, we were reading the. Oh. oh, wow! Nothing bad happened. Apparently, that's the one thing in this house not designed to kill us. Dude, get off of it, Rama! Don't stand on that. This must be something, though. I need to like drop a rock on it or something. Go look in the other room with Timey. Something's happened. Terry has various cultures of widely divergent styles of dress. With Cantha clothes, we can only speculate what more recent trends in fashion might be like. These outfits are pretty modern. Mai must have recovered them. Um, this is really interesting. This is like how in Guild Wars 1 at the Menagerie, the Zen Daijan, um, not the Zen, uh, Minister Cho's ma Menagerie, uh, they're talking about all like the Tyrian beast there is like exotic. But this is after a much longer period of isolation. Are you going to tell me about the bones up there? A monstrosity from the endless ocean. Since Su Wan became guardian of Cantha, numerous horrors have been sighted in its depths. This particular specimen was captured outside the Yong reactor. See, look, 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 look this, is the, this is the mystery again. Su Wan arrives in Cantha and then shit starts going down in the ocean after Su Wan gets here. So they don't attribute this to Su Wan. They attribute it as a separate thing. Are Arena not going to do a story where they say, aha, this whole time you thought that the tentacles in the water were this, was the Elder Dragons, but actually it's something else. Spooky. And every time they hint at this mystery in this expansion, they give you a line like this. Creepy or spooky or, uh, I don't know, worrying or, or something like that with the dot, dot, dot. There's always the parenthesis. I like it, man. They're definitely in... I don't know whether it's main story for this X back or future stuff, though. I mean, the Let's Play will reveal all by the final part, I suppose. So we don't have any power anymore. Hmm. Can your Jade bot help somehow? Good point. I do still have a bot, don't I? Wait, what? Oh, sorry. Hold on, hold on. What happened to that door when I went on my bot? Look at that. Did you guys see that? Oh, sorry. I'm clicking around and about it. Well, my bot doesn't have any abilities or anything, though. Wait, is this just a hollow? Can I just go through it? No. Can my bot stay on the platform? While I... Oh! Hold on! What if I stand on the platform? And now I get on the bot. And I go somewhere else. I'll be the rock. I feel like that's it. But it's not it. Did it close me in? Am I locked in completely or did the pressure pad close me in? Oh, I am locked in completely. It's full on trick house stuff. Okay. Um. So I have no battery. I can't collect charge from where I was before. I'm sure I've got to stand on it. There's something about this. I definitely have no buttons. Oh! Oh my god, how did I miss that the whole time? Seriously? Wow. Alright, there you go. We, we we got it. We got it. Here you go. Now the bot can get the, the charge from here. Awesome stuff. 
Very cool. Okay, but which door? Left or right? Ooh. I'm going to go left because I'm left-handed. And those of us who are left-handed in the world, we're special. What do you think, Kazmi? Are you impressed? Oh my god, the mech arms. This doesn't look very Is this good. some kind of showroom? I wonder if they're working models. Oh, guess that answers that question. Oh, I wonder if I could have done that stealthily. What do you want me to do? Kill them all? Oh, whoops. That was stealthily. You know, these are actually really regular shockwaves. It's quite cool. It's an interesting experience being a harbinger, not... Oh, I got an achievement. Test all of the equipment to death. <laughs> Sorry, does that mean I've tri tripped every potential trap? Well, look, this is just a straight-up battery. The music in this expansion is so good, dude. What is this? Alright, fine. So, this is just like a bonus room. So, let's go over here. And I guess netted me an achievement. The Dulux Jade Detainer. Where's time? Hello. So, we didn't really make much progress there, Timey. Sorry. I don't know what your opinion is. Wait, we don't even have a charge anymore, right? Oh, no, we do. No, we don't. Oh, can I just pull it out of this wall, though? Yeah, okay. Hold on, then. Did I just pick wrong at every... If I'd gone here straight away, could I have gone in straight away? But I would have missed out on Adventures of Camp. I've never uh, actually been on a tour of the whole house. Every day, June would say she was going to take me, and then we'd get caught up in our work. The whole day would just, you know, slip away. I'm glad you've been having such a good time. Oh, these instances. I'm sorry, Commander. I know I failed, but I've learned a lot. And June, well, she's brilliant. And despite the mild narcissism, she wants to do good. She can help us, and we can help her, and I know we can make her see that. Well, I hope so. I think this one will actually go well, by the way. I don't think we're going to have two arcs in a row where we're petitioning someone and then they just go mad at us. <laughs> Maybe. Um, man, i got to check bingo. i got to check the bingo we set up on day Well, Rocker set up on day one and see how many predictions came true already. Oh, my God. Found one of six books. Papers that I've forgotten here. There seem to be reports on the investigation at the Yong Reactor. June must have been reviewing them over dinner. Let's read the first report. Oh, awesome! They're popping this UI out of this UI! Look at this, th these craftsmen. You, June. We rarely see eye to eye. But it's in our nation's interest that we can... Is this from Lee? It is from Lee. We rarely see eye to eye, but it's in our nation's interest that we continue to share information on our respective investigations. Despite the repeated insistence of your new assistant, Timey, we have uncovered no evidence of Ankara at the reactor, or us. The idea that an outsider could weaponize your technology in a way that you hadn't considered is hard to believe. Look, he's stroking her ego. Even I have to admit, no one knows Jade better than you. What we have recovered is a log in which the pirate Ivan clearly states you were their mark all along. The very, this very pirate has since been spotted in the company of the other suspects. The cleanest explanation continues to be that the dragon champion used their dragon's magic. Your, you, your pet pirates betrayed you. That's where the facts lead. These outsiders are not worthy of your trust. Do not let them fool you again, Minister Lee. The second report. This is from Captain Far. Madam June, our independent investigation did not contradict the findings of the Ministry of Security. I must apologize again for my failure to detain the outsiders earlier. They were stronger than I anticipated. I've turned my attention to the containment efforts in the Jade Sea, and I've made my own alliances with outsiders as a result. I just ask that you be careful. They've played us before. Have it far fight for us. Got a reasonable perspective. Don't see any way to open this door. 
Could be the switch is on the other side. Well, we can grab that battery there. Anything else to interact with? In fact, three batteries on this wall. Oh my god, look at the fish! Well, there's less to interact with here. Okay, so let's close this door. Maybe check it out with your jade bot. Yeah, I will. Oh wait, you mean my Wait, check what I'll go through the hatch. Oh, that's awesome. It looks like a mirror, but it's not a mirror, guys. Ooh, what else is time you say? Maybe check it out with your jade bot. Oh, okay, the same thing. I love this man when they just repeat like that. Okay, uh, we have we have a battery charge as well. Ooh. Oh my god, I'm still not used to these controls. Open the door from here. Dude, this is great. With that jade bot, maybe a new career if you get you know tired of the adventuring life. I feel like there's only about a third of the Jade Bot gameplay I would be happy with in this expansion. They can go a lot further. These little moments here, I'm well up for them. More security, Max. Take them out. But it's basically I'm turning into Clank, you know, in Ratchet and Clank. I'm the Lombax. Hell, I'm in a sewer. I even look like a Lombax. This door's on a closed circuit. Mm -mm, can't reroute it. But it's power core sitting right up there. You're just gonna have to climb up and do some good old fashioned smashing. Combat leaves a lot to be desired in this instance. Give me this back. Wait, before I do that, what does this do? Jadebot can manipulate objects. It's not very strong, but it can flip a switch. This is a really good time you see. Um, oh my god. We had uh, two donations here. HNL150. I don't know what that is. Glory to mankind, though. Thank you. Hey, WP. At the start, I was hoping you'd just do the story. But after seeing that even the smallest event has pieces of lore that enrich the world building, I'm happy with this experience. I'm glad, man. And look, that isn't End of Dragons only. That is true in everything Guild Wars, especially Heart of Thorns and POF. I mean, it really is. Just tip, just beelining the story is basically the way, the worst way to play. Um, and I honestly, I think of it, it's a waste of your time and money, really. You, the first playthrough, when you still have all the captivating ideas of the story to come, while you're doing map comp and unlocking things... That is the purest, most fun part of Guild Wars 2 ever. And once it's gone, once you know the story, once you've played it once, it's gone forever. So don't contaminate it and just rush through in a beeline. Uh, you should always play it this way, in my opinion. And hey, Samurai says, I have too much work. Thanks for the let's play. Hey, no worries. I'm glad to give you some entertainment. You smashed him. Good, Commander. Thank you. That was a little bit novel. I'm not quite sure what the jade bot mechanism was that they wanted me to do there. Oh, look at this. We're back. You think they don't see what they're doing down there? Or that I wouldn't have a backup security system? I'm not going to detect it. Secondary lockdown initiated. She sealed off the batteries. And turned on some pretty unfriendly looking lasers. Nonsense, Kaz. All lasers are incredibly friendly. You just need to point them in the right direction, and they're happy to oblige. Like, say, at some shields. This is crazy. Kazmir's Phantasmal Warlock. Total reconstruction. So... So we have no more battery charge or anything, right? Is that what we said? Can't we pick this one up? No. Okay, what do you want me to do? Charge the laser at the phantasm. A bit like we did with the Lissa's Mirror Balthazar thing. No. Sorry, overload the shields. I need to... Oh, these shields. I see, I see, I see. Hey. Look at me. Look at me. Okay, so it's an empty battery slot, and I've got nothing to do with it. Did I get that in time? Well, the good news is, we're getting close. You're sure? If 
we weren't, the house wouldn't be trying so hard to kill us. Let's get this done before it succeeds. Ambassador Mead? Uh, yes, Detective? They're asking for you in court. The news of the Minister's arrest is getting around. They need you to answer some questions about the Commander's involvement. I'm needed here. Go, Kaz. We can handle June. I guess I'm on my way, then. My only diplomatic advice is just to listen and try to understand. Kazma is really very busy this expansion and it pushes her off screen a lot. It feels quite authentic to the idea that her character actually has things to do though, you know, I quite like it. Oh wow, look at that animation. I'm in my element on this one, I like this a lot. So we're upstairs. This is like Cordicus's Manor 2, Electric Boogaloo, you know. So give me uh give me that battery please. But I need two of them, don't I? Why couldn't I get this one before? I can. Oh, oh. I mean I could do this as Gux. But I like playing as Clank. Alright, never mind. Wait, June has progeny? Um, yeah, a daughter, son. That's a pretty normal thing for a person to have. You know, if you don't spend your time traveling around the world fighting dragons. Just saying. She doesn't seem like the motherly type. Well, I wouldn't say she's motherly, but that doesn't mean she isn't a mom. Her husband, Gimun, that's way more his thing. Nice guy. This is really... I love the idea of Gux settling down, especially in a Asura that is, looks this old and this fucked up. It's like, yeah, <laughs> that's not the life for me. <laughs> I love that he called it progeny, a little Asura... Uh, dialogue there. Read book. Su oh, it's a children's book about Su Won. Su Won and the Great Wave. Long ago, a hungry dragon woke up. Fearsome Zaitan emerged from a long sleep, intent on eating the whole world. His awakening caused a massive wave which tore across the ocean straight for Cantha. The people looked on in terror as it came their way. No one knew what to do. No one, that is, except for the salt spray dragon Kunavang. She told the Emperor and Empress, I will get help, keep the people safe. And so noble Kunavang flew as fast as she could to the home of the great dragon, Su Won. Su Won, she cried, we need, this is the trailer. We're gonna get the trailer right here, this is it, this is the debate. Su Won, she cried, we need you. A great wave is coming and it will wash away the people of Cantha. Hearing her words, Su Won rose from the endless ocean and said, I will come. And together, the two dragons flew to where the raging water now washed over Cantha. When they arrived, the flood had already destroyed the city of Kaineng, and the people were running fast as they could, deeper into Cantha, the wave chasing right at their heels. With a swoop of great wings, Su Won landed, placing herself between the wave and the people. She stared down the oncoming water and commanded it. Stop. The wave crashed in front of Su Won, as if an invisible cliff now stood in front of her. The water raged, swirling and splashing, trying to get through. But then the great dragon gave a second command. Retreat. The wave had no choice but to obey. It recoiled and slipped backward, slowly and gently, so that it could do no more harm as it retreated back to the ocean. The people of Cantha cheered for Su Won, and they cheered for noble Kunavang. But Su Won did not stay to take part in the celebrations. She slipped away, with a promise that she would always be nearby, and that if another disaster should strike, she would return. Until then, she would rest, and noble Kunavang stayed among the humans, so that if time came, she could wake Su Won once again. And the people of Cantha rested easy, knowing they had two dragons watching over them as they slept. Oh, so good, right? It reads perfectly like a little kid's fairy tale. It's perfectly in that line of like how much is fact, but a little bit of embellished Canthan fiction. And it's fantastical. To the uh, Final Fantasy fans out there, I can't help but think of the... Um, oh my god, what's it called? The, wa the wave of light that hit the first, right? And the Oracle and um, Ardbert's group stopping it. Really, really cool.
I feel like this music's a little bit too ominous, actually. Because <laughs> I don't really believe that June is, is on some course against us here. Oh, and neither am I threatened by her, frankly. Because I'm the commander, and we're dealing with big issues right now. Okay, so what would we aim this one at? The secured core? Does it go through walls? I mean, it is light. It appears. Oh, it's a uh, platform. Oh, and the thing won't shoot at me because I have line of sight. Oh, but it will shoot at this. Oh, look, and it will shoot at this. That was cool. Timey sounding really far away because we're not the bot. We're. What is this? Let's break this shit. Can I break the jade? There's a little monster in there. A little seahorse or something. There's a battery in there. Okay, well. Well, we've opened that up, so let's just go in there. Just looking to see if there's a mirror. <laughs> or something weird like we saw in Cordicus's manor. <laughs> uh, grab both of these, right? Whoopsie. I like how she's locked the kid's bedroom twice. Well, actually, how old is though? So what does this battery do? Oh. Oh, because Gux couldn't have got there on his own, could he? I'm thinking in terms of the Jade bot, but I couldn't have got up there. I wish I'd struggled against that first, actually, but that's fine. Activating security grid. No, I was so close. Wait, what do you mean? Dude, look, they look like steam contracts. Let's head the, hit the lever. Okay, so the timing explained my bot can do this, right? So it's like an airlock. And the bot might even be able to fly over the force fields. Yeah, he can. Not that I need him to. Oh my god, what happened to the camera there? Oh, we just break this. Oh. Okay. I like how there's like full collision and everything. Like, is that raised up as a part of the animation? It was it was like you I lifted with it. That was cool. WP, there's a secret room. What in here? There's a secret room in here. Really? Do I need, like, to be really smart to get there, or... I'm locked in now! Oh, there's a teleporter. There's two teleporters. Are these teleporters? There's cubes in that one, and there's not cubes in this one. I think this one will work. No. Oh, I can do this. Hack a PC, but you can't do it once you kill the power. The console is no longer powered. Looks like you punched out its source. Ah, so I missed something secret there, did I? Damn. Well, we put a battery on there. How does that help us, though? We can hit the lever. What does this battery do? This is really weird. Yeah, is the power back? No. Take it. Yeah, but I put it in there, didn't I? I'm beginning to lose faith in my Blish theory now, by the way. Or uh, either 
either it's not going to happen or the expansion is even longer than I expected. Because the idea that there might be a whole arc where Blish is back or something. I don't know. Maybe in the climax we're in the mists or something. I don't know. I feel like they somewhat hinted at it before. Okay, so I've done that now. Oh, hold on. I need to recover this one first though, right? Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get it. Well, the bot could get it. So one, two. If I didn't have the mastery, wouldn't this be a little bit extra annoying here? And now close that down because I don't need that anymore. But now I have three batteries and I could put all three in the room, right? In the floor. And I've been everywhere. One. Two. Three. You need to get all the charges to raise the stairs. But use them... But use them on the door in the first side room you entered. You're telling me to actually put them in here? Were there extra battery things in here that I've forgotten about? That door ain't opening now. That's like blocked. Is, is it that one? No? Wait, maybe it is this one. Isn't that a teleporter? A launch pad? Really? Sometimes June will build a thing, not because she needs to, but, you know, just because she can. Okay, let's, let's take stock here real quick. Right at the entrance, nothing going on. And here we have a lever, a battery. Let's put a battery in there and reopen that old room. I never got through this door. Oh, this wall here. Ah, I do remember this wall. That's the secret room. Oh, that would be really obvious on a second run through. You'd be like, hold on. I never got through there. Okay. So I am missing one battery. Unless I use my Jade bot to lock myself in. I think I'm fine, actually. Collect this. Now, I might be wrong here, but can't I just um, go through the hatch? Right? I don't know if I'm missing a whole thing or doing this a little bit non-standard, but I can just do it this way, right? In reverse. So, look, I got three. I got... Oh, my Jade bot was too far away. What? You're gonna make me fly through the hatch again, are you? There we go. Okay. One. I guess because it couldn't find a valid path or something? Wait, wait, that might. I emptied that. One. Two. Three. Nice. Ooh. Oh, there's a kitchen. There's. Oh, the kid's here. And the husband. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to intrude. I'm... The Tyrion. I know. You're trying to find my wife, I suppose? I am. It's critical I speak with her. I didn't sabotage her reactor. I believe you. Tiny made a good case. In my opinion, anyway. In June, though. Well, she doesn't like to be wrong. And the only thing she likes less than being wrong is being humiliated. You cost her standing in court. Whether you meant to or not. I'll fix it. I'll fix everything. That's expecting a lot. You have that in common with her, you know. You'll carry as much as you can on your own two shoulders, even if it crushes you. This is a really nice touch, isn't it? Wow, and you get to see the family, and you get to just have a little bit of extra dialogue. Read note. <laughs> More ginger. They typed it wrong. Mielchi. Mail chapbook draft? Uh, make sure June eats. This is the husband writing this, I guess. Uh, find sung new danso instructor. What's danso? Return Lau's book. And send out dinner party invitations. Will you cook me something? I get noodles when we're in lockdown. Noodles are good. I've never been like a crazy noodles person. Oh, is that literally a, uh, what is that?
This is really cool. Very nice. Thank you to the people in the live chat there who tipped me off. There might be something bonus to do because I would have missed this for sure. That's really cool. Keep talking to her. She says different things. Oh, really? Oh, i got to go back in there. Does she really say a lot of different things? It's a gold sink. <laughs> nice. Mommy doesn't like you very much. Oh, brutal. Ugh, you look like you need a bath. Uh, hey! They're scars. I can't do anything about them. Did you know moas can only eat with their heads upside down? <laughs> no. <laughs> is, that, is that based on, like, ostriches or flamingos or something? Did you know moas can only eat with their heads upside down? This is really good line to have on the repeat at the end as well, because that's what kids do. They learn one fact and keep going on and on. Oh, they have a cat. What is that? Is that a ladybug roller beetle toy? Is that meant to be a cushion? Looks like a noose. All right. Oh, no, they've got gold plates and things as well. All right, bye-bye, everybody. I have to go upstairs and potentially slay your mother, but I I'm sure she'll see reason. Well, actually, yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's any motivation for the commander to do that on any level. <laughs> I feel like I just want to jump through there, by the way. Like, a jump dodge from this should get you up, and there should be an achievement for an alternate mm -hmm. way through, because you're a scummy. Oh, that doesn't do anything anymore, does it? Because the door won't open. Get through the hatch. This is really cool. Imagine an instance of this caliber <laughs> entangled depths in Heart of Thorns, right? Uh, I have no. I only have two. What have I? What have I ballsed up now? Oh, I need to just collect it. Okay, cool. So the only thing I didn't do is hack her computer. I kind of wish I did. I wonder what we would have learned about on a on her PC. But that's fine. One. Two. Dude, I love these stairs rising. So let's see what we got now. Oh. Alright, fine. Wait, what do you mean? There we go. What? Oh, you are kidding me. Oh, I'm missing a whole battery. Am I? Yeah, I am, right? Damn. I need four batteries? Huh. Oh, well, there's one here. So I could have used that instead of all that hacked trickery a second ago. They should have had the secret room with a whole other battery then, because it's possible with one less than that, so. It worked. Well, for you anyway. The stairs just went back out. But don't worry, I'll get this fixed and join you in a few minutes. Yeah, and if I didn't do it right then, this locks me in, right? Oh wow, look at this. A little sense of the deep. We got a worm in some jade. There's a good sense of depth on that as well, actually. Look at that. That's not just a, like, um, that's sort of, I guess, what they did with the with the uh, the ice in uh, Drakkar Lake. Oh, and the fish. Sort of pointing the way to go. Minister Lee of the Ministry of Security has been arrested. Details are still emerging. The reports are that the powerful Tyrion known as the Commander may have been involved. So, Commander, you're going around arresting state officials now? Listen to me! Lee attacked us. He's a purist. I know. He couldn't have made it more obvious if he'd walked around carrying a bust of Draco herself. What happened? We brought him proof we were innocent. He preferred we keep looking guilty. <sighs> and I suppose you brought that proof here? Yes. A piece of Anka's extractor. Deliver the evidence via Dropbox. This is cool. <laughs> Get a major Borderlands vibe from that. 
if there's anything to interpret with all of this. Like, what's this progress bar represent? What about this over here? I don't know. Well, here you've got like six or seven orbs, so one for each dragon plus Tyria or something. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't think I'm, I think I'm reading into things that I really shouldn't be. Just look for a pattern anywhere you can, guys. Whoa! I didn't mean to go down. I'm sorry. Commander. It seems I owe you an apology. You really had nothing to do with it. Well, thank you, but we don't need to waste time on apologies. We need to discuss. Does that really totally solutions. absolve us? I mean, it seems. I have a solution. Tiny and I have been working on the means to recapture Suwon and restore the reactor. June, I'm afraid recapture isn't an option. And I'm afraid not recapturing isn't an option, Commander. Suwon's magic is all but completely corrupted by the Void. I've been working on a way to increase the efficacy of my filtration system. It's nearly there. It's too late. You can't. Don't tell me what I can't do. Oh, she's John Locke. I love her. Our batteries only have enough power left for weeks, months maybe, and then everything stops working. Do you know what that means? I will not allow you to put her back in that reactor. She just silently shook her head at us. Did you catch I that? An impasse. I don't want to do this. But we need that reactor. People will die if those batteries fail. Everyone will and die when Suwon succumbs to the void. I won't let that happen. Are we kind of underplaying the fact she's trying to kill us right now? Jesus. Oh, sorry, uh, <laughs> Timey just shouted, Alchemy, I leave you two alone. Maybe you should try turning off the laser. No, the commander loving threat, so I answer. Either leave or I will be forced to use them on you too. Commander, hold off the means. I'll try to override the system and find us a way to shut it down. I hate this combat volume. I hate that I can't just play and listen at the same time. If I try to fight while dialogue's going on, I'll just never hear it, you know? And it's not just because I'm a Necro and Shroud is involved sometimes. Just all these combat sounds seem to be way quieter. And I know you can turn effects down, but then you lose footsteps, and you lose bugs, and you lose all kinds of good stuff. Gonna need you to these for me, though. This is either turn all the combat down, turn all the bugs up and footsteps and things, or just give the players the control with another slider, you know? There's like five big things I'd love for Guild Wars on the presentation front that would make playing all this stuff a real dream. One of the other ones is the text box. If I zoom in too much, I don't want the text box to disappear. And also, I want the camera to like focus, like lock and look at people as I talk to them. All right, what have we got here? Have we got to pull both levers quickly? What happens if I don't? Stab from Shroud at the moment, by the way. How have I got Foot in the Grave? Where is Foot in the Grave at this point in the game? Is it a miner? No. Oh, Foot in the Grave is a Harbinger miner. It's three stacks! No, it's one stack. They've got a tooltip bug. They're suggesting it's three stacks of stab for nine seconds. It only actually comes in at once, so there's a bug on there. I wonder what the intent is, the one stack or the three. Probably best if it's only the goddamn one. <laughs> Competitive, anyway. Commander, I exposed one of the power cores. You know what to do. You turn master down and vo voices all the way up. It doesn't help because then you lose the footsteps. There's a lot of sounds that are baked into the combat slider right now. 
that are not combat, and they're all extremely quiet, and combat is extremely loud. Uh, trust me, you're losing detail from the game, don't you? I promise you are. I've equipped this room with backup supply backups. You won't get through them all. No. I think I will. I hope there's something dangerous to fight. It feels like this instance didn't really have... I guess because it's a long instance and there's a lot of like non-combat stuff, they don't want the combat to be frustrating. Or something. I wonder if we got a checkpoint recently. I'm gonna lich the next wave. I like how she has a bit of that fear in her, just like Lee. You know? Also, why was I doing zero damage to some of these guys? What's the what's the mechanic? Intentionally overload, sure. I got oh, I gotta get hit by a laser, haven't I? It's the same kind of thing. And this thing in the middle is the laser. Come on. Aha! Whatever that is, oh no you don't. Okay, we gotta get hit, hit that. If I have nothing ranged, what do I do in these scenarios? Do I go up there on the Jade Bot? I will do what the gods could not. I will free us from the tyranny of the Dragon Cycle. I saved this empire! And you're going to destroy it with your... Listen, June, I know it's hard, but sometimes other people have the right idea. Oh, I'm in an achievement. Take out our defenses in the allotted time. Well, I've not been pushing through this. I've been going as slow as I can, really. I still have two minutes left on that though. Use your Jade Bot Commander. Wait, what for? To hit a lever? In the middle of the fight? You want me to go back to that other lever, do you, in the middle of this fight? Is that what you want me to do right now? How am I going to find time with mobs around? I do like this about Harbinger, that feels a little bit different, like the range siege thing. Destroy the core, it says. Are you sure you want me on the bot, Timey? Can't I just hit this? There we go. Oh, they're all dead. This last shield's connected to multiple cores. We'll need to take them all out. Oh, I like that. Sort of recolored nightmare orbs. Can I step on that? That was dodgy. That was like possibly had no collision. That's two claws. Oh, and I need a laser on the last one. Is this jump pad, is it? How would I get the laser onto that? Maybe with the jade pot? I'm not invulnerable though, am I? Oh, there we go. Right. Oh, it's still taking zero, so. I swear I saw the animation turn off. Let's do it this way. I, I've probably got a climb, don't I? Oh, there's one over here as well. Oh, and it's a stepping stone up, so hold on. Let's do it this way. Just waiting for the laser to shoot me. It will, won't it? Oh look, we can life steal it. Oh wait, can we just hit it with anything? No, uh, we can life steal it with locust swarm. If I had blood magic, we could just fake do this. Do I need to break the arm? What's going on here? <laughs> I'll wait for Warhammer Five to come up. Do I get life steal on the well? 
I can't remember. That was an old trait thing. I guess it's not in it anymore. All right, well, we lost the achievement. That's funny. Huh. I guess I'll fight this guy. And see what Oh, there you go. The laser's shooting right now. It's over there, though. Oh, I wonder, actually. That platform. Hold on. Let's try the Jade Bot. I'm going to get DPS'd a bit while doing this. But can't I... Where is that thing? This. Wait, was, was the time you're speaking? No, it doesn't work that way. I've got to go the other way around, don't I? Hold on, let me try let me try this. If I step on this, does it lower them? Oh it raises it. Oh okay, so we do this and then we get on the jade bot and we bait the laser with the bot. I hope this works. But I mean the animation disappeared, so I think I've Yeah there we go, it's shooting me. Nice. Now, I assume it's DPSable now. Yeah, it is. It's the last year security, June. You, you're gonna have to talk to us. No. I like the walls in here. Ah, whoa! <coughs> I had it all under control. I saved Suwon from herself. I, I was trying to save all of you, June. What you did to Suwon only delayed the inevitable. It gave civilization a chance. Someone has to lead. Someone always has to lead. Yeah, that's me now. I'm on the scene. I don't apologize for being exceptional. I don't apologize for being brilliant. Ugh. You are brilliant. And I know it feels like the world's always underestimated you, but I don't. We share the same goal. You can find a new future. One without Suwon. I'll help you. But none of us have a future if we go at it alone. That's such a cool touch, haven't okay. I? Okay. Let's talk. Nice analysis of a character I don't think we've really seen in so Guild Wars. you mentioned building yeah. a new extractor. Yes, I think we can easily reconstruct it from what the commander brought us. We'll use that to drain enough void magic that it'll be safe for the commander to deal with Suan. There won't be much, oh heck, any time for testing it. Yeah, but then what do we do with the extractor? We'll make more than one, then, to account for any potential points of failure. Have you thought about containment options? That's Orin. And if she should fall, we need backup options, Timey. Backups upon backups, always. To protect us from total failure. Unless, of course, our opponents are irritatingly persistent. Commander, we'll get this done. It's gonna be a bit rough and ready, but it'll happen. Good. Then I'll meet you two in the Jade Sea. It's okay. You can be sure of it, Commander. It's not like we're launching the James Webb telescope or anything. I'm sure it'll be fine. There we go. We get paper now. <laughs> this is a weird reward. We get the ancient shoulders and a mini June. Who my inventory's all. So if I don't let that go in my inventory now, how do I recover the unlock of that mini? Paper unlocked. Commander. <clears throat> Timey and I need to focus on the extractor. You go get everyone ready. We'll figure it out. Oh, wow. This is only three of the six books. These notes are messily scrawled. June's normally neat handwriting shows signs of her stress. System needs a way to filter the corruption from the magic. Identify the frequency of each. Attune another material to the corruption. Something cheap. Amber? Oh! In my review between the two parts, I saw an amber golem, and when I killed it, I think it dropped one of those amber node things. So there's definitely a whole bit of the expansion I'm missing to do with amber, which is really exciting. Amber serves as a good container for corrupted magic. 
Just need to teach the system to distinguish and redirect. So Jade is a container for... Wait, Jade is a c container for dragon magic, but it can be corrupted because all the technology is getting corrupted. But Amber's a good container for the corrupted stuff. System only catching 2% of corrupted magic. What's wrong? Filtration efficacy is now at 32%. We're getting there. 54% today. Periodic waveform disruptions seem to be at fault here. I like this integration of Amber a little bit more into it here. Please tell me there's three more books in here. How have I missed three books? I guess one might be the computer. Sorry, computer. That was a nice little cutscene there as well, by the way, with the movement and throwing the wrench and stuff. <clears throat> Interesting. Man, I feel like there must be a lot of details. I, I, I'm, I'm not getting there. That really spoke to me as well, that cutscene about, you know, like... <coughs> How arrogant is this? Unrecognized genius. <laughs> uh. Commander, ready for some good news? You're in the clear. You can finally deactivate that silly mask. Hey. And then give it to me. We don't need to let Mintel know, right? Detective Rama testified on your behalf. And then June herself called in to drop all charges. And there were a few holdouts in the court. But with Minister Lee being arrested for purist activities, it suddenly became very unfashionable to look suspicious of outsiders. Representatives of every major faction are headed to the Jade Sea to help fight the Void. So what's our play? <laughs> our play? Yes. Commander goes where the action is. I'm sticking with you. It'll be up to us to get the extractors in place. Meet me at Arborstone. We need a plan of attack. Oh, I could have gone to the kid's bedroom. Really? Ah, uh, well, rip. Missed that. Dude, I loved this. This act was awesome. It was so cool to be able to come back. It was so good. Both to Kainang and... Can I not go there now? Come on, I did the story set. Let me in. I thought that was going to open up a little new area of the world as well, now that I've done that. Oh. Well, so then what the hell with this hero challenge? The hero point. I really love that. Go back to Kainang, go back to Saitang, have a whole act of like real sort of deeper look at these things. Excellent stuff. This is the way expansions should be done. This is so good, man. Oh. I hope ArenaNet announces another expansion soon. I really do. It would just feel so good to feel like this game's got like a regular future, you know, and like s stuff to be excited about, stuff of this quality. And it's easy to forget, right? It's so easy to become blinded to it, it you know, when you're in five years between POF and End of Dragons. It's so easy to forget that you don't, you know, everyone complaining all fishing's the only feature and stuff. And I was saying it, you know, it, not everything needs to be a radical remake. It just needs content, you know. And when the content's there, it feels so good. So is this right, though? Because you don't get T2 Springer jumps in base end of dragons. So what the fuck are they expecting players to do to get this? Maybe I can figure it out. Like backwards. See, we're too high here. How do you want me to get here? Source of the spring. How do you want me to get this? I'm an end of dragons only player. Is it this? This looks like a jumping puzzle here, maybe a bit. Can I climb this? Is this the pass of Sirith Ungul hidden in the cliff? Is that what you want me to do? No, those jumps are too big. Maybe for mini Springer jumps? One. Mini jump. Mini jump. Could this be the path and they want you to have a Springer? It can't be. This can't be what it is. I feel like even these jumps are a bit too big. I mean, maybe. I feel like they want me up there and then to glide across. But this just isn't right. <laughs> I 
Look for the crumbs of Lemba spread. Very nice. <laughs> the fat one did it. No, that's not the way. This rainbow was easy to get to. Remember, we were at the rainbow before. This is like the ultimate mystery, gameplay mystery of this expansion to me. I don't know if what I just did is intended. Maybe we follow these along. Oh, it's gotta be this. It's gotta be like, here, oh, I missed it a bit. I think I figured out what they want me to do. I think they want me here. This is just not telegraph though. No, and that's too high, is it? Maybe not. I think they might want me from Diagon Ward to there, to there. This feels like a real platform they want me on. But with a half springer jump, I think that's too high. But then from there to there. And then you've made it, right? But I'm not confident. Well, whatever. Enough dilly-dallying. Ready? First map comp complete. Here we go. The source of effervescent water. Kerry likes this word. High above the Dago Ward. Serves its financial and social districts. Oh, glider boost. Good idea. Could be Jade Bot Glider that they wanted somewhere. Yeah, maybe they want me to glide from that roof with the boost. I honestly thought it was going to be a zip line. I thought it was going to be this. Wait. No, that one goes down. That was the one that went down. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe glider boost. To, but that just gets you to the rainbow, which you can get to quite easily. Is that question of rainbow up? I don't know. Anyway, there we have it. Black line key, baby. Oh, you guys ready to see me get a mount skin for this? The Harbinger's Cash. Oh, I got a Lamplighter's Badge. For my legendary skiff, correct? Ready for my inventory to explode even further. All right, all right, all right. I'm, I'm game with that. Guaranteed wardrobe in luck. Unlock statuettes. What do they actually have on statuettes at the moment? I haven't looked at any of this for ages. The Vermilion Bow. Wild magic, dark matter, searing chain. I think I know I have that as well. Yeah, they're all boring. Did this expansion even add a single finisher? POF at least did the sand shark. With its weird, inconsistent icon. Yeah, I got it a little. Whatever. Anyway, the unlock's interesting. I wonder, are people still kept up with this? Because of the Ice Brood Saga and the recent festivals, I, look at all these weapons I don't have now. So these have, these have become majorly low value to me at this point. Unfortunately, I've, I've slipped so far behind. The odds of me getting one of these, or I mean, are mounts even on the list at this point? No. Oh, that was only ever knife gangs, right? I do want this. I think this backpack is cool as shit. On my Ellie. Starborn is lame. Seraph Wings is alright. Just mostly because that thinks me but makes me think about um uh what's her name? Why can't I remember her name? Hold on. I can think of it. Why can't I remember her name? Oh, what is wrong with me? What's the big holy, the final summon that's not Zodiac in Final Fantasy XII? That's ain't angelic and holy, but it's like biblical angelic. What the hell is her name? Why can't I remember? Whatever. It makes me think about her. Shimmering Aurora. Astral Scholar. I don't know. None of the capes are as good as... Um, I mean, this is cool as well. I quite like that. None of the capes are as good as the, um, the Quiver Cape. There you go, a gift of Saitung Province too. So there we have it. All right, our adventure in Saitung concludes. Now I'm kind of thinking as well, just before we hit the Jade Sea, 
I could get two hero challenges and these last POIs here. I want to see the hero challenge at Sujung Heights now that I've done the... Um, uh, now that I've done the quest there, because I feel like I was locked off from it. Ultima, thank you. There you go, Ultima. Thank you to the guy who said Ultima in chat. Jesus. Moments like that are what really worry me, like, in terms of old, brain, old man brain. Also, we have these whole sections of Kainang we never saw at all, so... We can have a nice immersive visit to the JC now, instead of just waypointing around, sky scaling at max speed. You know, we're going to immerse ourselves into Tyria, and we're going to feel like we're living in Tyria. Even though it's an MMO that really doesn't encourage this kind of behavior. Let's pretend that it does, okay? Let's get some of that WoW Classic experience. I don't have any <laughs> lure or bait again. Wait, 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 wait. I think I do though, don't I? Bait. Can of claw wor glow worms. So there you go. I got I got a bunch of glow worms there. And a bunch of minnows. Let's use some glow worm bait. That doesn't change the animation, does it? Does it change the kind of fish I might find? Hope you guys are ready for a whole new era of wooden potatoes content in which the footage is just fishing. I hope you're ready. Five years, guys. Who knows what they'll have for us in 2027. But until then... Because that's the new status quo, right? Uh, until then, we're going to be getting these fishing achievements done. It's going to be glorious. Look at that. See? Get a little weaver there. And off we go. There were two new runes announced for Ender Dragons. Yeah, I, I'm so disappointed in all that stuff, to be honest. Like, at least they got Dragon and Witchless stats in there. But the way that they did the, ar the armory, it's just like even they feel invalid in a lot of ways. I'll tell you, I've got a really cohesive, brilliant, like, proposal for the game on, on, like, items and stuff that basically addresses, like, five of my biggest issues with the game. There we go. We've unfogged it now. I've never been here. And I kind of want to do a video about it. But it's one of those videos that, uh, I don't know. I kind of want to do. We'll wait for things to settle down a bit after End of Dragons. But it fixes like what I was talking about in the review today about how I want more people to be able to swap gear. It fixes this issue where everyone instantly has dragon and harbinger start ritualist stuff at the start of the expansion. The shipwreck graveyard. Um, it does fun things for build diversity. It does lots of stuff. And it's not anything ra that radical either. It, it adds new avenues for meaningful gear in upcoming expansions and living world episodes. It's just a really cohesive, smart idea, and it's basically an expansion to what we see as wardrobe storage, uh, as it currently stands. You have, uh, essentially, gear storage, as you can see down, if you could imagine another tab. And just taking that as a starting platform, you can kind of see where I'm going with it. But I, I kind of just want to do a whole video about it. And do it as, like, a presentation stuff. It's weird to see all the Unchained down here, you know? And it's really interesting to see that there's a mastery point up on that building. So the question is, how do we climb up? Are there some fun zip lines for us to go on? You know what I think would have been really cool? Is if there was a single risen eye or something here in Canthus somewhere. Let's see, they use the gorillas. There's a couple of knights around. Oh my god, what if there was a risen dragon here as well? Like an Ogrevoss or something. Oh, sorry, a, a Tequoto, I guess, is what you guys are, or Blight Gas is what you guys probably more <laughs> I should think of it as. But there's another one of these markings. It's very rare, but we see these markings around. I don't know what they do. Like. Oh, it says a race. I can interact with it. Clean up duty. Holy shit, 15 things of cleanup to do. I like content like that, but it always just turns into just go to the wiki or wait for a taco pack to come out. This looks correct, I think, right? Springer jumping puzzle, right? 
I'm not breaking this. These are little enough jumps that you could make it with T1 Springer. Oh, I wish I could just reset my goddamn mastery. The battery here. This is interesting. That looks too high for a normal End of Dragons player. How did a normal End of Dragons player make that? That's a max jump. I haven't got this wrong, right? They can't get more... They can't... They, they're super jump, right? I'm not wrong about that. That's a POF thing. You get the base guy and that's it. Okay, and then the zip line takes us to the other one. That's cool as shit. This is really, really awesome. I love these. I can't remember what they're called, but these really striking, like, tall, thin rocks that you always see in these, like, what's the phrase? Asiatic um, geography environments in games. They nearly always do these. But they're awesome. I wonder if I can get inside that lighthouse as well. New Kaineng, shipwreck graveyard. Also, who doesn't love a good shipwreck graveyard? The uh, Juvenile Phoenix is a fun, but it's like, once I've seen them one, I've seen them all. It'd be so interesting if the pet system had a slight twist to it, which is that the very specific area you get the pet, maybe it changes the color ever so slightly or something. And then when you have multiple spawns, you can... So we want to keep climbing here. Yeah, that looks correct. Landing on that. This is all good. These are all possible. It's definitely a Springer thing, though, as far as I can see. Oh, there's not a fight or anything. I was really hoping to 1v1 someone up here. Sot Day Landing. Built by shipwreck survivors, Sot Day Landing serves as a navigational landmark. Can I keep going? You know, seeing this thing here makes me think of the pig iron quarry. Or pig iron mine or whatever. Oh, there's got to be diving goggles up here, right? I'm sure they'd put diving goggles. Maybe at the very top? Oh, God. What if it's at the very top of the other one? We probably want to zip line back across now. Look at this. In fact, shall we just glide across? What if I glid over to there? Is there any map comp on that one? Nothing suggestive there. But that makes me think it's even more likely that there's actually diving goggles on that one. Instead. This is great. The platforms of the birds. We're already much higher than the mastery point. Come on. diving goggles on this one. Oh, I could totally make it onto that now. Oh, but it's on the edge of the map. What if it tells me that I'm too close to the edge? Oh, I want to try it, but I also think, you know, it might be a bit out of range. Let's go over there. This one's actually maybe not so amazing because you could just get to it from the edge of the city, the wall of the city, you know. What's that tiny thing there? I love the thought of being able to look down and see my little skiff down there. See, End of Dragons only, they, would, they don't even have the long glide or the lean, right? So I might be sort of breaking it already. Even with this. Impulse to climb, it's just so good, right? We're all monkeys when it when it comes down to it. 
and we all like to climb. Actually, being here, I swear, there's this incredible um, image in real life of... Um, I think it's like some kind of radio tower or something. Some some massive man-made construct. Like, out over a rainforest. I don't know what country. I don't know exactly where it is in the world. My impression is South America. But there's this really incredible drone picture of a single, like, ape sitting alone over the edge of just this massive, massive man-made building just looking out. And it has no idea it's being watched or the picture's being taken or anything. And it's just the, the most striking, incredible visual. And I just sort of got a flash of it that there is Gux here. No diving goggles. Also, no sewer. See, we were there once upon a time, guys. Right, so this isn't unfoggable. This is the edge of the map, but I got the achievement ding, didn't I? Canton Explorer. Look at that. We have explored all areas in Saitang, all areas in New Kaneng, all areas in the Echovad Wilds, but not Dragon's End. And also, there's two jumping puzzles I haven't seen yet either. Two POIs. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to do the thing that I said I was going to do. Well, actually, I'm going to do two things. First, we're going to drop down. Cool, the temptation to griffin here is unbelievably high. Just because I want to see what the waters are like down here. I feel like it would be a cool place to put something special. I guess there isn't. Oh, maybe. Got to be careful in Guild Wars. It's very easy to end up in these huge underwater environments that they're not really expecting you to be in. All right, well, whatever. I, I'm happy that I checked there. Okay, so let's um, let's go back to Sujung Heights. Now, I'm thinking the best way is to get a cab. So we're gonna go to get a taxi. That oh, new event. Oh, Unchained. It's alright, it's alright. Let's go get a cab. Um, that taxi's upstairs, isn't it? Are there any zip lines that instantly bring you up? By the way, I didn't I didn't get that. There's a POI right there and a mastery point right there. Also, did I never finish this heart? What's the heart? Oh no, I did do that. It's an echo valve. There's a whole heart I've got to do it. I can do an echo valve. I don't want to use the phrase gotta do because I don't gotta do it. There's a teleport here. Maybe that's what's distracted me before. Or maybe it's that I've never used a teleporter and I should have. Because this stuff's all high up. I don't know. I don't know. What do we think? Power plant, I guess? No, power plant's low down. What's the name of above the power plant? Power plant, garden north. There you go. Power plant, garden. This moved me south of the building. I wonder where that zip line goes. Is that is that the thing I want? That zip line? Does it take me up? This place is just... Yeah, it does. This place is just so incredible, isn't it? Still wondering if you can climb on top of that. Oh, I'm back at the goddamn... <laughs> I'm back at the same place. Alright, well, let's not try that then. Let's just go around. It's like we want to be upstairs from here, right? Look at that there. See, this, this, this is a bell tower. Again, the Springer just, like, unlocks so much movement. I can't really tell. Like, this doesn't feel right. Of course, most normal player here is just going to skyscale this. Just clamber on the walls. All that. They, clear, they must want me to drop down. 
So what's this uh, this landing up here? This isn't what they want. So here, let's have a look at this. Where is this? Pool of Tranquility. It's a sentry turret. Some birds. Another area with phoenixes. Oh, look. Oh, I get super speed from it. Aha, there's a zip line. So you can zip line up here. That's that's what the game is. You zip line up, you find the pool of tranquility. You drop down onto the bell. With a cheeky little glide underneath. Okay. And now we're a little bit closer to... Uh, well, we're not really. Sujung Heights, man. Okay, we'll go get the cab now. In fact, there's one very close to us. Just downstairs. Well, maybe done. Downstairs. Oh, I actually ticked something on my other monitor there. We're still we're still making the video, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Okay, good. All right, I can put the heating on while we're running there as well. So we are going to Sujung Heights. And there is no taxi to, to Sujung Heights. But there is one to Guansang Hill. So let's go to Guansang Hill. All right, and uh, enjoy this. I'll be back in just two seconds, guys. Okay, beautiful. How long have we been here? <laughs> was it a really short ride, was it? <laughs> the Ministry of Security okay, um, and now we can... Uh, we're low down though, right? That's the problem. So what we've got to do is find a way to climb. But hold on, hold on. I figure, you know, this is the teleporter, right? The elevator. Now that I've done the story, can you just take me up? No, it won't just take me up. So there is a whole other component here that I'm missing. That involves actually getting up there onto where the strike mission is, essentially, right? I mean, it's got to be. It's got to be the strike mission location. But the open world equivalent. Now, this is pretty good. I'm feeling optimistic about this. That's a lot of height. There's a battery here. And a room there. Oh, okay. So just a little bit of Springer action. Just a little bit. And we're here. Oh, man. Imagine coming here early. You'd be like, what is going on here? There's clearly something. I mean, look at the view as well. Such a cool part of the game here. So tropey, but so perfect. This is like a trope you want them to hit, you know, a thing that you that you want them to do. Uh, Zachary Blum says, uh, with $10, thank you. WV, this playlist has been a blessing for someone that missed all of the Living World stuff. Seriously, thank you. It's made the X-Pack so much more enjoyable. Hey, I'm glad, man. Yeah, I mean, look, this is the end of a long story. So if, if you kind of don't remember a lot of those details, um... You're gonna miss out, and uh, you know I'm I'm honestly really happy uh, that I did the big playlist, uh, the the full story replay right before this. I'm really happy. I kind of did that project more as a for everyone else kind of thing, because I felt like there was a gap on my channel and all that kind of thing. But uh, the truth is, it was really beneficial to me as well, you know. And there's, there have been a couple of little moments here in End of Dragons where I know that if I hadn't just just replayed everything. I honestly would have forgotten some of the little things that they were alluding to, you know. Uh, so I'm, I was very, very happy to have that there. Here you go, the Ministry of Archives Hero Challenge. It's like way up on the roof. 
The Ministry of Archives, full of forms upon forms, stands ready to document and record the opening of the Empire's borders. An elite purist mesmer. The unfortunate thing about a power harbinger is the blight consumption stuff basically has no meaning. Oh my god, it hurts. Let's get some health back. Oh my god, I died to the phantasm. I actually just straight up died to this guy. Wow. Uh, can I rally on the phantasm? It's probably a higher chance than... Uh... Oh wow, I can't. Alright, we got to try and get the full thing here. Signal back. Oh yeah, we'll be fine. Oh my god, do you know what? We were getting some 6k non-crits from our unstable horrors. I, uh, I let myself get really sacked down there. That was crazy. <clears throat> Let's not do double well. Let's get our Signet of the Locust back. Wow. I've never felt that so squishy, actually. That was awesome. Okay, let's come in. There we have it. Speaking of Harbinger stuff, by the way, we're very close to maxing it out now. So they go, Doom approaches, the last Grandmaster trait, the Elixir of Anguish. This is the Quickness Elixir. But, like, this is overkill for Quickness. We already have so much Quickness. Unless we want to substitute this for the... If we want to run the other GMs... I mean, we could try that. Wow, there's this Junker following me. Bugged. <laughs> That's actually so creepy, that movement. This guy's going to reset in the middle of this. For sure they are. Right? No way they want to fight me here. Do you really want to do this whole fight here? Oh, let's get rid of that prop. Gotta love that. Focus five. See, these guys I like. These have really good regular break bars, right? I've always got, got one to play with here. Comes back quickly. Big damage boost opened up. Nice. Three pistol shots, 12k damage. Yeah, what we could do is we could go Elixir of Anguish. And swap the Grandmaster trait over to Cascading Corruption for now. So now our quickness source is the Elixir. It's going to be Vile Blast for the CC, or any CC we like, from the Celerity Sigils. And um, we may want the final Elixir as well, you know. But that's uh, two more hero challenges, and we have the whole thing beaten. But, um, yeah, one more POI, and we've done Kaineng. So let's just grab that, and then get on over to the JC. And it's a very central POI. Oh, of course, there are lots of Mastery Challenges for us to get, it looks like. Let's go to the Ministry Ward. So, it's somewhere to the east of us. The Elder Dragon Sooner has emerged and is wreaking havoc in the Jade Sea. She is plagued by an unknown corruption. All of Kanta should be considered in danger. Please seek shelter and stay tuned for any additional updates. Whoa! Hold on! There's Void here! Kaineng Unmade is now a thing. Oh my god, Void is coming into the city too. Wow, what a cool moment! Oh shit, I wonder if they're talking about that. Also, look at that there by the way. This is for the first time I've seen the whole spoiler thing matter. Because that hologram was just talking about Jade Sea being terrorized by Su Wan. That would have immediately revealed the Deep Sea Dragon's name and all kinds. Of that, was, that would be too much pre-release. That is a valid spoiler for them to have deleted. And I can understand why they'd be scared of accidentally proccing one of these while doing early access live streams. I can understand that. And maybe Void appearing as well. Maybe. But without the context of the rest of the story, I don't I don't actually think that actually, ruins anything. I'm submitting my paperwork to create my own ministry. <coughs> oh, really? Wow, I've never heard this. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of waiting for change, seeing resources put to ill use. The Ministry of Supernatural Investigation and Reclaimed Objects. Ah, has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Well, you certainly sound passionate. 
I, I relate to this all too much. I'm ranting and raving about something I care a lot about, and the other person's like, okay, I sort of... I sort of get the appeal. <laughs> Poor Boots has listened to so many of my tirades. <laughs> um, you wonder if the maps are sharded based on story progress? I don't think it's that. I don't think they'd want to split the population that way. I think it's just fully uh, phased. Will you open? No. The NPCs you see can be phased, what they're saying can be phased, effects and stuff like that can be phased. I think it's all phased. I just now realised they couldn't have revealed Bubble's name early because of it's distinctly Canthan. If they'd said the name at launch, everyone would know you'd return to Canthan. It's not true. I actually think we have public dev comments saying they never really had a great idea for, the, for what the name was, even back when they revealed the letter S. This is all constructed later. You're put in effect before cause. I mean, you can use that as a headcanon if you like, but I'm telling you, there was no grand long-term plan to bring us to Canther ever since 2012 and launch. There never was. And they've just sort of made it fit. And it's, it, it wasn't the most challenging job, I've got to say as well. You've got the letter S, and then you just want to tie it to sound Korean. I mean, <laughs> they went with Sue Won, but I guess there's a near infinite other choices they could have picked. It's headcanon. Well, you're creating headcanon about development stories, which is really weird. Headcanon about the universe is fine, but, I mean, imagining for yourself that the development went one way or another, that, that seems a bit weird to me. I mean, you're welcome to imagine what you want, I suppose. That one goes down. we got to get up there. Oh, this is, a, this is an adventure, eh? They really want me all the way up there, in the center of the, ta of the town. This one seems kind of high. Oh, here's a mastery insight. I mean, this is good. We can get a sense as well if we're too high or too low. The POI we're about level with right now, but the, this mastery point is really high. I think there's a whole adventure to get up there. This zip line is going to be going downstairs, I think, because of the opening in the railing. Yeah. This one down as well, possibly. Yeah. Hmm, how tantalizing. WP, was everything this big scale-wise back in Guild Wars 1? It's a really interesting topic. Um, I saw the Spud Club was discussing at length in Discord yesterday. Well, not necessarily at length, but there was a bit of chat about it. And one person had a take in there that I kind of agree with, which is that, you know, certain levels of immersion and scope Get in, line behind every other angry um, in Guild Wars 1 are done very well, and certain other presentations of scope and immersion are done well in Guild Wars 2. Guild Wars 1 gets away with a lot because it's lots of maps, each depicting a slice. You never get the full thing. You know, there's... um. There was a, a thread out this this here's my thoughts on this, okay. In a roundabout way. About a month ago, maybe, I was reading I was reading about the MCU. Um Eternals came out on Disney Plus, and I watched Eternals, okay? And Eternals has, you know, this great gargantuan entity in it being born. I'll put it that way. Alright, no spoilers for that movie if you guys give a shit. But it has this big thing. Now, um, people were talking about its scale. And some people observed that they managed to keep it feeling really big. Because whenever it was in shot, it was compared with something else. Like it was obstructed by the, a view of the Earth, for example. Where am I supposed to go for this? To get up there. Um, there was always something else in the shot. And you ne here was the trick. You never, saw the, you never saw the full thing in any one shot. And the comment thread went on to explain, I'm not much of a comics, buy, comics guy, but it went on to explain that one of the comic runs that had this character in it, this giant character, this like planet-sized character, um, one of the comic runs 
uh, the artist always followed a rule where they never had a panel in the, in the comic where it was just the character surrounded by outer space, for example. They were always next to a celestial body, always depicted next to a galaxy or an asteroid belt or in front of or behind a planet or whatever. And because you have this extra reference, it's not the entirety of the shot, you get a much better sense of scale. And these people were talking about, you know, the comic books, and they were remarking that on some other comic run, that hadn't been done. And you had just seen this character, and I think in more recent runs, like nakedly surrounded by space. And as soon as it's just on its own, surrounded by space, it felt small. And it messed with the scale and the, re and the, the sort of the immersion of how big the thing's supposed to be. And that, that in an essence, that logic, that applies totally to Guild Wars 2. In many, many ways, but if you want to narrow it specifically to Kaineng. Kaineng feels bigger in Guild Wars 1 because you only get, ever get a sense of one slice. Because of the way that mechanically the maps are separated from one another. You can look to the edge of a map and there's a suggestion of the rest of the city, but you have this other stuff in the frame, right? You never get the full thing all at once. There's always something obscuring you. There needs to be a level of obfuscation to preserve that sense of scale. And that that level of obfuscation can happen through how the world map art is delivered. Guild Wars 2 doesn't really do it. It tries to map one to one. That obfuscation's gone, so therefore the scale starts to get fucked with. And and again, we get the sense that we're getting like the whole city, so to speak. Now there is a little bit of obfuscation, obviously, but it's clearly not enough. And it's not the same as Guild Wars 1, where there's like all these little maps all over the place and all these separated outposts and missions and so on. That's why when I talk about and compliment Forging Steel not being on the world map, there's that obfuscation there. You don't get the full thing in the panel, right? And so, uh, you know, it's, it's actually a really complicated psychological thing that's going on there. And I think you have to be really quite savvy to understand it and present an immersive world. Um, but that's what's going on. And yeah, Guild Wars 1 achieves some things better than others. Guild Wars 1 also looks really crappy in some ways. Just in terms of raw moment-to-moment -moment scale, Guild Wars 1 had nothing like this. And certainly didn't have exploration principles that let you interact with it. So anyway, those are some of the sort of my rudimentary thoughts. You're going to take me down though, aren't you? Oh, let's try it. What do we think here? What do we think? we got to get... On top of that bad boy. Maybe I go like far away and then glide and boost. And again, I'm trying to restrain from big springer jumps because they're not and and glides that are too long as well. I was thinking that this was the start here, but I don't know. That doesn't look right to me. How the hell do you get up there? I wonder if the end of, of End of Dragons puts you up there. Like how in Guild Wars 1, at the end, you ended up really high in Kaineng. I Maybe we just leave this as a mystery for now. Maybe we just leave it as a mystery. The last POI is over here. So there's this mastery point, but the last POI is actually over here. So Let's, let's focus on that challenge, because that's map comp right there. Man, that kid really wants to be a poet. That oh, let me put it this way: that guy really doesn't want that kid to be a poet. <laughs> this is quite cool, by the way. Look at this very intricate little area here. Hmm. Well, we do want some height. <laughs> We've lost all of our height here. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh god, I really don't- that's a real problem with End of Dragons, the, the, the clipping. The massive frame drops when you dip in and out of the camera of the water. Really disappointing. Uh, 
Uh, hey, amazing work there with the diligent spam bot removal from you, Rocker. I see you doing that. Thank you, man. Haywire anti-stealth. I don't know, I'm getting a bit insecure about the fact that I've titled this video as a JC thing. And we're not at the JC right now. So maybe we come back on part six. Well, I'll try and this looks like we got some some climbing available here. Where's the zip line go? Up. Oh, it does. Nice. It's a veteran wasp. Now the POI. See all that just to get back to this tunnel. Or is this a different tunnel? I think this is a different tunnel. It's like all the way up there. It's just crazy. Oh, no, no, no. We can come up here. You saw the frame drops too? You thought it's because you were at an older GPU? No, but this is a really good PC, man. You're looking at a 3080 at the moment. Again, courtesy of the Spud community. And um, and it's hiccuping every time that happens. It's the game, it's not you. This looks okay. The ministries serve the people of Kenpa, dedicating themselves to a better... God, the building is so cool. Empire. All right, all right, all right. This looks good. This looks good. Very high up here. Very central. Oh, we made it. We made it. It's just straight up a whole part of the city I hadn't been to. It's not even jumping puzzly to get here. There we go. Garden of the Celestials. All of the doors in Kaine's club award disappeared, locking everyone inside their homes and businesses. Oh, wow. A portal opened beneath Lake Lugardis, swallowing the fishermen on the surface before closing shortly after. Their whereabouts are currently unknown. Dude, I love it. They're, I love their, their... What ArenaNet have done here is they've done Void, is it's like Tyria is bugging, you know? It's like Tyria is glitching. Mo, I warned us in the Super Adventure Box, we did not listen. So another Harbinger's cash, that's interesting. Uh, now we get the gift of New Kaineng. A little bit of progress on Quietus there. We've got to start depositing, I'm afraid. Let's put these gifts with my other gifts. Put those in there as well. Anything I can double click to throw aside? Yes, I know what you're all thinking. WP, you didn't clean your goddamn inventory. I like how I have 17 rune stones. This is quite nice. I don't think I've experienced Guild Wars doing this before. A kind of currency like this that you sort of steadily build as you're going for legendary crafting. And it's like 17 of 100 right now. Something about it that feels good. Uh, wow, there was a teleporter straight here as well, had I known what to pick. Right, well, the mastery point. Uh, can I not talk about the Celestials with anyone? Any NPCs want to talk to me about Celestials? You, speak. Uh, what do you believe? I don't want to listen to the Brotherhood. You guys, you got anything to say? You guys, no? Ah, oh, that's a shame. Well, I want to go up to that mastery point. Hey, I got 5 PEN from Zergel. Thank you very much. Uh, head of review. I saw you early on Echo Wild Wilds on a small cathedral. At first, I wasn't sure it was you. You went to say you want to say hi from Peru, dude. Thanks very much. Wait, was it you that was at Saint Angica's Shrine with me earlier? Wow, we got to get on top of this golden there, building. You use this guy. You got a permit for that. Oh, that dialogue we've heard a ton of times before. I'm just, I don't want to make that jump. The springers can't do that. End of Dragon Springers can't do that. You're kidding, right? You're kidding, right? They're bandits, right? They're just like from Cortira. Now this, this is totally valid. This is End of Dragon Springers. Just get out of here. A huge ass roof. Dudes. This is so cool exploring this base. Oh, I see it up there. I see it. 
And I think this is intended as well, the way I've just done this. Cheeky little bit of rapturing. Glider will do it here as well, I think. There we go. Haha! -ha. Oh, I wish this one was a Vista. We really deserve to get a good sense of what we've just done. But that's still not the big daddy, right? This one's the big daddy. Surprising. It's rare to see your kind. Oh, the Largos are speaking again. I think water does not frighten you, but perhaps it should. Unlike you, I sense the malice in these changing I'm wondering with all this height if I can just do the glide. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Oh, getting on that roof there though. And what about that under that like attic area there? Right, Jade Bot. Help me. Come on, Jade Bot. You can do it. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Hopefully that we didn't need to be all the way up there. Oh, look at this. There's a zip line! Are you shitting me? There are zip lines all this high up. Dude, this map is awesome. Everyone's gonna be like, it's too complicated. It's like tangled depths. I don't like it. But I'm in, I'm well enjoying this. Oh my god. Oh look, there's a bit of a route there. Look at these spaces, man. Okay, hold on. I'm going back over. And we'll be in the JC. Alright, I'm just getting this 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 mastery point since we're so close. It's high though. It's telling me it's higher than we are right now. It's telling me that I've got to get higher. Hold on, let's just keep zip lining along. Because I think this is the right building now. No, it's not. Well, it kind of is. Uh, when you ban the bots, do you see their names in chat just without the message? I think it all stays there for me. I just get a little message that says it's been removed. Okay, so. Jesus Christ, can I hit these with a raptor? Hello, rat. Dude, I've always liked stuff like this. There was a video I saw a long time ago of, um, like, some crane operator that was, like, in some ludicrously high up place. We're talking about a ludicrously high up man made thing again. But I remember, like, he looked at, like, some room that he'd built for himself up there. And there was, like, ants on the wall or something. And it's so weird to think of, like, insects and things getting so high up. It would be so windy up here if this was IRL right now. Okay, what do you... How do I get up there? How? You've got to be real delicate here. What do you guys think? Is that reasonable? Oh, here. This is what they want me to do. I could have jumped from there for sure. I think. Hmm. Could I have done that? Crazy shit, man. Crazy. So cool. Okay, I think I did that in a weird way. I think this bridge is here because they wanted me to go along the bridge. So I think the actual access is from here. There, look, there, that's a little bit better. More of a winding environment there. Wow. And there's still buildings higher than this. That's the roof we were at a second ago. I've proven my mastery. Luck Gardist Market. God damn. I have way too many points now. Well, there you go. There's probably even more around, but let's uh, let's call it quits there, shall we? Do they want me back at Arborstone? They do. Nice. Let's go to the Arborstone, the war room. Is this the command center when they say the war room? The really gorgeous place? I gotta check something here as well. Oh, Jade Bot personal waypoint. I don't have it yet. Do I have to finish Jade Bot before I can fly around independently? Wait, how's that work? I thought you got free cameras, the Jade Bot. 
with the Jade Bot, but I don't have a free cam ability. Mastery abilities, by the way, are an interesting expansion of the mastery system. Might actually be good for it. But I don't know how much the UI can support on there. Really, it should be in the skills UI or something. Anyway, uh... Oh, you got on top of the giant jade, but there was nothing there. Ah. Oh, here we go. God, I love this room. Hello, everyone. Begin the war council. Here we go. We've got June and Timey there in hollow form. Everyone else has actually made it. Thank you for meeting me here, everyone. June. <coughs> As you all know, we have been busy replicating Olga's extractor. The plan is that we use the replicas to cure Suwan. What happens to the void once we pull it out of her? It should pass to Aureen. And it's not going to turn her into a rampaging dragon? Aureen's been able to withstand the corruption in the past. But we don't know for sure, which is why we'll have an army. Those of you in the Jade Sea, what's Suwan's status? Still rampaging. We've managed to keep her contained, but everyone's growing weary. You won't have to much longer. Are the extractors ready to be moved to the Jade Sea? They'll be ready to go any second, Commander. We're just running a few last-minute tests. Why in the hell didn't that work? I was precise. And, uh, making a few last-minute adjustments. But they'll be in the air in minutes. Tens of minutes at the most. Gorik, you meet Tymie and June in the Jade oh, Sea. We need all our best minds loaded. keeping the extractors working. Actually, Commander, I want to be on the front line. I want to fight the Dragon Void. Dude, Great. cool name. I won't be talked out of it. It was my blunder that set this all in motion. This Choya brain needs to make things right. Commander, Saida and I are out here just off the coast of the Jade Sea. Void creatures are spreading beyond the shore. Rapidly. We might want to get ahead of that. If you have any forces that are air capable. Air capable? <laughs> That's Ivan. <laughs> I'll go. I can go with you. I'm good with heights. Well, as long as you've got an airship and are reasonably useful in a fight, you're hired. Very well. Kaz, Jory, since you know all the players involved, I need you two to join Battlefield Command. We won't let you down. I know. We've been here before. It didn't break us then, and it won't break us now. Be more careful with that! It's gonna save the world, you know. Wait, have my comms been open this whole time? Uh, sorry, Aurene, Commander. I'm... I don't know about this one. I don't know if we can... If we'll... It's a long shot. No denying that. But we can't think about that. We've just got to deal with what's right in front of us. Eyes forward. Hearts open. We take this oh, last one, that. side by side. Okay? Every step of the way. Every step of the way. Brilliant. I'll probably be talking to them last. Um, dude, I love the idea. So, is the, is the story here that, um... There's shit tons of void in the Jade Sea because all of that can be corrupted, right? Or something? I think there's a kind of cool idea there. Rama, you didn't even speak, man. Commander, I never thought things would get this bad. I admit, it's thrown me a little, but I'll get over it soon. My head's in the game. I'm here for whatever you need. They don't need you at the Ministry of Security. I love how silent it is here. Me? Nah. I told them everything I know. The administrators get to clean up the mess at this point. Who's going to be the next Minister of Security? You? <laughs> ah... Oh, boy. N no. No. I am not going to be the next Minister of Security. There are about five levels of Deputy Ministers ahead of me. And truth is, I don't want to be promoted. I could have been Deputy Minister years ago. That's not the life for me. I like the work. I don't want to watch other people do it. Besides, after all that's happened, uh... I don't know if the Ministry's really even the place for me anymore. He's given me strong vibes of joining the main cast later. You never know. Uh, Ayumi, a young but well-respected member of the Kestrels. I can't believe I'm about to go uh, ride around on an airship. 
Uh, next visit to my mum in Kainang, we're going to have a lot to talk about. Where are the rest of the... I, I, flying around on an airship for a Tengu that's wanted to fly for so long is such a cool idea. Um, must be a big moment. Where are the rest of the Kestrels? Oh, um, they're back in Echovald. The void corruption there is significant now. But they're doing what we do best. Keeping the people of the forest as safe as they can. I know they'll be okay. They will. But if you're worried, you could go back and join them. No. I can do more good out here. If we stop what's going on in the Jade Sea, then everyone is safe. I love how I'm not even really blinking at the fact she's a really cool, like, blue-looking Tengu, you know. Long have we moved on from when just seeing, like, a green one was so thrilling. Ivan, probably my favorite addition, to be honest, this expansion. I love this guy. Ivan is here for whatever you need, Commander. You have an airship, Ivan? Oh, yeah. Won it in a game of dice. Some Echo Vault scrapper found one of our galleons, Anka, stashed. He thought it was a watership. <laughs> Didn't even know what he had. Ah! If I hadn't won, I'd have probably found a way to liberate it from him. Anyway, I ran into a few other ex aether blades who were all interested in forming a new crew. To do, uh, strictly legal sorts of airshipping. <laughs> I could almost see his face as he said, legal. Timey with the machine. Hey, Commander. Busy here trying to get these extractors prepped. Did you need something? Do you have any idea what the void actually is? Oh, boy. There's a question. Kind of, but not really. <laughs> Our observations line up with what Kudabang described. Void magic is made up of all the other magics. It's funny because when you hear the word void, you think of nothing when the truth is it's everything. But it turns out everything is highly volatile. Any matter caught up in it changes states constantly. Why can't survive like that? We can't survive like that. There's a lot of good internal logic to that, isn't there? That makes sense. Why it's so chaotic and stuff. Okay. And it's a very clear, easy idea. You got this mess, tangled mess of multi magic, and Aurene can split it out as a prism, you know, and deal with it. That's very, very linear and easy to understand. Hello, Gorik. This is interesting, you know. And when I did the big story playthrough before this, I almost made the observation of how something I hadn't noticed until I played the entire game all in one long sitting, so to speak. I didn't notice how Gorik never fights. Like, I remember when we were doing some of the uh, post-Path of Fire stuff, I was like, Gorik really... Th th and I thought that was really cool, you know, that he's always in that research position. He's, he never fights. So this is kind of a big moment here. I don't know if they already swapped that around and he, start he participated in some ways. Well, it's good to be back with Dragon's Watch again, though I'd be lying if I said my time with the Jade Brotherhood wasn't instructive. So, you were working with the Jade Brotherhood? Oh, yeah, I was acting as our liaison to them while you were off talking to June. I got to observe some of their experiments, and, well, it took me back to my days in the inquest. Not getting nostalgic for them, are you? A little bit of nostalgia, maybe. I watched them experiment with adding a jade core to a living... Oh, you don't want to hear about that. Anyway, it mostly reminded me of how glad I am to be out. And Blish, I guess. Do you think they're really going to fight with us? I think so. They're as scared of anyone as the laws of physics breaking down. That's pretty crucial to engineering, after all. But I'm not sure what will happen 10 minutes after the battle's over. Glad to hear it. It's nice. They're setting up like the whole thing is volatile. Um, interestingly, he didn't have voice acting. Everyone else did. Uh, it's not a problem. I'm happy he's got something. Okay, Marjorie and Kazmir. You can count on us, Commander. Was there anything else you wanted to go over? What's going to happen to Lee? Well, he's been arrested. I don't know much about the camp and legal system yet. That's more your area of expertise. But my guess is he'll go on trial when things calm down. Probably be locked up for quite a while. He obstructed investigations into some pretty serious acts of terrorism. We still haven't received any kind of formal apology yet. But I imagine that comes after we've saved reality as we know it. And Marjorie, Commander, you have no idea how good it was to get your call. A few more minutes with the speakers. So you were coordinating with the speakers. So we have the Brotherhood and the speakers coming together here. If by coordinating our efforts you mean reminding them over and over not to enslave spirits, then you're right. You sound exasperated. Yeah, they all thought I'd look the other way just because I practice necromancy. Like it's at all comparable. You think we can count on them as allies? They're kind of Masati actually in what they're doing. Um, I, I, I tried to snort, guys. 
I think if you, uh, you called Tetra Earth call your ally to her face, she'd stomp you. But Tetra's legitimately concerned about the fate of the planet. For the time being, she sees us as threat number two, and she's got her hands full with threat number one. And her followers do whatever she says. Fanatical, but to our advantage here. This is, this is factions, man. This is exactly what happened there. Okay. I even appreciate that we had this m moment here before we go barreling off to the, the Jade Sea. I feel like in previous expansions, we would have just charged there already. So where do we... So travel to Dragon's End. This is it. Unfortunately, we don't get to chat with Kunavang. I wonder if she has some bonus dialogue, though, anyway. Fingers crossed. Slight chance. She just wants to know about Albax. I wonder if Albax is in the last map. Since she's talking about him. And he'll help us out. Part of the meta, maybe? Wow, what if Albax, Kunavang, and Suwon are already in that last meta? Okay. So. This is it, guys. We're off to the Jade Sea. I'm going to go via the north. And grab these three things here. And the zip line takes us straight there as well, which is awesome. Well, not straight there. It looks like we're going slightly roundabout. I like these sun bears, by the way. I haven't really talked about them enough. I do think that the expansion is lacking a bit in the fauna and stuff. Oh, I was here pre-release. This is the graveyard where you can interact, but they didn't have any lore. I remember someone saying to me, oh, maybe they're going to add it before launch. I was like, there's no way. It's too late. If I gotta chase one more of those spooky earth muffins out of here, I'm going to quit. I swear. The cemetery caretaker. What's he referring to about the muffins? Dude, I could go for a muffin right now. Oh, if someone has muffins in their vicinity, eat, eat a muffin for me. Please. Do it. Do it for me. That guy just gave me a crazy craving for muffins. Particularly, blueberry muffin. The kind you'd get from, like, Costa or something, you know? Maybe with, like, um... You know, like a sugared top. I don't mean like powdery sugar. I mean like, you know, crispy crystalline sugar. And the inside of the muffin should be filled with just like gooey blueberry taste, you know. Oh, here you go. Duke Holtz Lock Goddess. Some of them are virtual texts. Headmaster Amara. Rest with the gods. They're just all NPCs from the first game. Lovely. Too worn to read. Too worn to read. Too warm to read. Is it the big ones have text? Onyx Weasel. Honorary Kurzik. That seems like an odd one. Like uh, a player base reference, actually. You want anything else? Some member of the community. Too warm to read. Unholy Spirit of Agony. Lucas Fassberg. Oh, this is going to be literally their family. Petra Brower. Memorial Zoo Heltzer. Oh, awesome. Just pure fan service for those who love the, uh, the Kurzics. Brutus. This will be Sheena here then. Sheena. Oh, wow! Gravestone of Countess Danica. Hold on, didn't they show this to us pre-release? The final leader of House Zuhelza. Yeah. The JC meta just reset. Well, I'm not going to be rushing into the meta instantly, am I? Is it? Okay, so the map's called Dragon's End. Is it a Dragon Stand style map? I mean, is this it? Am I at the end? Nadetta? Petrov? A deal. Bruno. What was 
is it someone told me to do to get extra information at the very end of the game? They told me to do something, like on part three. Someone in the live chat said to me, WP, do this thing, you'll get extra info. There's like extra stuff at the end of the story. Do you guys remember? Was the advice to beat the meta? Wow, the vista- oh my god, it's up there? Alright, let's see how this works. Okay, you want me on that wall, don't you? Now, can that be walked up? I don't think it can be. It just occurs to me that I have not done the full Aspen Mood event in life. That's not been a part of the Let's Play. Oh, okay, a zip line here. Is this how I could have climbed up here? Look at all this detail. Look at all these places, man. What the hell is over here? Well, hold on, but let's... Let's not lose sight here. There's also an event that's trying to trigger down there. That vista. So once we're on this, it's fine. You come along here. And then along these. I'm really excited to see these because of the music, mostly. Yeah. The camera fly-throughs are good as well. Here we go. Oh, they were saying to get the Arborstone Mastery. Oh, well, I'm really far away from that. There's a true ending achievement that encourages you to do the meta before the final in instance. Oh, I see. So they do specifically say, hey, do the meta. That's good. I mean, look, uh, when it feels like the time's right, the time's right. I don't want to feel like this weird pressure to only be in the map at the exact right time or whatever, but we'll see how this goes. We'll see. It's like there's a collection that starts in here. Hey, there's a spud! Who's possibly AFK or just died here. We have to raise the spud. Up you get. What's this? Legendary lion stance. Oh, nice. Vindicator. Look, see here, look. Scholar Zhiwiyun. Hello and welcome to the. Oh, you're no tourist. You're one of those adventuring types, aren't you? Good. Good. I've been hunting for the ancient tomb where it said the Kurzix and Dredge made their final stand against the Ministry. Oh shit, they, they have this cool idea of an alliance. It was said that only those who unfolded the way could enter. Fascinating. So what do you need? I think the survivors left clues on keystones like this one here. And I need charcoal rubbings of the marks. With all of them I should be able to piece together the location. They're near Lake Glutgardis, St. Angica's Shrine, and a shrine near Fort Aspenwood. Find the stones, get the rubbings, come back, and we'll see what we find. Oh, Crypt Seeker quest. Okay, I've seen two of these. Nice. So, I found the Valdhurt's crypts. What, you did? Gods above, I knew it wasn't a legend. But if it wasn't, then it must be pretty grim in there, yes? You have no idea. I'll just table my curiosity and then be happy I was right. Good job, excellent work. Not a problem. What crypt was that? I don't... Valdhurts. Forest heart, not a physical center, but origin, first family. Few reports, no survivors of attack, even ministry. Children and elders evacuated to Kaineng before attack. Artifact, heart of Grenth, Derim family heirloom from ore. Does what? Dude, this is cool. Scout says they saw ministry turned into rats or ghosts, both? Artifact result? What happened in that tomb? Hold on, Valdhurts? When did I go there? That place sounds awesome. Some kind of Orion relic that turned people, ghosts, into rats? Right, let's get this hero challenge. Oh, so much to return to. It's the one with the lantern. Oh, I get to use Lich Form here, hopefully. If this guy's scaled up well enough. Let's wait for a couple more pulses of quickness. Actually, why don't we have any quickness? Oh, because I changed my uh, trait. 
we're on the power train. So let's see, every time that thing pulses, what's it doing? 2k damage? 900 damage? Lame. I'm telling you guys. Take the infinite quickness and fury. Here lies Lord Archek Brower, blessed by Lissa in life, found peace with Grent in death. I like that. Two, two gods being mentioned there. I'll tell you what, Lissa's getting a lot of mentions. Balthazar's obviously had a lot of mentions. Grenth's been getting a lot of mentions. I'll tell you what, Dwayna and Melandru, especially Dwayna. Melandru, not so much, because she does get a look in sometimes. Dwayna is really understated in Guild Wars 2. She doesn't get mentioned much, right? She basically has the big highlight in Malkor's Leap. And aside from that, you know, it's very sparing that you hear them talk about Dwayna. And even more sparing further still than the idea of her as the, the uh, leader of the gods. Just like they don't really talk about Melandru as the eldest either that often. Oh, what happened? Did I? D did we? Oh, no. Uh, pale mother! What a horrible stench! It's spoiled. The ritual failed. Oh, she. That was the. That's the Silvari at the the Forever Tree that dies and comes back to life. But they failed in her audio played through the whole map. I was so excited there because I was like, "That's definitely Silvari," and I don't know who it is. By the way, what the dick? Oh, this is the entrance. Travelers throughout Echovald are being harassed by members of the Speakers and the Jade Brotherhood. Oh, wow. The entrance to Kaineng is like, there's a huge gap there. Okay. We've actually walked through that before, so no big deal. Alright, this is it. We'll get the Brotherhood Woodland stuff and the Kinkai Basin and we're out. I can't wait to see it. Little story here, back in the day, if you've watched my Guild Wars 1 Factions Let's Play, you'll know this. Uh, back in the day, I um, I loved the idea of the JC. My main motivation for the entire game was to get to the JC. And I became a Luxon for the JC. I was just so captivated by it. I didn't actually really like the forest too much back then. Um, and it's so cool to me that here in Guild Wars 2 now, I'm having that same experience, you know? And it's right at the end of the story here. The outsider, I heard you might be around, and that you're a friend. If you're here to infiltrate the Brotherhood, I can help. Which I do. I, I, get, I get it, it's gonna be the same as the other one. Water disposal bin. What am I going to deposit into this? You do not have an item to use with this object. Polluted goop. You need the proper container to take a sample. The forest creeped you out as a kid and you wanted to spend as little time there as possible. I don't think I was creeped out, but I didn't like it as much as the JC for sure. Oh, yeah. Renho is on it. He's already telling folks the price has doubled. The list's still a mile long. Double our price is still less than June lies. And we get all the same channels. Mostly. Okay. Oh my god, we really mess with the technology here, right? Eh? You help disrupt the Jade Brotherhood's operations. Oh god. If someone sees me hacking this, am I in big trouble? Oh, they saw me. They saw me. This guy saw me. Important information. This contains information on the Jade Brotherhood's doings. If it had something that could, if you had something that could record it, like a drone, it might come in useful. I turned off the monitor, but that guy saw me again. That guy's staring at. Well, bugger off then. And get out of my face. Oh god, I got him to turn around. Repair guide. This is a roughly scored manual of sorts, full of notes and sketches. If you flip through it, you might find out how to undo some shoddy fixes. 
First rule, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Just dive in and mess around. It probably won't kill you. If it rattles, tighten it up. If it's sticky, clean it up. If it sparks, reattach it. If it clicks, replace it. Don't sweat the small stuff. As long as they're running when the customer takes them home, we're A-OK. -okay. If the job seems any more complicated than that, just pass it off to research and development crew and let them worry about it. How much does it really affect them turning off the water? This is cool, I can hack a pump. Turn off the lights, I mean. No one saw me do that, surely. Oh, that guy did. Examine the water supply. Oh, I have a bucket. Oh, hold on. With the bucket, can I get rid of the tar and stuff? Brotherhood's moving something to their lab in Fort Aspenwood. Probably a good idea to make sure it doesn't arrive. Oh, there you go. So we get a little bit of the uh, Fort Aspenwood event. I think that's what I need to do anyway. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's just hack this. Figuring out the timing for the hacking and making sure someone's not looking at me seems kind of brutal. Actually, I can't mess with those controls. Oh, wow. There's a whole room over here. Oh, just as I dropped the bucket. <laughs> Great. Jade Bot Dispenser. Welcome to the Jade Drone uh, Dispenser. Please insert proper credit for drone cylinder. Insert a Jade charge. Okay, but getting a bot, what does that do for me? Console active. Command. Access personal archive. Chul Mu. Enter password. <laughs> password guest 12345. I guess I don't have the password. This is probably the equivalent of... Um, on the other side, you remember I had that special thing I could do? Your bot can't interact with this. Uh, is it the coupling again? Uh, I don't understand what's wrong. Ooh. You note small sing singe marks inside the machine as if something had been sparking. Spray glue all over it. Roughly unplug the connections. Loosen the rattling mechanism. Swap out all the new parts. Let's spray glue. You want to get zapped? Touch my stuff again and I'll zap you. You won't like it. <laughs> you suspect it broke a little too well. <laughs> I gained suspicion from that. Yeah, you can turn out that light. Nobody saw us doing that. Gonna mess with the monitor? Apparently. The unsolvable equation. Someone posted an unsolvable problem here. You're pretty sure this is unsolvable because it's nonsense. But maybe if you made a pretend effort, they might respect that. Oh, I got kicked out. Let's hack this real quick. I'll probably get caught. I seem to always get caught with these. Yeah. We're over halfway done already, though. Oh, hold on. So I could... It, before, if I knelt at the Wardens, it reduced my suspicion, didn't it? So that's going to be the similar thing here. It's going to be a way of cleansing suspicion, right? So let's go back over there. Dude, they're all looking always. Uh, slash ponder maybe? Don't worry, I couldn't figure it out either. Nice. I don't have the item for the food supply. What is it, poison or some shit? Simple calibrator over there. Well, hold on, repair guide. Roughly scored manual of sorts. 
Yeah, I remember we read this. Simple calibrator. I got life force there. From something, I don't know what. Hey, I did something and nobody saw me for once. What's the technician supplies about? Is it for this? Okay, let's just roughly unplug the arcane connections. Hey, that's mine. Go salvage your own parts. All right, he saw me. What would I do with the supplies? I don't have the password for that. Waste bin. Oh, I see. You put the supplies in the bin. Okay. <laughs> wow, can I fix the teleporter? Wait, I can use this teleporter. Well, I don't want to try that yet, because um, if I end up leaving the area, I'll lose the achievement. Top secret schematics. I'll put these in the bin as well, right? <laughs> Hopefully no one catches me putting it in the bin. Don't look at me. Oh, I probably should have finished that channel. I doubt I got a uh, heart credit there, because I didn't let it go all the way. These are really involved events, eh? Cables. I don't have an item. There's probably like wire cutters around or something. Okay, so I've got a bucket, right? So that's sludge that you can see around. God, these people are so rude. And get out of my face! Very rude. It's just another water supply. Oh, do I put out the fire? Oh, that's probably what I do, right? It even has the water telegraph there. Okay, come on, move out of the way. You guys promised me this is line of sight, so he can't see me, right? Alright, good. One of the brotherhoods out smoking around. Acting pretty suspicious. What about this lantern? Oh! Oh, the robots can scan and see that I'm not, I'm not all above board. What was I trying to put in the bin there? A bucket. Usually I kill rats and stuff like this, but because we're against these people, you can, it sort of instantly tell that's not. That's not the game. Let them live among the rats. Let's grab more supplies, put these in a bin. Probably got like two more little things and we get the whole heart done. Did that count? Yeah, it did count. Top secret schematics. I'm going to go in that teleporter as well. I'm hoping it takes me up to that vista that's way above us. Look, at, look up there! What on earth? Oh, that's cool. Wait, this isn't... Is this the, like, place that I thought was a jumping puzzle from pre-release? It turns out there's no roof here. It's not... I always thought that was inside a giant cathedral, but I guess... Is this it? I mean, it looks like it might be it, right? With the cranes and stuff. It's just we're looking at a knight from the bottom. Interesting. So, hold on. Is there no regular-ass jumping puzzle in this map? Examine this. Oh my god, we're so close. One, one more schematic in a bin. Hey, that's a lot of achievements. Echovald Wilds Mastery, Saboteur in our mists, midst, winning hearts and minds, all renowned hearts across the entire expansion done. That's all of them done. I got another achievement there as well. I've been getting uh, congratulations all around for how upended the Jade Brotherhood's operations have been lately, and I'm making sure every one of the Keshuls knows you're the one to thank for it. Echovald appreciates your efforts. So where's that teleporter? Let's go up the teleporter. We also got the achievement for doing it without getting caught. I'm kind of nervous to use Warhol 5 here because it might tag it in and get me kicked out. Oh, 
broken jade tech. Important information. This is different to all the other ones. Juicy information. On a drone, I could have recorded it, I see. I've totally lost a sense of direction and where it was. I'm trying to scan around as best I can. There it is. Yeah, isn't it going to just give me a list of destinations though? Whoa. Oh, this is useless. All of this is completely useless. Everything oh yeah, look, we're up now. We're high up now. Whoa. Oh my god, this event, this heart's a huge area. Oh, they must have just torn it off. Who did this, literal children? <laughs> Actually, yeah. We've been paying the village kids for whatever they can bring in. The crazy lady that runs the place is nicer to them if they get caught. Uh, I am surrounded by amateurs. <laughs> Holy shit, I did all of this on the bottom floor, but look at all of this play space. Reverse its polarity again? Hunk of junk. I guess if I was a drone, I could have really climbed up here and look at all this stuff. All right, there it is. That's the shot. This is the pr this is the shot from pre-release, right? They must have been standing on that crate or something, right? Like this. There it is. I honestly thought this was a big jumping puzzle room, and we're looking at it in night, so it's not as impressive. But in day, it was so cool. Very golden in there. Maybe they were higher up actually. Look at this. There's bonfires and stuff still. Cistern. This is a lot more detailed than the warden area. Another broken teleporter. But I feel like that one might take me down at this point. Crane controls? Oh, that's not gonna... I thought it was gonna move the crane for a second. And even better, I thought the other player was gonna trigger it. Of course. Until I got a better offer from Chul Mu. Didn't you? <laughs> nope. I used to mess with this stuff as a hobby. Got a reputation in the streets for rewiring security drones. Purely at owner request, of course. <laughs> you guys think the jumping puzzle is in the other camp? Interesting. Right, well, as long as I'm allowed to glide in here. Oh, I'm not allowed to use the, the, the TP, though. The, the Jade bot. So I just messed that up. Right, well, let's climb up again. Maybe we try that next teleport then, actually. It might, who knows? It might take us up. This broken one here? It costs a battery each time. Oh, see, and I don't have it. <gasps> ah! I was holding right click. I swear to God I was. Which would move the camera, which would move the direction my character was moving. But uh, for some reason, it didn't click in. Well, it did click in. Uh, the client never registered it. I don't know why. Okay, let's try that again. So, surely we could just walk across and then go through this room. Zigzag around, so to speak. This way. This is a hell of a heart. And around here as well. <laughs> Oh, maybe this is where that teleport would have taken us out. I like that guy sitting over there. He's a sharpshooter. Wow, this is cool. I'm really happy with that. The process to get to that vista was a hell of a journey. I bet this looks good too. Oh, we go through the window. The flickering is a real issue though. Look at the windows flickering back there. Oh, shit. So there you go. Now there is a POI somewhere level with me here. It's over in there. I, I can't believe I messed that one up. We were probably standing right next to it a second ago. We're gonna get to the other side again now, so. I'm real quick. Just as long as I don't get kicked out. It's 
back over there near that bonfire. Looks like we do have to do a bit of a jump though. Is there not a walkway or something? Ah, oh, here we go. Now I could speak to Tetra at the other camp. So can I, what was her name, Chew? Could I not speak to? Oh, there, they must be in there. Surely they're in there. Hologram generator? A Jade Brotherhood inventor who's frustrated. I don't think you belong here, scrub. Keep walking before I change my mind. I think we've got to jump down now. Here you go, Mi Shen's lab, stay out. Examine. Though this door seems like wood, touching it sends a small shock through your fingers. Vish various warnings about unwanted visitors and grisly fates are detailed on a list taped to it. There's a laboratory intake mount there though, a uh, vent there. Can I not go in through the vent? Oh, did I just balls this up? I gotta find a way to get up to that vent now. I'm not allowed to mount. Do I go in through the vent? I would love to go in through that vent. It really strikes me there's a room in there with a the POI. We go, we're going back up. I'll use a drone to go through the vent. Now that's an idea. What did the... Oh, here you go. Jade bot dispenser. Oh, no. I need a power. Hold on. Oh, please tell me there's batteries around in here. There's a battery. Can my bot give me a POI, though? Is that how that works? Insert a jade charge. Let me in. Investigate. The noisy air vent whirs and emits occasional noxious fumes. To their lab in Fort Probably a good idea to make sure it doesn't arrive. Oh, he can give me POIs. Mi Shen's lab. Important information, important information. This contains juicy information. Record data. Oh, I see. So this is like a super fast way to in the heart then as well. Very cool. Oh, I love it. Because you get for free. No one's going to look at you in there as well. So can I not speak to Mi Shen anywhere? Like I could speak to Tetra. Well, whatever. I had a lot of fun with that. We're on the road again. I think we are. I'm gonna figure out how to get out of there. They updated the final matter. In what way? What, just now? You struggle with that vent for an hour or two? To be honest, if I hadn't just read in the live chat about maybe the bot, I don't know whether I would have been through that. I would have climbed all the way up and it wouldn't have worked. And then I probably would have left thinking I need to have the heart active to be able to do it. That's probably what I would have done. Maybe I would have stuck it out because I wanted... Who are you? What do you want with the rest of you? Jesus Christ, what is this? Because I wanted the POI. Are you doing that? Oh, I think she was struggling with Void there. Did you guys see that? This is a weird event. Sort of out here naked. It's actually a curse to me. It's quite rare to find a champion in the game, isn't it? Just like an event like this. They're nearly always elites. Which might be a better classification to, to run. Now, 
With all this quickness, might and fury, and the break bar down. Dude, only 3k though. That pro that prot is huge. Gotta gotta rip that prot. Sorry, I think the game's probably a little bit too loud, isn't it? In combat like this as well. You think Mishen is part of Map 2's Mer event? Oh, really? Oh, okay. I'm just waiting for the protection to reappear. There it is. Now I rip it, and now we shroud, and now we break the bar. What are these fissures? Stop messing with my head, she says. Again, spinal shivers. Give everyone else quickness. Break one more. Okay, so what's fascinating me right now is there was a POI up there. I think I needed to leave the heart area from a certain angle. But at the same time, I think we can probably clamber through the trees and be alright anyway. Come on, I just beat the event. It's unfair for you to keep fighting me. I just did it. These vampire beasts are going to be kind of nasty if I'm not careful. Here we go. <gasps> wow, look, they're still teleporting to me. Did you guys see that? Oh, are you serious? Oh, fine, I'll put the disguise on. Oh yeah, and we could uh, mini Jade Brotherhood Junker mini. Oh, and there's a Harbinger's cookbook there. Do I already have that? Does that count? Specialization, quietus. The notes on Blight, the badge of the Harbinger. Yeah, I already have the cookbook. That's interesting that I can buy another one from that guy. That's a bit weird. And will be a total waste of currency and stuff. Oh, what? But if I walk away, it takes the, the thing off. So how exactly am I supposed to utilize this pathway? I'm going to move past these vampire beasts again now. They're going to nail me this time. Oh, are you serious right now? Free updraft, please, please, please. Oh, oh, I'm so frustrated right now. Use the bot. There's a panel we could have used outside. Hey, well, hold on. I've got another idea. I'm just going to go straight there. Wait, do they want me all the way up there? No, it's only on this pillar, right? No. Oh, they want me super high. Oh, I, I didn't have a clue. It's all the way up there. Okay, so maybe we should jade bot there then. You guys are telling me that there's a... Um, there's a jade bot panel outside the heart. I don't see one outside. I don't know why I keep clicking that. Oh, what? I'm in mean the fucking thing! Yes, I've got the disguise. What more do you want from me? Dude, I lost the disguise again. It's a Tengu outpost, really high up. Well, I would just fly up to it on the bot. I think that's a really cool idea. Did I lose because this guy's trying to fight me? Why are there relentless mobs around a dialogue and... Alright, there we go. Oh, I was mistaking the stealth effect that he was giving me for the full-on disguise. Okay. Collect a battery. Oh my god, there's an event that starts here. 
Technician supplies. Well, it, it, if there's not a deposit thing, why am I being fought in here now? This is a Jade bot. Whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm getting frustrated. I want to be at the Jade Sea, and this has just gone on and 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 on. And it's not even like I, um, I'm nearly done with all the POIs or something, you know. I just wanted to grab the couple of objectives on the way. But this seems like it's insanely high up. Maybe when I was in there, I could have climbed out or something. But whatever. Let's just let's just get towards the Jade Sea. I'm not opposed to this one here, though. Hey, look, we get some good stuff. Moss Heart. Hey. It's a nice happy area. What is this? Dress love. Is this a uh, dredge spirit? Hello, child. Welcome to this place. Be at peace. I am called Dresslav, its keeper, and I was once spirit of this forest. Hopefully again, one day. What does it mean to be a spirit of the forest? Like Ergos? What is this place? Merely a garden, and yet also more. If you will be. Right now, uh, it is enough for me to be... For it to be a shelter for all the forest creatures and its visitors as well. Is it, gangs are at war with each other. is it okay to harvest from here? It's not for me to say. If the plant offers their... F oh, she walked off. Uh, is it okay to start harvest from here? It's not for me to say. If the plants offer their fruits, the trees their branches, the rocks their shards, who would I be to deny them? Take, share, and grow. What is this place? Merely a garden. Or oh, tell me more. Dresslav. That sounds like such a dredgy name. But I suppose Ergos was a... With these Vs and Zs around. Dresslav's Garden. Now, if I go to the Guild Wars 1 wiki and I look at Dresslav, am I going to find something? This is a very nice, quiet little place. It's nice to see a Will of the Wisp that isn't trying to kill me. Click again. I missed a line. Did I? Are you positive? What is this place? Is it okay to harvest from here? I had another question. What is this place? Is it okay to harvest from here? I had another question. You were a spirit of the forest. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, uh, don't walk away from me. Yes, I oversaw the growth of things. While well, my twin ergos saw to their decay. Necessary for the cycle of the forest. The Jade Wind threw off that balance, but thankfully not forever. Why aren't you the spirit anymore? Ergos blamed humanity for the harm done to the forest. I tried to stop him, but he banished me into the body of a warden and cut away my memory. This is all new lore, and it's all based on some old stuff, which I'm I'm in my element here. Ha the Brotherhood made their first move. They're marching toward Kroba, a Kurzic outpost. I don't care. Ergo's uh, blamed humanity for the harm done to the forest. I tried to stop him, but he banished me into the body of a warden and cut away my memory. How did you get... It's not the warden that only grunts down in the other part of the map, is it? How did you get free? I confess I do not know. I was finally freed. But my once prison persisted. What happened to that body, I also cannot say. But every day I return a little more to myself. Dude, is the is the warden with like no memory or understanding that's tending to the tree in the south of the map? Dress Lav's body. Don't. What happened to Ergos? I do not think he's gone. He is as much the spirit of his place as I. I hope when he reappears, we may once again balance one another. But time will tell. So we have two spirits here. 
Leading the Wardens. One of growth, one of decay. Makes me think a little bit about Coden with their voices and claws. It also makes me think about the Silvari. Um, with their avatar of the Pale Tree and then maybe, I don't know. There, there's no equivalent of the avatar for the Nightmare Court though, is there? There's only one avatar, there's not two. So that's the difference between them. This is really cool. Can I take you to your body? I think I know where your body is, dude. You're either um, the grunting guy or you're uh, the petrified guy by the void. Maybe you got freed because of the void. I oversaw growth. My twin saw to their decay. Oh, this is so cool. They expanded on all this. Oh, this is so cool. This is exactly what I wanted. To, like, actual expansion on these ideas. Because they're so loose and vague about it in Guild Wars 1. They don't suggest that Ergo's as a twin or anything. Or that he could have survived, even though I really wanted him to have. They didn't have this cool idea of growth and decay. And they didn't, um... They didn't have any sense of dress love. Does dress love in real life mean anything to any of you guys? Ergo's and dress love. If we combine their names together, reverse their names. Are the letters an anagram for something, maybe? Oh, oh, the, the live chat really came through there. I was going to walk off, and someone said, no, there's more dialogue. I was, I was going to miss that. Goodbye, dress lab. It was good to meet you. It's interesting that they're a will of the wisp as well. The Echo Vouds had some really cool lore stuff. Really cool. Two big areas, I would say. Oh, look, termites. Dude, what? Hold on. Are these the termites that you see in that one area of Path of Fire? Are they termites? I'm talking about, um, here. Are they termites here? This is a very rare enemy in the game, I'll tell you that. Maybe they appear in Heart of Thorns a little bit too, but not big. Anyway, these are cool, these feel new. Dress Slav backwards is Valsurd. It sounds native Slavic. I don't know. This is cool. I like seeing all the termites around here. Here yeah, we kind of got a sense of an area of decay, right? Right next to the... Um... It's funny because I don't even feel like I'm in the Echo Vald anymore. I feel like I'm like... Just sort of chilling out on the north of the Echo Vald. I'm sad that I couldn't ask Jeslav what he felt, or it felt, about the, um... Uh, the Jade Wind. We know Urgol's got mad. And was a baddie in the first game. But what about you? If you existed at that time. How did you feel about it? Are you mad to this day? By the way, this is interesting here. <gasps> oh. I actually really like this idea, this area of the Echo Vald, but not for any, like... Not for Echo Vald's sake, but just because it's a nice, peaceful, green, happy area. This feels like, like a starter area or something, and I'm really enjoying it. This tree looks awesome here. And the fact there's a POI to climb it is also really badass. Here's Owie's perch. Owie was a part of the Four Aspenwood event. Ancient Tengu bow. I have an uneasy feeling as if I'm being watched. Watched, watched. I want that loot. Oh, there's Ghost Tengu. That's cool. Let's blow him up. Avoid some of their cones, I guess. Oh, they got me with a bit of weakness. 
Is it that when I stand in telegraphs I get weakness? Is all the weakness counter playable through positioning? That's sort of how Final Fantasy does it, you know? Like debuffs are when you get hit by telegraphs. I like these little events that we can trigger just by interacting on stuff. With stuff up here on the treetops. Oh, he's got frost, so he's doing well there. There we go, an unbound spirit of agony. Also has protection. There's a lot of protection in the in the, the game. I like that. It's like I've got something to do with my boon rip. Come on, someone break that so I can use the two. Oh, I got a reaper with me. Here, I'll, I'll break that for you. Ha! He got feared away and almost went over the edge. The Haunted Perch. Many Tengu sacrificed their lives to overcome the Ministry of Purity. So tortured by the horrors their people had endured, their spirits persisted, unable to tell the difference between friend and foe. Release them to find finally to the sky above the sky. Oh, I love how grim all of this stuff is. This feels like Tyria, you know? It's really good. Okay. All right, don't don't be mad. I'm getting this here. I want to go up there. That's a long way down. That's a real long way down. Oh, it's the lake out of the village we were at before. Was there really a POI out here that I just didn't see? Holy shit, how do I get all this hype? I was marveling at these walls in uh, part four yesterday. Imagine if the POI was really hot. Like imagine here up this cliff there was a thing and this was the way to get here, right? Couldn't be done because no, um, uh, no extended gliding. I don't know, a super hidden zip line that takes you along here to just the most obscure place. I like stuff like that. Oh, there you go. You just King Kaishi falls. It's just to get right here up against the waterfall. Let's go under the water as well. Might be something to see. Like the ancient vault in Kaining. Okay, I think the moment's arrived. How many times have I said that? <laughs> it really has, though. I mean, we're literally... The gate is just here. Oh, there's a mastery point on the way. Oh! Never mind. I kind of want to go skiffing and sailing and Sister's fishing. really there, but... moving to the city, huh? <laughs> yeah. Guess she's tired of clean air and making her own choices. They've got good food. Expensive food. And how are you going to afford it with the pickpockets taking everything the government don't? You've been reading way too many sketchy leaflets. Has she? I get the war is kind of a big theme of this expansion. I think they did really well with all the like the ambience of the waterfalls and the trickling streams and things. If I'm gonna come up this. Because it looks like it sort of winds upwards in such a way that it will get me a mastery point. Oh, if you watch the review, you will have seen I got the the, the uh, vista here. I think we want to walk along that flowery path. It's up there. I feel like I'm making a mistake on this. You know, it's actually amazing how much the bond of faith opens up the game. Because in all these situations, all of them nearly, especially with the Jade bot, 
If I do a Springer jump... Well, this is clearly not right. I'm not, I'm not going to mess about with this. There's got to be another method. Um, if I Springer jump, Bond of Faith, that leads me into Sky Scale, into Griffin, into Glide plus Jade Bot, which can chain with any of them in any order I like. Like, there's a lot that you get from that. Like, a very, very heavy amount. Let's see. Does this go up? Hmm. I think I could have done this just in the alternate direction. There you go. There's the mastery point there. Mm. <clears throat> oh, with some white targets around it. Mm. I just... The thing about mastery points is they're just like really crappy map. Bomb. There's no flavor text when you get to it. There's no special name. You know, it's not like Echovald Meditation or something, or the 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 gem of the tree, or or, or something like that. Do you go? Know I mean, there's just never anything. Wow, you can quickness channel those as well. They're just too similar to POIs, to um, vistas, to hero challenges, but with none of the like special perks that all the other ones have. Like, even a POI has a special name, you know. A mastery insight is just the most cut and dry, bare bones thing you can possibly imagine. Pretty scared of these guys right now. If they have any kind of knockoffs, or big damage. Try and keep him days. I think I'm ready for a new build, by the way. I think, um, or maybe not this part, maybe next part. I'm keen to try our bottom line. Oh my god, we're right above the exit to the map here. I didn't even realize that was what was going on. Defend the Jade Gate. Wow, the big effect. Oh my lord. I had the interesting decision there to make. Do I want to go with the three first or the four first? Wow. I want more cleave. There's so many mobs. Oh, it broke. Should have kept the well. We're going to get such a huge ditch in a minute. Because we're just going to auto-attack through them all. I just need to get the line up right. Oh, we're getting glancing blows. Because some of these guys, are, they're high level. They're level 82, some of them. So this ritualist here, I'm going to get glancing blows sometimes. Even though I don't have weakness. Alright, here we go. We've stacked our boons up. Let's go for that guy. Come on, come on, line him up, line him up. Uh, it felt right, but not too great. Should have done better. Sort of missed my vampirism boots, weirdly enough, right now. I'm like a dick, a dip, dick out, dip out, and heal, but I can dick out, guys. Alright, there you go, you defended. Lots of players around. See, look, this whole mega server thing's fixing up. What's going on with the nameplate here? With the spot. It's like gray instead of gold. Okay. Oh, he popped some dialogue there, but then it insta-closed. Dragon's End. 
Commander. The extractors have just reached the Jade Sea. Good timing. So have I. We'll need you to place the five perimeter extractors. While Timey and I travel with the main device to a staging area near the Harvest Temple. You'll need to lay them out in a configuration that leaves no room for her escape. We used maps to determine approximate locations, but we've sent a device to help you pinpoint the ideal spots. It should be dropping in uh, any second now. Okay, pick up an inductive scan. Oh, look, these are moving now. All expansion, I've been seeing these, and there you go. Oh, I love the walls, the statues. Here's one thing I'm immensely curious about. Okay, so there's lots of map comp to do. 48 points of interest, loads of vistas. Great march started, just no hearts, that's all. Start. But hurry, it looks like your current region isn't fully ready yet. What is this? So, the attack begins soon. Finish any ongoing events and prepare for the Battle of Su Wan. So I wonder if I should just rush into this little bit of personal story and then do the meta. I don't want. I don't want to fight Su Wan too early. So we're at the logistics district. I love the lighting already here. Pick up an inductive scanning device. Oh look, zip line. Look a moth to a flame, I must go. Look at my achievements. What competent commander? Qualify for true ending. Succeed in subduing C1 and Dragon's End before beginning the only one. Okay, so I need to get to the only one. And then do the matter. Have I got here with a really bad timing or really good timing here? Eight minutes left? What do you guys think? Is this on a two hour real world timer? Or are maps constantly spinning up and down? Well, how does it work? Silver waste or what? Uh, inductive scanning device. I've got the device. Good. Use it to scan the locations we sent. Oh, and, um, Commander. Hi. <laughs> We just got a chance to survey the Jade Sea. It's a mess out there. Which is no one's fault. The void just keeps... You've done well preparing everyone. Oh, okay. This region is as good as it's going to get. What did they say? Oh. Scan for a location to place the first extractor. Help your allies in Dragon's End by completing events and defeating Void. Will that just trigger as I do the meta, I suppose? Scan for a location. The Brotherhood's watch. Oh, they're letting me in because they're chill now. Hello. A Junlai Lieutenant. Our commander, Junlai Jade, is proud to serve Lady June in the war effort. To that end, she's made it clear we're to follow your orders, so how may I be of help? Tell me about this part of the front. We've all been supplying uh, all the forces with as much Jade tech support as we could put in our warehouses, but supplies are running low. Oh, here's Cholmu. So I guess I could tag up. If we're going to do this. If you guys want to play with me. If you want to do this meta with me. If we're going to go for it. Anyone in the live chat want to try, try and play this? Apparently this is hard. So I don't know. But um... All you have to do is type slash squad join list in game. It's for North American players and you can play with me. That's it. That's the whole thing. Just copy paste that message I just dropped in the live chat. Scan for a location to place the first extractor. Oh, it's really near me. It's right here. Extractor placement. <laughs> Are you serious? Void Melter. Look at that, by the way. It's like a special destroyer. First extractor's on the ground. Wonderful. We just got to the staging area. We're getting everything set up. Hey, sent some local racketeers to assist us. We'll be lucky if they don't rob us blind. I'll um, I'll put us on LFG as well. 
Wow, that's a lot of people on NFG. Um, I love how that came down with the, uh, the, the, um, what do you call it? The mech, like, rocket animation. Commander, Minsec stands ready to assist however we're able. In fact, I've heard reports that Detective Rama is out there somewhere. What else can I do? What can I do for you? Well, give me a sit rep here. We're trained to fight in wars like these, but it's all been academic till now. Needs to say the real thing is very different, but our forces are doing the part. Okay, get ready. We're about to march south and pick a fight with an Elder Dragon. Meet at the quarry. We'll set off so we can reach her before nightfall. God damn, man. This is quite cool. This is pretty crazy. They want me to put another uh, set. Uh, how many how many extractor locations do I need to get in five minutes here? Should I have a lot more hustle? This kind of sucks because I can't. I mean, I want to enjoy the map, you know. Um, I'm going. This looks cool. Hey kid, word of advice. Watch out for the Naga. They've been lurking about as of late. Oh, could I have just ziplined that whole thing? Alright. Whoa. Okay. Wow, look at that brand. What are they called? Brand Charger? Void Despoiler. Those are quite interesting in game. Extractors in place. Careful, set it down gently. Gently. Oh, sorry about that, Commander. Things are pretty hectic over here. Yeah, things feel hectic for me too. A third extractor. Okay. Get a bit, a, a bit of anxiety here. <laughs> well, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. There's five locations. Is it five locations and then I'm at the right story beat? Like, am I going to miss the start of the meta area? Uh, I made it. We've attracted crossing. the attention of some void monsters. You all right? Oh yeah, nothing we can't handle. These gang members are pretty tough, and so far they haven't stolen a thing that we know of. Wasn't that Jade Sea Tunnel near here? Two minutes I've got. I kind of want to get all this bonus dialogue from the. Look at all this stuff to do here. It's okay. Oh my god, it's taking me really deep in the map. Whoa. Wait, so where does the meta start? Does it start all the way down there? Didn't he say meet at the quarry? You don't need to place the metas before the meta. Uh, the extracts before the meta. Okay, so I'll, I'll go north then. The quarry. I mean, Jinlai like Jade Quarry is all the way up here. So maybe we just go hang out up there then. And we do the extractors as we go along. We've got a whole group here, guys. This is crazy. We've got a whole map. Actually, half of our squad is stuck in the wrong instance. It's where all the people are gathering. Oh, just on the other side of this bridge. Okay. Alright. Aren't we near where that cave is under the jade right now? I swear on the pre-release stream they snuck in there. Does this play like a standard map when the meta's not going on? Or is it always in this kind of highly charged, tense state? 
I guess I should decide what I'm doing here. I think my build's fine for a group scenario at the moment. Precinct Captain, Trainee Saba. The Crystal Bloomer with me to serve Aurene and all that she watches over. Hey, Keith. The guy sitting in one of the chairs. It feels like it's very suddenly ended, ending now. So am I one instance away from the end of the game? Oh, 14. Is it, doesn't it usually end around 14? No, no, no. Do that heart of thorns. Oh, I can't see on this character. Commander, you're needed at the Jade Quarry base camp now. Right on time. Okay, I'll eat some birthday cake. Thank you for the, the cake. I want to split into three groups when it starts. So it's a lot like Dragon Stand, is it then? There's going to be three lanes. I want to explore all up around here. The middle group doesn't really have anything to do. It's way shorter than east and west. Okay. Oh look, Void is sort of ebbing in. What's it say, 15 seconds? Well, I'm really nervous about this. I'm really nervous about what I'm about to see and what's about to happen. That's interesting there, what, what is that? The Jade exploding up. Oh, they're trying to not look at that in the pre-release streams. They considered that glowing orb thing a spoiler. That's what they were trying to not look at. I'll seek out the speakers in the east, and you. And I'll be dealing with Jade Brotherhood daggers in my back in the west. And worse, daggers made with our own stolen tech. Don't worry, Fa. I'll protect you. I even have a few tricks up my sleeve. Great. They have supplies. <laughs> Lots of them. We must reach out. I like how he says that. He doesn't realize she's a goddamn dragon. It seems we've come to an agreement. Wait, what? I'll take the Crystal Bloom and Minsek south to Aurene. She's keeping an eye on Su Wan at the Harvest Temple. Aurene's here? Maybe this time will be different. It may not be enough, so I've informed Logan and others of our plan. They're en route. Oh, God, guys, we're here. Ah, uh, who do I want to go with? Kaith or Kunavang? I'm going with Kunavang. Oh, I really thought I was going to go with Kate there, but Kunavang's just too cool. Oh, that actually costs a charge as well. Reaver's Ridge. Nice. The Reavers? Uh, let me pick up that battery. Okay, I hope my frames hold out. And I hope I don't crash. A shrine to Hanuku? Dude, well, I want to... Look at the shrine! Alright. Is the Jade Sea like quite your history with the Jade Brotherhood all too well? Trust me, but now isn't a time for finger pointing. The Brotherhood is a plague. What you ask of us is an affront to everything we stand for. You forget your place. Hold your tongue. Continue. Thank you. Oh. It was my understanding that Cantha's well-being was the speaker's utmost priority. Surely you won't let your grudge stop you from coming to its aid now, when it needs you more than ever. We're under attack. The void storm spreading fast. Oh, Logan. Fighting them up. You're on your own for now. Oh, Hang in there, Logan. Really bad. It is. Which is why, as detestable as the Brotherhood may be, this temporary truce with them is necessary. This is awesome. The time for talk has passed. Our day of judgment is at hand, speakers. We move south. For the forest. Hell yeah, the Wardens helping at the end in the final fight. This is great. The Panther's not seen a calamity like this since the journey. Countless lives lost. Never again. Oh, fucking cool, dude. We'll see this matter through, Tetra. The people of Canther are resilient. Resilient like cockroaches. Oh, she's awesome. I really like her. Oh, a historic plaque. I'm reading it. Screw you guys. I'm reading the plaque. Zuhanuku once protected the depths of the sea throughout Dragon's End. 
Lux and tradition continues to honor the beast each year during the convocation, so they still do it. Very impressive, Commander. You've clearly been busy. What is Sue one going to be like? I'm guessing it's going to look like the mouth of Wardramoth and it's going to be the serpentine thing we saw in the lab. But there's the question of the Kraken straddling the globe and the tentacles and the movement of the wind. The movement of the world and uh, the hints they're talking about what actually scared the Lagos and stuff out. Very cool. Oh my god, there's so many new types of enemies here for me to see too. That was a Void Tangler, Frostwing, Wraith. Oh my god, we had uh, two donations. Um, story tapering up in JT really fast, but I can't wait to see your opinion on this meta. If this is a good example for the future, I, I can't wait to see it myself. Thank you, man. And friggin' Paco says, hello again, buckle up for the meta. I'm buckled. <laughs> I'm buckled, yeah, I'm still nervous. We could have got another POI there. Thank you, guys. Something Thank you. Right. Says the Something fell. Be on guard. Transform, Kunavang. Oh, look, there's a tendril. Oh! Entry of the crap. It's a void cluster. Quick, throw it into this crystal and purify it. It'll reduce the void's intensity. On this one, I'm going to lower effects because there's going to be so much combat. I can sense the void's strength waning. We'll Keep at it, Commander. You. Don't be lame, speakers. We'll route these void spawn yet. It's not like we're going to have lots of immersive chit chat moments where footsteps and stuff even matters here. So I'm going to half the effects so that we can get the audio as good as possible here. It's now appropriate to make that change. Given what I assume is going to be about an hour of gameplay. You had to ask. A salt spray dragon? I was expecting a challenge. Take it down, speakers. It's a void salt, salt spray. Salt spray dragons aren't to be underestimated. Keep your wits about you. Oh, God. I believe you, Kunavang. I believe you. Sorry, I've got inventory ma management issues. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I just got a... Look, look, this mighty dagger. Why have I got a random dagger? White rarity. Right, we... Real quick. Statuette. Premium content, I'm giving you all. There you go. All right, all right, all right. We cleared up some space. Sorry. Okay, wow, people are dying. What the fuck? Okay, break the bar. It's broken. Dude, she's fucking... I like Tetra. Lash out all you like, beast. The result will be the same. Ow. What's this? Oh, I can still scan. Oh, am I not... Uh... Am I doing this right? I put a lot of trust in the, li in the live chat here. Am I definitely at the right bit of the story? What if I'm on the wrong road for the wrong extractor? I think I am, aren't I? This is really satisfying to kill this. Together, we will prevail. Kate and Orene have reached the it Harvest Temple done. Observatory. If I had a copper for every dragon I'd ever slain, I'd have a reasonable amount of pocket change. Let's keep moving. Time is of the essence. You seem troubled, Navan. What is on your mind? Just thinking about that salt spray dragon back there. It's a shame we had to kill it. Its actions were not its own. Was either it or us. Nothing to be done about it, except putting an end to this corruption as quickly as possible. Right. Let's hurry. I like that. Wild creatures! Maybe you'd like a taste of my magic! That's nice. It's good to hear her, like, being sympathetic and sad about it, you know. 
I hope that wasn't Albax. It'd be a bummer if that was Albax. This is a really weird experience, suddenly being in like a meta map. Knowing that there's a lot of other content around like that POI up there. But being worried that I can't get to it because the escort's moving on here. I guess I just assume that there'll be a peace phase later. Whoa! What is going on up there? Oh my lord. It's like a wave of void, right? Breaking through the, the bottom of the sea. Feels kind of season four esque, actually, I think, with some of the brand. It's basically feels a lot like green branding. Avoid Warforge. Dude, I want to see a compilation of all the new enemy names. Just the names are cool. Fine, but the hatchery. The hatchery is under attack! If the Void manages to prop the Siege Turtles, that would be highly problematic. Please, you must save the hatchlings! Okay. Um... You won't be eating turtle soup tonight, Cretans! This is, uh... This is where we actually get the Siege Turtle, right? So, is that all set after the meta? Or before the meta? Okay, I assume I can't just go talk to someone right now and just go get a siege turtle and begin some massive ass collection. Actually, didn't you guys say it's post story, the turtle stuff? But still, the question remains. There must be significant periods of peace on this map. Which must also mean that the meta is not actually that long. It's not like Dragon Stand, it can take like two hours to do, surely. Or even like Dragon Fall, that one's quite a long meta as well, to be honest. And they're in perpetual states of that. This must just be an e a period of time. Jade Hatcheries, the world famous location for raising and training Lux and Siege Turtles, stands proud amid the wet swelling camps. So this is a really interesting thing. If this is a difficult meta, then really it should be that sense of camaraderie, everyone together working on it. No one's going to like the idea of people running around doing standard exp exploration when they're fighting their asses off trying to get through the end of the meta. And ostensibly, the more players there, the better. It's not actually always true, but let's just say for argument's sake. No, more protection. Oh, look at this, Void Ember Knight. I want to go on the roof of the pagoda up there. Oh, didn't see that. Too busy looking up in the other direction. Quickness for everyone. Should have dodged that. That was really, really stupid of me. Very big obvious ability from him there. We're gonna dagger too, because this is a little bit nasty right now. There you go, dodge. The signet there as well, heal up. Break bars down, shotgun him while we get the extra damage. 30k on that one. Dodge. I dodged backwards there instead of forwards, which is pretty silly. Yeah, this guy's really important to watch for that dodge, eh? Ah. Oh. Though somebody spamming the resistance and stuff. Resilience. Oh, that felt good. What's wrong? You're not tired, are you? No way. I can do this all day. I'd rather not. We've nearly reached the staging ground. Not much further now. Quickly! Every time we kill one of these things, they just reform somewhere else. This is pointless. It's not pointless. It takes them time to reform and regroup. Every minute we buy is a minute no one dies. You're right. But we are shoveling snow while it's still snowing. Ice broods desolation. Oh shit, are there little patches around the map based on the dragons? And is it six of them dotted around the central whirlpool, perhaps? Oh look, there's a Sounds bunch like of this. another dragon. Great. Not to worry. It will fall as easily as the last, I'm sure. 
Oh my god, I'm getting I so many things. I some reinforcements though. Just in case. Oriel, come in Oriel. Do you read me? This is Navan. This is Oriel. Go ahead. We're just outside of staging ground Omega, and I've run into... a, a complication. May we please borrow some of your siege turtles? Of course. It's the least I can do after you save the hatchery. One turtle strike coming right up. Oh, this was cool. Let's see the Quickly. turtles come Let's riding in. Let's the rubble and make way for the siege turtles. Okay. Also, a bit of bonus dialogue from someone here. The speaker's outpost. Oh, up there. Oh, there they are. It's Lieutenant. Oh, look at that. The speakers agreed to support this campaign because the void threatens all of Tyria, but trust me, we'd rather be anywhere else. We're drawing as many spirits as the battle as we can. It's never been easier. I suppose that's because they're all willing this time around. Yeah, it makes a difference when you're on the side of the right. Capture the landing zone for the siege cells. Avoid glacier there, that's the thing. What's the uh, problem usually with people on this meta? Is it they can't do the damage or is it because they're all dying? Or is it break bar? Or is it all three? I'm just wondering if I should sub on blood and more uh, break bar pressure. Or whether I should focus on pumping quickness out. To be honest, I, 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 Alacrity is the best thing. Because that helps people's defensive cooldowns too. And their break bar cooldowns. Quickness is something. Sorry, we can pressure this now? Oh no, it's the, the turtles is it. Can I give the turtles quickness and speed up their siege? No. Oh, maybe I can, but the players are taking it instead. No, I don't think. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll hit this. <laughs> Cleaving five hitboxes at once. It seems to be doing something. Alright, now a blood force. Normally the timer runs out at 10% from dying and not DPS anymore. Well, I don't know how this will go, guys. Uh, set your builds up. Make sure that um, whatever you're trying to do, you're optimized for it. I'm a little bit worried I'm a bit too squishy, but... I don't know whether I should keep Spectral Grasp here, for example, if break bars aren't a problem. Can someone just answer me that? Are there a lot or no break bars? So far in the expansion, there have not been many. There are break bars. Okay. Okay, okay, good. Well, I mean, I'll even put a uh, golem on there. Do. This is weird. You guys said there's five extractors, right? I think I'm going to sneak over and get the fourth extractor. Oh, it's really far away. Oh, they're going to unlock a waypoint here, aren't they? So I can do that. I'm guessing 5th Extractor is here. Oh, maybe they're not going to unlock a waypoint. I've got to walk over to it, probably, right? Breaking through the rubble. So little damage. Reinforce. Can withstand most damage from non-siege attacks. Bonus damage is applied from siege tiles. So the more this expansion goes on, the more siege shuttles will be around, the quicker all these phases will go, right? Is that true of the end of the fight as well? Is there a turtle siege in there that once more players have the mount, it will naturally balance itself out? Sent 
lethal void shot shield. Can I give him might or anything maybe with a uh, blood is power? I, I don't think he's like. Oh no 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 no! I can do it. I mean I don't see him doing any animations. Is he just pulsing something? Or... I mean, I'll stack 30 seconds of quickness on him, I don't mind. Just in case. You can rent Siege right now, but very few people do. Oh, where can you rent the Siege from? I'll rent some Siege! Is it up north? Was there a rent up there? I haven't been on the mount yet. So much of the expansion as yet unseen. this phase thing seems really weird. But again, when there's more turtles around. Let's break all these bars. Oh my god, that was so good. Pistol 3 was AoE, the Flesh Golem was AoE, the Whale of Doom was AoE, and they all counted. Oh, here we go, we're going in. Oh no, no, the last crystal first, right? And then we can fight this Osprey. Does Turtle want this rubble down? Should I be breaking more rubble so that the Turtles can get in from multiple angles of attack? Feels like it's more worthwhile me doing this than hitting the, the crystal shield. Maybe? Maybe just enemies? Get in there, quickness, flesh golem. Let's see what you got. You can hop on the turtle. I see, there's no gunner, right? So I can be the gunner. Oh, but there's a player on it. I see, I see. I understand the mechanic now. Or oh, is there a player on it? I think there's a player on it. The idea is it's an NPC driver and a player is shooting, right? There we go. I really feel like this is all time I could have just used to grab the other extractor. Especially since there's a waypoint here so I can get back instantly. I did it. You get a sense of the battlefield here as well. Music stopped. So the fight is obviously in the middle there. The Harvest Complex. This is where Kaith came to. So this is the central lane. this waypoint. I won't worry about POIs and all that. It looks very pretty here. Very pretty. Probably want to go around the top of there. There you go. Oh, this is like the fiery side. This is quite cool. Captain Far seems to be dealing with the destroyer stuff a bit more, you know. Okay, let's scan. We can drop it here. And I'm pretty sure... Wait. There we go. I've placed another extractor. Are you all safe? Mostly. We lost a couple of the gang members, and just as we got back to work, we had to fight their void shades. 
but now they're taken care of too, so we can finally get back to work. Oh my god, how has he chased me like that? Okay, now we can waypoint back to here, and we won't miss anything. Why am I in combat though? There we go. They've probably broken the crystal now, and they're in the room, right? I guess. Oh no, they didn't even break the crystal yet. Okay, so I can get the um, the last extractor. This is number five, right? The last extractor is in place. Excellent work, Commander. Obliterator. That's cool. Setting up here as well. We should be done in a few minutes, so long as we don't have any more interruptions. Here you go, and the story step ends when I finish this event as well. Oh, Kunavang transformed! Oh shit, I probably missed a little bit of dialogue when she decided to do that. Or did she do that earlier at the hatchery? I'm not sure. Oh god, I think everyone's on the inside and Kunavang's on the outside. Come on in, you get. Don't miss it, Kunavang. Well, that thing's got loads of health. I want to fight the thing that Kunavang's fighting, so she comes indoors. She doesn't seem to do much damage. Come on, Kunavang. Get in there with everyone. That's it. Holy shit, she's throwing a lot of animations up. There you go, in you go. Oh, she can't ri- can she not fit because of the rubble? Oh my god, everyone's wiping to this thing. That was a lot of bodies. Okay, so what's the animation here? Wow, that's a lot of water. Okay. I did say that telegraph, I, if you saw for the brief frame that I was trying to walk out of that very subtle telegraph, a tree clipped in front of my camera and I can see what's going on. Okay, a bit of barrier there, blocks. What well, the barrier and blocks going on? Okay, it's bounty mechanics, is it? Aerial defense. Scorcher, drops fire fields. Uh, attack up close to identify a weak point. Jesus Christ, you're going to make me melee this guy? Ah, uh, what? I wasn't in that donut. Was I? This sucks. Kudabang's outside. At least Tetra's in it. Tetra is in here. Break the bar. I'm contributing. No, I don't think this one's going to go through. I don't think enough people are seeing. I mean, they're trying. Someone's got fear on it. Oh, we missed it. Oh, that's timed, is it? We probably want to get EMPs up then. People missed yeah, that bar, and that's a time bar. I threw a lot at it too. Dragons. Uh, it was totally a, just a joke. I love salt spray dragons. <sighs> Commander, how are things looking out there? I've done. Set up everything at the harvest temple. The main extractor's ready for action. My work's done out here too. Things aren't ideal out here. Suwan is currently tearing up the Jade Sea. It'll be difficult to get a lock on her if she isn't subdued. She will be. Meet your team at the Harvest Temple. Oh, that's that central area. There you go. Fire teams are headed south to prepare for the next phase of the attack before nightfall. Night falls in 15 minutes. So the actual met is in quarter of an hour now then. So I get to sort of chill for 15 minutes. That's nice. I didn't think that that was going to happen. Oh, look, a risen hand. As you cleanse the previous outbreaks, I felt the magic as it was released. Maybe I could absorb it from these new void outbreaks. Holy fuck. But if the power of the magic is unknown, what could it do to you? A good question, but I know one thing. I'm going to use every bit of it to break through the barrier covering Suwan. It says I gotta meet my team at the temple. Release the Elder Dragon magic. It's right there. And it looks like the final phase is in a minute. This is my last chance to get that and ding the final thing. So I'm just gonna go do that real quick. I like the uh the Or Zaitan music. This is like the Elder Dragon music. Hold on real quick guys. What am I in combat with? There we go. 
my god, that thing does a lot of damage. Jesus, it's so high up. It's all the way up there. Hold on, we'll waypoint. security popping up here. Jesus, why is it so complicated to get here? Oh, there we go. Quell the Risen Void Corruption. i got to get there now, really, haven't I? Hold on one second. I'm so close! Wait, it's up there? Junlai Jade Museum. How am I supposed to get up there? Is it on the very roof? There we go, got it. Okay, back to the meta now. There you go, the only one, we've got it. Okay, back to the meta. Oh God. <laughs> this is pretty creepy right here. Let's go around the edge. Okay. Oh. Here we go, so what are we fighting right now? Uh, outbreaks of void corruption have appeared throughout the southern half of Dragon's End. Cleanse them to allow Orin to channel the magic into prismatic crystals before nightfall. So here we have Champion Void Cold Steel. So this seems to be Jormag related, this first one. And I'm here right in time for him to die. Might even tag him enough for a bronze. I'm oh, I miss it. I'm missing an element. I sense. Grandfather! It's another void outbreak! Proctoric! That's the element you need! Everyone, focus on the void! Oh my god, what? Grandfather, Proctoric? And a dwindling time before you join us. Suwon is awake! We are bound to the nothingness, and all will return to it. Wow! Suwon, can you hear me? I don't think she can, Ori. She is one with us now. To one, follow my voice. Reach out, fight it. We are. Why are you here? <sighs> to release you from. Don't you realize this barrier? It's protecting you from from me. It is time to join us. Holy shit. That Suwon seems really intimidating and scary there. Hold on, did we see Kraukatoric anywhere or what? Oh my god, they're using the Zephyrite music. What's going on here as well? Look, it's the six crystals. Protect her as she blasts through the barrier. What are we doing? Aurene attempts to attack in 20 seconds. What have we got to do to help her? Oh my god, look, there's crystals for each of the dragons. I can't even see her. There she is. But what do they want her to do? We have to feel the crystals More roughly. Void. They're surrounding us. We're about to get overrun. And if they destroy those crystals, all is lost. We need those reinforcements. Logan, where are you? We're off the coast of Kent. Void's too heavy. Overwhelmed. Surrounded. Can you and the others protect the magic contained within the crystals? With our lives. Good. I must fly to Logan. See what state they are in. It may already be too late. Okay. So wait, is she? Defend the crystals. Buy Orin as much time as possible. The magic seeping out of the crystals. Look out! More void creatures. Oh, they're all over the place. So I can go to like this one, maybe. Wait, is this a crystal? What is it? Oh, this is just waves. What's the Canthan icons on the mini map showing? Is that just counting? Is that just numbers? So this is just kill mobs. Use the crystallized dragon magic to charge matching crystals. I see. So I've got some magic here now because I killed some branded. So I can throw the branded magic. 
at the branded crystal. Keep filling up those crystals. Don't use the two, because the two is to consume it. So throw the magic at the branded crystal. I see, and so it's filling up. And so we want all of these to fill up at the same same time. This is cool. I love the UI colors. Quick, Risen is filling fast. So what kind of time are we on here? What's the jeopardy? This is cool. So we're all just spreading out. I love looking at the minimap, all the people there. The music's awesome here too. What's the law justification here? Aureen's using these to stay strong. We're literally feeding her dragon magic right now. Also, where's Sue Wan? Also, what was that about Krakatoric a second ago? Could we see Krakatoric in the sky somewhere? Oh, and what killed me? I guess I branded. Hey, thank you so much. That's a spud helped me there. Thank you, dude. So we're going to fill them at the same time. Whoa. What? How, how much of a window do you get if you don't fill them at the same time? Ice Brood needs more help, maybe. I'll try not to rock the boat too much. Also, surely we want to do a bit of fighting here because if everyone starts dying collecting the crystals, that's not going to be good at all, is it? She's joining the battle. They're still alive. It's hard to see anything with all the void everywhere. Okay, so there's a one minute failure window. So I think I should go to Mordrum, I think. But which color? Where's Mordrum? What are those over there? There, that's Jormag stuff. Infested insect swarms. Here it is. It's Mordrum. This, this is the area. I hope I didn't miss anything cinematic. I don't think I did. Oh god, they filled it instantly. Okay, we got one minute. Okay, I'm gonna kill. Can I pass this up like the um, Ice Brood Saga effigy event? Can I throw it and someone else collects it? Oh, we got loads of time. This is fine. We got loads of time. Alright. So Branded is actually last, which is the one I was doing before. <laughs> Okay. We filled the crystals, Commander, but they're still coming. We're finished. So many. I brought some friends. Miss me, Commander. Just show us what to kill. We've got a massive barrier to break through, and on the other side, Suwon. With the void rapidly widening, we need to stop her now. My pleasure. Dude, look, look, the airships are up there. It's hard to see, but I can I just about see him. I love that Logan's a part of it. I thought he was just going to get fobbed off, to be honest. Oh, I'll get the way station here as well. On my count. Three, two, Take this one, zip line. Fire! Oh my god, are they shooting? Whoa, what the shit is this? Whoa, what the fuck? Look at all the players coming up this. Stop. Oh my god. Stop. We did it. But Sue Wan's in pain. Come, we must save her from herself. Meet me at the temple. Oh my god, we're on top of the Harvest Temple. Look at this, the Jade Well. Quick, to the top of the Harvest Temple. I'll be waiting for you with what's left of Sue Wan. Oh, this is cool. There's actually zip lines from all the Cardinals, I think. Wow. Look at all the airships surrounding it. Very good. I like that. She's close. Be ready. Hello, Aureen. Let's see her. If you get there early, you can see Aureen blow the roof of the temple. That's cool. No green circle. What are these players saying? I'm trying to keep NPC chat on screen. So I can read it. It's really hard to throw down your waypoints. What personal waypoints here? Okay, I'll make a personal waypoint here. Oh, that's a great recommendation for everyone to do. That's basically a free respawn, right? Oh, look, look they're dropping food and stuff. Stay back, or we will. Oh, there she is. Look. 
The world is ending. A landscape of shattered dreams and death. And all due to me. To one! To one! It can end here! It doesn't need it! The end will come fast, and death will be your deliverance. She's luring the boy toward the temple again. If I don't stop it, you'll all be encased. Dude, this is so edgy, it's unreal. Oh my god. Okay, that's a lot of people just got slammed. I'm trying not to shroud until they stop talking, but I think I've got to. Dude, I love that. A landscape of shattered dreams and death. Oh, I'll break the bar, break the bar. Go, go, Golem. Oh, I just crushed so much CC out there. That felt well good. <laughs> that was a lot of CC I just landed. All right. Give him quickness. Oh, God, it's really slippery up here. What is that that's pulling me in? Oh, dodge, 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 get out or something. Oh, my God. She has no boons. The music is going... It's popping off. What's going on there? Telegraph where no one would be standing anyway. Whoa! Oh, it's a tail slam. And some people were standing there, so... What is that? What's that orange? She's involved. In the beginning, there was only emptiness. And now, you must join us. Quick, stand around the impact site. I'll protect you. Oh, are we all going to defend ourselves here? Go, everyone. Oh, no, someone needs to stand in that group. Oh, wisp form. Do not fear your state. You are not dead. While Only you're in a wish form, you can jump as long as you have energy. Each jump contains energy. Heightened. Gather the wandering memories. Oh my god, so hold on. Okay, each time I get one, I get a new charge. Oh yeah, I just heard someone say some must fight so all may free... I just heard it, yeah. I just heard Ryland say that. Every time I get a memory, do I hear a uh, new thing? Okay, I'm learning how it works. I'm not sure what these skills are, and I'm scared that I'm doing this. This should work. Sacrifice half of your energy or something. How many of these do I need to get? Oh, I just need to get to the top. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, I'm climbing. I understand. Just trying to get up. I got you. I got you guys. Exits up there. If I, oh, what about the updraft? Is that good or bad? The updrafts must be good, surely. Okay, what do I do when I get to the top? Do I go in the defense? What's the what's the thing with the? Hurry, you are frozen. Become hold. And Suwon knows this. If destroyed, you will die. Okay, so the idea was her attack ripped my soul from its body and I and I reclaimed my life. Right? Oh, and restock my EMP. Good 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 advice there from someone in, in, in game. How many of us went down then? This looks rough as shit. What's going on with these crystals here? Hide behind a crystal. But in or out? Most players look like they're in. Darkness is a blessing. Su Su one is a your eyes and feel it wash over you. Oh, wrong side. I'm on the wrong side. Oh, I was alright because of the you other ones. You don't all want to die. Kill void is all that is. And all that must be. Holy shit. So much to pay attention to here. This magic, it's coming from her tail. Close Try your eyes. Maybe it'll have some effect. Wash over. Oh, she, and the void stuff is so edgy. I'm in love with it. Take one of the tails. Quick, free them from those bubbles. 
free people from the bubbles and stay clear of the tail. I hit a bubble. Shoot another bubble. Shotgun. Popped it. Oh, there's another DPS Watch over there. Don't let it hit you. Where is everyone? Tail DPS. Kill the tail. Okay, I'm over here. I got the bubbles are players inside, are they? I think I'm freeing players out of those. I am. They're players in there. Okay, got him. Is that because they're missing ground Please. telegraphs? Yes, it's worth no more. She was catching the bubbles from it's her tail. Me. I think we got the tail. Okay, back to DPSing her. Oh, this slippery ground is crazy. Incoming. She's about to snap at you. Oh, lots of down states. Where's these people? More tsunamis, more bubbles. What's the arrows? Oh, okay. I think I saw a tail for a second there. Is that... Oh, we're gonna be DPSing still. This is still damage phase. Burst the bubbles before they get too high. Okay. I feel quite useful, to be honest, with ranged DPS Harbinger here. Stay clear of her mouth. Not to mention all the quickness. More bubbles. Close Watch your it. eyes and feel the emptiness wash over. The whole Take void. Yes, it's working. She was casting the bubbles from her tail. I dodged as it landed. I don't know whether it helped me, but yeah, we were definitely going to get hit hard by that. I'm trying to help you. I like this mechanic a lot, the, the freeing people mechanic. There's a single downstate guy over there. I think it's better for me to stay on five people, giving them quickness, than raising one on the other side of the map. Break bar at 60. There it is. Break it, break it, break it, break it. Oh, I shouldn't have used the locust one, but still. Burn it. If I shuffle around a little bit, some of my overflowing quickness might be useful. You cannot avoid the undertow. She's invulnerable. Yeah. Are we gonna repeat now, are we? Some will grab us, some are corrupted. Holy shit, are there lyrics to this song? And is that meant to be Su-1 screaming or singing? Forming a weapon for you. It's nearly ready. Forming a weapon for us? Oh, here, I want... Cast the prismatic spear into her before everyone is scattered to the Oh, wind. nice. We get the Kraukatorik spears, but they're called prismatic. We broke the bar. Got it. Please, leave here. Before you are all destroyed. Holy shit. Is that just a wipe? Wait. Launch clear? Holy shit. Oh, we get the Floodstone Fenifilies! Dude! We will always have an answer for it. Holy shit! The channeling board. Destroy them before it's too late. I will go after her. Split. Oh, okay. So there's two, the two islands. Oh my god, they're going balls to the wall with this. Okay, I'm at the Morgimoth platform. Holy sh this is a very good meta, isn't it? Wow. Okay, killed that one. Dude, I fucking destroyed that one. Does it matter killing the tendrils, I wonder? I'm sorry, Suwon. We have to do this. Void of vine and mine. Reach deep inside, and you will feel the emptiness already growing dead. Dude, I'm well happy with all the break bar stuff on this one. 
Also, I just had the fattest evade. It's insane. Did you guys just see that? With the voracious arc? Total accident. Someone went down. I should probably res. I don't know how many people are on this platform. Come on, hit it. Oh my god. I want blood magic. I got caught in that. That's this is a rough phase right here. The void will never be us if we stand together. I'm not sure what to prioritize. Reach Rezzing maybe. Inside, and you will feel the emptiness already growing there. Slow death and shadow. Yeah, because we're going a bit slow here. We're kind of getting nuked by these uh the whirlwinds. I don't know what the telegraph is, but they are they're rough. Um Oh, we can CC again. I'm trying to keep my elixir up, for people. The void will never beat us if we stand together. Stand back just a little bit. Anyway, yeah, this is uh, what's her name? One of Mordemoth's champions. I'm gonna dagger to that. I'm a bit low, and I don't like being this low. More people dying. Oh, we gotta burn it in 30 seconds. All right, there we go. That battle at the top. I've never seen such bravery. God, she's back. Look out! Please, no more of this. Should I waypoint back or? All that is, and all that must be. I'm sorry, I'm slow. Do they want me hitting the abomination? Why is there a target there? Oh, the target the is. Um... Reach deep inside, and you will feel the emptiness already growing. Oh, yeah, refill your inventory. Oh, it's up, it's up, it's up. I keep doing that. I don't know why my muscle memory is for the five when I'm on the wall. Got it. Look out, Bob up, up, Campbell. She's hungry again. Oof. Right, big reses I think needed here. Definitely drop in transfuse on this would have been nice. Because all the life leech AoE would be good too. I'll help these bubbled players. I feel like that's more useful. Somewhat. I don't know, maybe. Get over. More bubbles. Jesus. So what? She was casting the bubbles from her tail. Yeah, what's determining who gets bubbled? Is it count? Is it a play thing or? I'm just double dodging out that shit instantly. Oh, my golem died. I'll get you back up, buddy. Please, no more of this. I'm so happy it's I'm not on my. I, I'm so happy I'm not on my old PC right now with the goddamn memory errors. What do we got? Seven minutes left, and she's at half health. If you don't all want to die. There is an ocean of void. That's and a shockwave. That right. fucked people up last time, and it did again. Look out, poor bubbles! Focus on her tail, it'll stop the bubbles. Oh, are the bubbles just the little orange circles that are appearing? Uh, CC. Burn her? I don't know. Oh, AMP, AMP, AMP. We missed that one. Is that because half of us were at the tail, or? I don't know. That... Oh, I got hit by one. I'm in a bubble. What is this? Struggle to free myself. Wow, I got out quick. Thank you. I the, the tail is the one big bet I don't get. I don't know which to focus on or prioritize. Oh god. Is that on me? At least I'm safe from the tsunami. Thank you. Yes, it's working. She was casting the, I'll return the favor. From her tail. Okay, we got 40% health to do in five minutes. 
To tell you the truth, we actually did 10% very fast there, didn't we? Yeah, but there's going to be another massive split phase, right? Alright, she's involved. Another bombardment! Just like the last time. You'll have to trust me. Intercept those impact sites. Quick, stand around the impact site. Oh my god, there's loads of us. I mean, I'm confident I can do this. We need someone in that next one. Dude. Suwon! Listen to my voice. It's me, Orin. I saw there was an empty the ring next to me, and I was doubled up with a guy. And the beginning will be nothingness. Okay, it's not over though. We just waypoint back, right? I'm back, baby. Just release and use my personal waypoint, right? Did that wipe because we didn't have people in every single green? I'm trying to kill him. This is this is what to do, right? The personal waypoints are a huge thing at the end of the game here. <laughs> Can I rebuild mine? Or because I'm in combat, I can't. So that's it. That's what my one free life. How EMPing here? AOE stun for everyone's awesome. Get out of that. That might have killed the run, right? I mean, how are we going to recover in time? Four minutes? I'm not quite sure what the game is here. Look at the moving waypoint there, by the way. Is there an airship? Packed emergency waypoint over there. The airship is another event spinning around. Oh, look at that. There's a claw of Krakatoric out there as well. Look at how cool that is. Holy shit, they're spinning around it. That is awesome. Hi. But I don't want to hide too early. We've got stuff to kill. Oh, I can just put it in, actually. Darkness is a blessing. Close your eyes and feel it wash over you. Oh, the water hurts there. I didn't know what if direction she was going to come in from. Die. He's hungry again. Kill me now. Look out, Bobo. Oh, you EMP again. That's it. Go out. She's, Hell, is that a 10 man? It is. It's ten targets stunned. Are we recovering now? Are people back? They're stuck. Help them now. Oh, I'm or in a bubble. Get the upper hand. Burst the bubbles before they get too high. Oh no, I'm in a whirlpool. Gasp for air. Attempt to breathe. Oh, this is cool that it's killing me, but I'm keeping. I'm gasping for air. I can't get out. If no one's there to help me, I think I'm dead. Is this into defeat then, I wonder, or downstay? It's defeat. Damn. So I can get on the way on the airship, right? Good to be fighting with you again. Hey, yeah, it's good to be fighting with you, dude. There is an ocean of void. And you are all ready. What's travel. the idea here? Do I glide over there? Is that is that the idea? Please. I'm meant to glide to the no Tarvis Temple this. from here? Watch her mouth. It's poisoning me. Don't let it hit you. Oh, I totally can, right? Wow, look at this. Quick, free them from those bubbles. Oh, so the personal waypoint is useful, but it's not like necessary. Yes, oh, and I get the bloodstone abilities again. I can siege from up here. Dude, I can like do all the stuff. Look at how cool this is. Dude, it's actually okay pressure up here as well. Oh, I wonder if they give you the Icebridge Saga um, 
like parachute stuff as well. All right, it looks like we've recovered, but there's only 30 seconds now. So there's no time for a single recovery, right? A uh, single wipe, because you can't recover in time. Okay, and the tail... She's up her Always mouth. first priority. Look out. They're stuck. Help them now. Or she'll get Alright, there you go. This fight It's taken too long. And I I'm just too tired. We've failed. All of you, the void's starting to take hold again. Get back to the quarry before you're totally blocked off. Oh, look, look, they do! Look, look, look! Look, he's got the Ice Fruit Saga thing! Well done! That's so good! Damn, man. I love that there's a zip line coming up here, too. So, what's the idea? In 13 seconds, what happens? Sue wants to sacrifice a part of herself to save Tyria for now, allowing more time to cleanse herself from void corruption. So, it's kind of like the Tyria thing, you know? One person failing a single wisp fails the whole meta. They need to fix that. Well, I, it was kind of me that failed it, actually, because I was on a... I picked a spot, and the one next to me was open, and I was on the same thing with another guy, but we just had a little miscommunication, you know? It, and it was like, I didn't know if he was going to run over to it. I don't think he knew if I was going to run over to it. I mean, you can watch it on the video. You can literally see there was a, an open green right next to me. I suppose it's possible there are lots of greens open, right? And now the readiness level, and we're into the regular JC here. I, there were lots of um, greens around. Uh, so maybe it failed in multiple spots, but there was definitely an open spot. I was holding down my hotkey to show all nameplates, and there was no... Because the other thing is the players get culled out. I mean, that's a really kind of shitty thing about this, that culling is a serious thing there. To, to get an instant read of the room and understand if people are around. So I had to hold a hotkey to see if there was a nameplate. So I, I, and it was like my first time, so I was like getting a sense of it. And, uh, and I held down the hotkey and I saw it was open. And then I realized, oh, I'm standing, I'm doubled up with a guy. So maybe I'll go to it. And then right as I like start stepping towards it, the phase ends and we all die. So I don't know whether I was the only one with a hole next to me, but you could blame me for that because, you know... Um, obviously I didn't have a, a total read on everything. But the other thing though... Alright, so we wipe. So we die. Two seconds later, I'm back in the mix. I'm fighting. I just waypointed instantly. I was alive and fighting again. Where was everyone else? When you fail that, what's... What is that? Is that just people die and then the, it was just everyone getting back? Is, it was just a catastrophe to get people back when I did it in a single double click on my minimap. The void energy is nearing red line. Emiko, where are we on our target? And yeah, right as that ended, we had a new build, so I don't know. Someone in the live chat says that... Well, what's the changes? Never mind that. It'll be enough. They just patched the meta, void apparently. Energy. Holding. Holding. There's a waypoint in an airship. Yeah, but I mean, literally, it is definitely better to use the Jade Bot. Did you guys see that? I Jade Botted and I was no loading screen, nothing. Just, I'm dead and then I'm standing up. It's just a free res from defeat by clicking the Jade Bot. And again, you don't even have to open the map. You can just do it on the minimap. Exactly the same as I'm standing next to a waypoint right now. And with my cursor, I can just do this. Obviously, there's not. I just do that. And I'm alive. But... Uh, if everyone had done that, is what I'm asking is if everyone had done that, could we have just got back to the fight straight away? Anyway, it was really cool, really cinematic. I love all the, the previous Guild Wars stuff that they mixed in there. I'm excited to do another lane next time as well. Which should be very cool. The, the, the soundtrack was, was unbelievably cool. 
Um, so even failing the meta, I, I got the true ending achievement, did I? So what, I get an alternate ending now, do I? Succeeded in subduing Su Wan in Dragon's End before beginning the only one. So it thinks I beat it, or it doesn't care if I beat it. So this is the end of the game, is it? This is the end of End of Dragons. And the whole dragon story. Like, right there. This is it, the final instance. Yeah, it's like a pity prize. What act are we on here? Act one, two, three, four, five. Have a climactic. I should probably shouldn't mouse over these. Hmm. How's my inventory doing as well? Because I'm, I'm not sure what I want to do now. I'm not sure if I want to map comp this area and explore and have fun and take it at a bit slightly more chill pace. Um, and then do some story. Maybe even try the meta again. Or just go do it right away. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna take it take it easy. I'm not gonna rush into the final instance here. I'm gonna I'm gonna explore some of the northern map here early, and I'm gonna uh, play it and uh, chill with it. That was really crazy. I mean, I really feel like I, I mean, just got to this map. The and void then... is coming. We dig and dig for days on end. Just where does it get us? Uh, deeper underground? No, no. I mean, where does it? Ah, why bother? You'll never understand. Oh yeah, and I should probably patch as well if I want to do the mirror again. That's a very good point there too. So yeah, let's just let's just speak to some of these NPCs right at the top here and get this hero challenge. Which will complete Harbinger, I think. I think this hero challenge finishes Harbinger for us, which is quite cool. Quite fitting, right as we get here on the last map. A research merchant. This is the same thing. I keep coming across this all expansion. And every time I end up just skipping past it and not making the purchases. The thing is with running on into the story as well right now is... Um, I already have so much to chew on there immediately. Uh, it's kind of insane, you know. There's already a ton that I want to think about and review and reflect on just from the meta. I wish I saw how the meta ended, you know. If that patch has made the meta easier in any way, I might immediately do another meta right here. You know, and sort of I can think about that, settle with that, and then yeah. consider the, the end, end, end of everything, you know. With whatever the story is, and then there's a whole epilogue and stuff. It's going to be it's gonna be pretty big. And I don't really want to go into it low energy or whatever, you know. Okay, the quarry overlook. It's a shame it's night again. It was day a second ago, but I was so overwhelmed by the things. Now it's night. Ah! Centuries after the Luxes were defeated, the Jinalite Guild brought the Jade Cory and all the surrounding lands to feed the Empire's growing demand for magic infused Jade. Yes, sir. I'm on it. An outbreak of ice brewed void. 
has appeared. Do you think, um, I kind of want to go into that cave, that jade cave. I really want to go and skiff in there, you know. I, I guess there's a bunch of fishing in this map too, right? This is quite interesting. This is like an, a hybrid approach of dragon stand and dragon fall. And a normal map. By reaching this location, you've proven your mastery. Thank you very much. Let's see. Do I have the points for it? I do indeed. The Elixir of Ambition. And this will be nice. I don't know whether I want to trade the Flesh Golem. I mean, the, bra the break bars felt really good. But then again, every boon in the game is really good. So... I mean, and it's even 25 might. I mean, it's just crazy, this ability. On a Diviner's build, it kind of feels like a match made in heaven, doesn't it? Corrosive touch. Oh, this is our uh, armor piece, right? Unfortunately, I'm in an outfit, so... You don't really get to enjoy it. Preview. What is it? that The hands... They're like worm slayer hands, I suppose. Interesting. And quietus. So I'm now at the end where it's like, okay, what what do they want me to do that I missed in the expansion? So here it's a bit of crafting. Combine an oiled ancient frame, 25 ecto, chunks of jade, petrified echoboud resin in the Mystic Forge. That's a lot of stuff. Uh Harbinger's feet. As a harbinger, complete the end of Dragon's storyline. Very close. We want to catch a blue Dorado in New Kaineng. <laughs> Interesting. A rare fish is on there. Purchase from the crafting research vendor in New Kaineng. The harbinger's ring. The badge of the harbinger. Uh, defeat a jade more. Near Dragon's End. Not in Dragon's End. Near Dragon's End. There's a Jade Moore event out here. Oh, well, didn't we see him in one of the trailers? One of those? Um, and here we can find Creeping Stone Fungus, which is acquired by harvesting soybeans as a necro. That last one seems simple. Interesting. I think I missed lore conversations because I rushed to the end of the story during that. Oh, um, when I went to the Harvest Temple, they could have spoken. Well, it says regroup with your allies. I don't think I've missed anything. I think if I go over there, they'll talk to me. I don't think I skipped anything. There's a chance something overlapped. We did see a little bit of that earlier, didn't we? What event have we got here? Help Jin Lai prepare their Jade sh shipment. Sort jade samples using the scan bots and deliver viable samples to sleds. Jade shipping target 01. Other than the meta, how am I enjoying the map? I don't know. I've, I really, I've... So far, I've just seen to... You know, I, I've sort of glossed over it. I haven't really sort of immersed myself in it just yet. Um, it looks nice so far. It feels a lot more brandy than I thought it would. An unsorted jade sample. Do you want this I mean, on this slide? What's the point when the void is coming? We dig and dig for days on end. Just where does it get us? Uh, deeper underground? No, no. I mean, where does it? Ah, why bother? Okay, we want the bot to scan, and now the bot will tell me which one to go to. Or it's just loud now. Oh, okay. I thought the bot was going to assign me to a sled, and I was going to go wandering over to it. Did I read Arena Net's new forum post about the meta changes? No, didn't that only just only just happen? Oh no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Did I walk away while you're still scanning? Would you like to scan? No? Maybe I do have to go to a specific one now then. Do I have a buff that tells me? No? Oh, Mordrum Void Magic has opened up nearby. I got a bad one. Oh, it scanned it and it looks gross now. So I know that it's not, it's not good. Oh, I see. That's cool. Quite cool. Oh, and it spawned void stuff. 
Oh, very cool. I see what they're doing there. See, I do wonder with the Elixir of Ambition plus the Elixir of Anguish, I now have enough quickness to genuinely move off the tray. But, I don't know, for the AoE stuff. I seriously doubt that matters much. Scan me, please. Oh, it doesn't look good, does it? Oh, it's not spawning anything this time. Well, I don't want to put on a sled. Should I just leave it on the floor? Let's grab this one. <laughs> Maybe don't throw corrupted jade on the ground. Uh, excuse me, it was corrupted and on the ground when I got here. I haven't made things any worse. This looks good. Wow, look at how glowy we are. <laughs> It's crazy to me that they picked this color for End of Dragons in the story journal and stuff. When, frankly, <laughs> green... I don't know, Heart of Thorns already took it. There's a corrupted jade pile next to the sled for reject. Oh, is there now? Okay, thank you. A lot of work on this event, actually, isn't there? Oh, it's because all these players are scaling up and they're AFK. Possibly. Where's that teleport taking me to? Oh, this squad is like died down, man. We're now down to 9 out of 50. It was cool how quickly we got the whole group. But, I mean, everyone's on the new build, so... Sorry, I have three sleds and two shipping targets. So what exactly is the deal there? Oh, this one looks bad. Where's the pile next to the sled? Someone said there's a... Oh, here, I see it. Corrupted jade pile. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pile it all up together. <laughs> That's definitely better. <laughs> Oh, I've got to ask the live chat. I've got to ask. I've got to ask. Could I have seen Krakatoric? Let's look at this dialogue again. Hold on. Combat mode set to route. Quick to the top of the Harvest Temple. I'll be waiting for you with what's left of Suwon. She's close. Be ready. I think this is too late already. I think the Krakatoric thing. You don't think so? It's just she. You're just, she's just saying she felt his magic. But the trailer has a green Krakatoric in it. I wonder if that wasn't a, a thing, an idea. I I honestly thought that this meta. I think it's an astounding meta. I'm very impressed by the meta already. But I honestly thought that this meta would have all the other Elder Dragons in it or something. Once I saw that green Krakatoric in the trailer. Oh, it's going to be in the story later, I guess, based on everyone's responses there. Alright, that's interesting. But anyway, I did still want to read. Look, the world's ending, a landscape of shattered dreams and death, and all due to me. I mean, what's 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 end the the is we dig and dig Enigo, for days on end. Just, where does it go? We only hit the first target, Ready sir. Ready up north. I, I take full responsibility. Never mind that, it'll be enough. Void energy. Holding. Holding. And it's dropping. Void energy dropping. Do not it fear your state. You're not dead, only disembodied with senses heightened. Darkness is a blessing. Close your eyes. Feel it wash over you. It's very similar to Anka's thing. I think the idea that Anka's like void corrupted kind of... Um Matches the way that Suwon's talking here. Do 
It's magic. It's coming from a tail. Try attacking it. Maybe it'll have some effect. It's not exactly very clear what that does mechanically. Stay clear of the tail, says Logan. Please, no more of this is poisoning me. Look out, more bubbles, more tsunamis. Burst the bubbles before they get too high. Another acid attack. What's the thing with the acid attack? Is it just a one-shot? Mass Vuln? Stacking debuff? I don't know. I didn't really tell if I was getting hit by it. There's some weird yellow ring telegraph that's happening in Zergs that I can't actually tell if it's good or bad at the moment. Oh yeah, we had the prismatic spear. That was awesome. I'm forming a weapon for you. And we break her bar and save our life for that bit. Man, if they re-implement this as a 10-man strike, even the glory of Tyria is not going to be as cool as this thing, I'll tell you. I liked this Logan line here as well. The battle at the top, I've never seen such bravery. It's so cool to have a claw of Krakatoric and an airship spinning around the outside. It was so cool. It's my voice, it's Aureen. The end is the beginning, and the beginning will be nothingness. So she's stirring up her magic again. Whirlpools, look out. See, and I got caught in that. That's actually how I died, the whirlpool. I don't know if I, I stepped on something that I shouldn't have. And then right as we fail, new build available. This fight is taking too long. I'm just too tired. We've failed. Logan tells us to get out. And we're all repairing. We're all... What kind of um, setup does the community have at the moment? Should I be getting in a map already sort of thing? Is this like the Silver Waste? When we hit readiness 100%, it's done. I'm going to patch. I think I want to do the meta a second time. I think I want to try it a second time. And hopefully as many people that were there a second ago can come again and we can sort of get a bit of group knowledge. Um, but yeah. uh, I've got to restart the client though, so... I'll take this time to put a, uh, the hot water on and let's do round two electric boogaloo, shall we? All right, there we go. Uh, the login, the character sector on. So listen to this music. I'll just be two seconds.
Okay, let's log in. Let's log in. So, what's the culture with the mayor event as well, I'm wondering? Um, like, as far as LFG and stuff's concerned. <clears throat> so, the big tips I can see so far are... Uh, well, what would I do? I think I would run blood on the next one. So here, I'm gonna, uh, if you guys want to do this again, um, join on my squad. We'll do it again. I mean, I'll set up on this map, whatever I've been loaded into here. Current readiness, low. I'll do the next, I'll do the next map. We'll do one more. So if you guys want to join, and I know a bit more about it this time, uh, please feel free to. What's going on with the UI there and the squad UI? You see all that weird color? Um, yeah, if you guys want to join, let's do it. Um, if you guys want to make multiple squads as well, so we've got multiple commanders. I'm going to do the other meta next time. I'm going to do this path. Maybe even central, actually, because it ends real quick, and then we can go see the other ones. Um, but yeah, and while we wait for it, I'm just going to explore this map and have fun on this map. Uh, I will play a Blood Magic variant next time. I'll have uh, Elixir... EMPs are definitely really big, and refreshing EMP regularly is really big. Having a personal waypoint set up is really big. Um, the rest of it's that green. It's the green mechanic, right? So how do you insulate a Zerg against failing the green mechanic? How many, how many greens even are there? You know, my temptation is to give everyone a head marker, you know, you're the heart, you're the triangle, you're the circle. And put the markers on the ground as well. Here's a triangle, here's a heart. If you're the heart, you stand on the fucking heart. If you're the circle, you stand on the circle. If you're the triangle, you stand on the triangle. If everyone did that, you would actually, you could just do it, you know? And the commander could assign all of those icons. Isn't that a way to coordinate it? Because otherwise you are gonna have this weird thing like where it's like, oh, who, who moves? You either do that, or you let people organically filter into the positions, but you need a rule that provides clarity when that situation I just had comes up. There's two people, who is the one that moves? Who has seniority, so to speak, you know? Who's allowed to stay? Who is expected to move? You know, you could have as like a rule of thumb. No, I, actually, here's what I would say. I would say you can probably organically do it and everyone can just filter into the slots. I think the main rule is, though, if two people have overlapped, the guy closest to the middle of the circle is the one that's allowed to stay. So if you're, like, both on a circle with another dude, um, and you're like, who moves? It's going to be, you should instantly just default and be like, okay, look, I'm more on the perimeter, so I move. That's it. And then hopefully that would get rid of that. So that situation I had with that other guy, it would be very clear to me very quickly. Okay. I'm in the middle. It's his job kind of thing. And if everyone just had that, like, understanding, that community, like, house rule, I think you don't have to do anything. Cause I think people overcomplicate mechanics a lot of the time, and they're, they're overly uh, strict about rules and stuff. I think, generally speaking, people would filter in. It's just that's the catch, the big issue. As far as I can see, anyway, I mean, there might be another the side of it, which is like where you can set up, you know, you might, there might, there, it might be that a lot of people are dead and injured and crippled and chilled and, you know, there's bodies everywhere right when that phase starts. I can't really remember if that's the case, but, you know, if, if there's a thing of chaos before then, then, you know, you can make practical steps to clean everything up, give people as much time as possible. There's also just a thing of getting to the greens early. I mean, what can you see on the UI to anticipate a green phase is about to happen? Isn't it 66% and 33%? It happens twice as far as I can see. So I'm guessing it's 66 and 33. So if the whole Zerg just knows, okay, green's coming. You know, a lot of it is, you don't want to be reacting. You want to be ready for the thing. So if, if, you, if everyone's just in the knowledge that it's coming up and they know, okay, we've got to spread out into these little circles. I think it should be fine. The other question on my mind is... Um, what about when, uh... Is it possible to, like, overdo it? I is that is that a thing that happens? Can you overdo it? Also, can I mitigate that shit? We only went downstate. Surely, like, rebound would work against that. Barrier might work against that. Has, has anyone checked that stuff? What if Aegis helps against that? What Has anyone actually seen what mitigation works? Because the game's full of mitigation sources.
The reason the green thing kills metas is because someone becomes a wisp and they can't jumping puzzle their way back up. They run down the time of the whole meta without the Zerg doing anything. Oh, wow, so hold on, our wipe there isn't even the thing that people normally wipe on. Normally people wipe because people can't get back up. See, yeah, that's a problem. I mean, there should be something earlier in End of Dragons that teaches people that fundamental, right? Like, it seems weird to me that they throw it at the very end. Surely there should have been a moment in one of the story steps that gives us that experience, that exact experience. How updrafts work, how to look around and identify the orbs. Like, even when you saw me playing it there, I didn't know that my job was to climb to the top again. I thought I was just collecting orbs for the meta. You know, and I was actually flashing the thing. Anyway, we've got 30 minutes here. I'm really optimistic about this. This squad is filled with people who are listening to my voice right now and presumably are fully in the know of what we're talking about. By the way, the people who can't join, this is North America. This is not Europe. Oh, I have a whole strike mission to go as well, actually, now that I think about it. Apparently the patch might have eased things up as well. So I'm keen to get in there. That was really fun. I want to do it again. I want to learn more. I want to see more of what was going on. And I want to explore more of the JC here. Um, and I want to get my coffee. So I'm uh, I'm happy to go f uh, for another one on this, this episode of the Let's Play for sure. And then I think the next episode of the Let's Play, part six, will do the end of the uh, the game. I think is, is the way I'll do it. Plus more JC there. And then we'll see what we do. I mean, I could keep Let's Playing it. Or, uh, and we'll just be doing fishing and all the other stuff. But that might run the risk of the project fizzling out. So, I don't know. Maybe I take, maybe I take End of Dragon streaming to Twitch at that point or something. I don't know what I'll do. I don't know. I'm going to think ahead. I'm just having fun playing the game right now. Okay, the kettle's boiled. Let me grab my coffee. I'll be two seconds. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that to everyone watching this video. Um, who didn't want to sit around and wait and stuff. That does suck. Yeah, hopefully we get the full 50, by the way. I mean, I know that it's a while before the meta begins. Okay, where do I want to go? What do I want to see? Oh, everything. Let's unfog and see the northern stuff first, I think. Wow, look at these big windmill things. Is there... Oh, okay, what about batteries as well? Can't you spam batteries and spam the um, offensive and defensive buffs? I mean, that's another thing that people should totally do, right? Get batteries. If you guys don't know about this, you can set this up now. Right, I'm not crazy. You can get batteries, go to an offensive protocol. And if you use it twice... Like this. It stacks duration up to an hour and a half, I think, is the timer. Look at that, that's 100 power, 150 power, 150 condition damage for the entire Zerg. And more importantly, the defense one is like vitality and toughness. Uh, so you can pre-stack that to the level that it's super strong Anything before uh, the meta target. starts. You could have a whole Zerg, way stack I, I take full responsibility. Never mind that, it'll be enough. Void energy. Hold him. Just, just grab batteries and do the thing. And it's dropping. Void energy dropping. This strikes me. This is going to be a whole map like uh, uh, Echo Vald. I was saying Fort Aspenwood for some reason. There. Oh, this is interesting. How do they want me to get up there? I like these roadways here. This feels nice. 
Does anyone want to talk to me? Not only that, you can drop consumables. And then a pre-event buff thing as well. A flyer organizing a secret meeting. Workers unite. For far too long we've mined for little pay in a growing climate of unease and danger. And what does June tell us? Nothing. It's time for answers before the holes we're digging become our own graves. Tomorrow, the green. Tomorrow, the green. Grotto dusk. Tomorrow at the is he saying time and a place? Tomorrow at the Green Grotto. Signed Dusk. I think that's it. Dusk is like a Zephyrite, you know. Oh no, or is that Dusk is also time. I don't know. Zico was an esteemed ritualist known for leading the lost spirits to the mists following the Jade Wind. Interesting. There's been absolutely nothing on envoys this whole expansion. Yeah, Dragon's End Contributor. In Dragon's End, gain 10 seconds of might when entering and exiting combat. 2% increase to health, experience, and outgoing damage. Each stack of this effect will grant access to a bonus chest at the end of the meta event. It's a great incentive for doing pre's. So, 10% damage, 10% health. Really not bad. So, yeah, you do all the offensive protocols the defensive protocols and you just and then you further 10% it not to mention the jade bot vitality booster pretty good I definitely think I want to be blood magic um, and in fact instead of the elixir of promise I think I want the well of blood Nah, yeah, maybe I don't want the actual well of blood I'm not going to swap it until the meta is actually coming up in half an hour, though. Wow, 20 minutes. Jesus, time's moving fast here. Um, hey, an Irukandji! It's a shame it looks just like a Wind Rider. But that's what they look like in the Jade Morph Fractal. Oh, I've got to go up there. Look at how cool this is. And the sun's coming up. Hooray. Did you know the Vi Jade Bot Vitality affects your master trait? I get that more vitality is good for me, so. I didn't know that the bot specifically was, was operating like that. I think someone mentioned that actually a few days ago. Tell me, are... Uh, <laughs> I read that as thighs. Tell me, are the things in the south as bad as they say? It's way worse than that. That's where I'm headed. Now I really need that drink. But the bartender over there doesn't take kindly to char, especially after I threw a chair at him for looking at me wrong. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Sorry, what? Thirsty tourist? What bartender? Higher up? I've only got 40 seconds. To get this guy a drink. But from who? Oh, I'm looking forward to this vista here. I'm getting a really weird vibe from this map, knowing it's a, it's a meta map. It's really weird. Like, somehow I can't enjoy myself or relax on it. Like, truly relax, because there's all this jeopardy. But, I mean, there's no reason I should feel that way, looking at stuff like this. Ground was really weird and oddly sticky there. Oddly slippery, oddly slippery in some ways and oddly sticky in others. The roaring waterfalls. A roaring waterfall is slowly bringing back water to the ocean, to the once desolate Jade Sea. These have become useless for us now. Nothing to spend them on. They're all just overflowing in to remove progression on the next six back. 
Oh, we're gonna get these diving goggles. Wait, 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 but I gotta get the mastery from that guy. The bar is below. Oh, is it a personal waypoint thing? I'll get a drink. He's seriously talking about this guy down here. Like he's standing next to him. Glennon. Yo. My friend wants a drink. Here you go, and look out. There's an extremely disagreeable char around here. Will do, thanks. This is good. This is using a mastery for uh, an extra achievement. What? You got me a drink. You look like you could use, do one for your journey south. Nice. It looks like they had a zip line ready for that as well, which is really awesome. Oh, what am I doing? Diving goggles are here. Ready, everyone? This feels like pre-searing or something. This is a really nice little area. Ready? Whee! Oh, no. I should have set my waypoint up there again. Oh, please tell me that it's deep enough. Oh. Dive bar. Oh, it's a siege turtle hatchling in the water. Standing there weirdly, but still. Hello, friend. You know, a part of me was hoping that End of Dragons was going to have a meta map, but it was unannounced fifth map. You know, like how POF had five maps. But we really are back to four plus a dragon stand type thing like Heart of Thorns, right? I mean, it's an arbitrary value way to value the depth or quantity of, exp of an expansion. Look at that. Oh, I think I remember this on the pre-release. Pre All these little things flowing on the water. Oh. That's weird. What my brain did there. It is interesting to think of a guy just up here fishing. You know, just chilling out fishing in this archway or whatever. When, uh... <laughs> while Su Wan is fighting Aureen or whatever, you know? Oh, I can tell you guys now. So, yeah, I did... The whole way through this Let's Play, I have known that there is an achievement that says, uh, participate in the battle between Su Wan and Aureen. The whole way through this, I've known that that was going to be a part of the game. Because I read that achievement. Uh, back when I was exploring Kaineng before. Because I snooped on the achievements. Obviously couldn't make any content out of that. And that one I agree with. That's fine that I couldn't do that. But yeah. Like I said to you guys earlier on like part one, I knew Su so Wan's name, but I also knew that it was a part of an achievement that said the two of them fighting. Nice work. You're making your presence known. Okay, we got 15 minutes. Let me put us on LFG, I guess. Last chance. Anyone on the live chat of this episode of the Let's Play, you are welcome to join... This next meta run. Particularly looking for people experienced, because I'd like to beat it. I myself am not that experienced though, so it's not like I can be a total elitist snob here. Uh, just type that into your chat box. Slash join. Slash squad join list. That's it, and you'll be in. That's all you have to do. Copy paste that message into your chat box. North America only. We'd, I'd rather have 50 out of 50. The event isn't up for a quarter of an hour. So you'll be waiting a bit. But during that quarter of an hour, you can get these events. You can charge up your um, batteries and stuff. Oh, I missed it. Whoopsie. There it is. Oh, this fish moves fast. 
Oh, they fixed the UI. There was a weird bug on the fishing UI. Did you guys see that? I, th they think, I think they fixed it. The, um, the bar. If you look on the previous parts of this Let's Play, the bar, the yellow bar had, um, like, another bar. Is that mine or his? No, that's mine. This bar here that charges, it had, like, a weird bit cut out of it or, like, overlaid. It looked really ugly. Really ugly. Looks like they're fixing it. Or fishing on this map has changed the situation somehow. There we go, we get a Canthan carp. And the hotspot's gone. If I find a battery, I'll get that protocol. Oh, I never came up here. Archipelagos Rim. I always say that wrong. Oh, we gotta be up. Oh no, Alua falls. Is Alua the other uh, demigod? If you beat the meta, there are secret dialogues between Aurene and Su Wan, and there are five as far as I know, so you have to beat the meta five times to see them all. That's really cool. I like how they sort of move that lore around piecemeal like that. I wonder if there's like a battery farm, so to speak, somewhere so I can... I mean, having that mastery is really cool, because it means I can stack two at once, you know? The defensive protocol is definitely the more important one. There you go, look, we've nearly got 50 people in the map already. And the last squad, I don't know how many people were stuck outside of the map as well, you know, playing Join Wars 2. So look, half an hour of defense I've got right now. Really, I want to get that to an hour and a half, because that will probably cover the whole meta. It shocked me that the meta probably took about an hour, right? It felt about there. I'm really happy that there's lanes, so even though I'm going to be playing again here, I can do a whole different lane and basically get a different story, you know? It's really nice. Because I'd be a bit insecure normally about putting this into a Let's Play series or something. Because it's like, you know, I don't want to bore people going in circles. But we're not going to be going in circles. We're going to be doing a whole other lane. Seeing all the dialogue with Kaith, for example. Or Captain Far. Also, the map capacity is higher than 50 people, by the way. In theory, you could have three squads of 50. Obviously, I'm just on my own playing casually tonight. But... If anyone wants to pick up one of those other tags and do it, that's cool. Shrine of the Serpent. So, there were three clans. Turtle Clan, Serpent Clan, Crab Clan. So, I'm guessing that this will be a bit like Dredgehorn, where, you know, there's a thing to each of the Spirits of the Wild. Um... I'm guessing we get- this is really interesting on the map, it almost feels like a city, doesn't it? I'm, certain. I'm guessing that there'll be- we can find each of them. I wonder if there's any way I can interact or anything. We haven't seen any of the little Zelda spirits. This feels like a really good place for some, but... Also, I wonder in the meta, I'm thinking of turning shadows off now. Reflections off, but character limit up to high, but quality to lowest. So I think that this is going to be a good choice here. Uh, I should still have crap tons of frames, but people won't be getting culled out. So that green phase should look quite good here. I should be doing pretty good on this now, as far as frame rate and stuff's concerned. But also a lot of models, and it, it hopefully will clean up that green. What I want to do is to be able to, without having to rely on nameplates, which obviously can help as well, but I want to kind of get a sense of, you know, which regions need more players so I can sort of actually intelligently move one way or the other. So, yeah, no shadows, I'm afraid, and I am going to hit the reflections. Actually, I'll set that up when we get into the meta, because uh, reflections especially, I mean, come on, it's the Jade Sea. We got, we, we got to see that looking good. Alright, I need more batteries. An outbreak of Risen. 
So at this point, I think I can start declaring which my favourite dragon is. You know, and I can actually know that. And we can see the full story. And I think it's Zaitan. I just, I, I've become really obsessed with ghosts and undead. And all that kind of stuff in the past few years. I think especially ever since I started playing Phasmophobia. I just love that kind of stuff. So, um... Plus, he's kind of very special to me. There's a tinge of nostalgia there and all that sort of thing, so... I'm done with this. We ran from the void like cowards. The Great March oh, South is about to start. But oh, hurry, it looks like your current Gonna region die. isn't fully well, ready yet. Oh, wow. Readiness needs to go a lot higher. Yeah, if you guys are on the map, let's do some events, I guess. There's one coming over here. Champion Wallow. Is it a Void Wallow or a regular Wallow? It looks cool, like a regular one. Hey, we might see their new ability. Or is it Void? Drops fire fields. I really wonder if this elixir is the right way to go. I think it is. I think it's the right way to go. Without Flesh Golem, yeah, I lose a little bit of um, break bar pressure. But it's not too bad, I think. I'm still not sure about my signet there, because the heal is good. Yeah, really try and bring your A games on this in terms of builds and stuff, guys. I would say if you can squeeze we a bit of support it. in there, try it. Okay, all well, the outsiders here did it. Thank you for saving our lives. Organize the victory parade. We nearly died. <laughs> At least we can count on these strangers, if not Hanuku. So we did learn something. Though I'm starting to wonder if this actually is Hanuku's shrine. Are you now? Because there's no reason to let your flawless record of summoning angry monsters deter you. Exactly. And the shrine is labeled this way on all the maps. The evidence is overwhelming. Right. Okay. Well, thanks again for the help, stranger. I <laughs> does, hope you're planning to stick around. Does not sound confident there. <laughs> uh... I think I'm gonna do it, guys. I think I'm gonna start salvaging. Let's go. I kind of wanted to beat the whole thing and just sort of look at how much loot I had by the end of it, but we got to clean some of this these slots up. <clears throat> it's part of salvaging where your inventory actually gets worse before it gets better. It's always a funny one. for all the unidentified gear now and yes I could have opened it but look this is about quality of life right now oh here we can grab this as well is that not the light, last light bit of armor oh we're still salvaging we're still going there we go we've stopped now very good let's go trading post price Oh, interesting. Well, I can sell that. That doesn't matter, I know for a fact. List those. Probably more of those will come in in the middle of the meta, so I don't know why I'm doing that. Why do I have some random world versus world stuff? Oh, probably from the achievement point reward, right? God, they're so out of date. They, <laughs> so many things need touching up, man. It's... <laughs> Alright, and then a bunch of fish. So, consumable... Fish, fish, all these fish. Let's just compress all these down. Freshwater eels, count them carp. I didn't realize I could double click the thing. Well, we got an exotic out of that. Snake head. Okay, and then we can deposit the fish. Right, that is a much better inventory there. There you go. That's not going to be a problem in the middle of the event now. 
Uh, I want to go in that cave. How long we got? Five minutes? Only five minutes. Six more slots for players if you want it. Six more slots. Three people are not in, apparently. That guy's offline. So let's kick him. If he wants to rejoin, he can type the thing again. It doesn't matter whether I'm on list or not. It will recognize my account. So where was the cave? I think it was over here, right? Okay, get ready. We're about to march south and pick a fight with the Nelda Dragon. Meet at the quarry. We'll set off so we can reach her before nightfall. So again, if you guys want to do this, we want to get events so that we can get this uh, Dragon's End Contributor. If you can get 10 events, it's 10% more damage and 10% more tankiness. Well, health, which is good. It might mean you survive some of those shock waves, and that, that is a huge burden removed if you survive some of those shock waves that are just instantly nuking like 20, 30 people because they can't dodge it. Um, the other thing uh, is the defensive protocol, which again is toughness, vitality, and if that scales them with the 10%, it's really good. So deep, but full of treasure. Is that the cave? Is he talking about the cave? Maybe oh, I don't have time. Holding my breath. Wait. It's here on the left, right? There it is. That's totally it, isn't it? Oh. Oh. It's good. Oh, we got a player on our skip. I didn't even know. Oh, it is good, isn't it? It's everything I ever imagined. Oh my god, we can go left and right. Oh, look at this place. There's cavern fish in here. Where does it go, though? It's really freaking me out that it's not unfogging. Oh my lord. It's so much deeper than I thought. I thought it was going to be like a tiny shallow little thing. But no, it just goes and goes. Oh, there's another player in here. That was a cool moment. The Great Melt. Oh, look at the water trickling down. There's a new event. How long have I got? I've got 2 minutes 30. We're underneath the Harvest Temple. Oh my god. Oh, I, I gotta swim around down here. We can get directly underneath the temple. Oh, look, there's a void here. No, you're ruining the beauty by being void and being around. Oh my god, that guy, his skimmer was culled out. He was skimmering around, but it looked like he was just flying, fly squatting. <laughs> okay, I think I've got to go north. I think I've got to stop this. But how far does it go? What is this? Oh, it's a defensive program. I doubt there's any batteries here. Right? What is this though? Is that a teleporter? There is a battery here. Archimorus' solitude. Wow. It's ghostly. It's a ghostly teleporter? Exit to the surface. Not yet. Okay, I'll stack more duration on this. I think the d the defensive protocol is the really important one. So what have I got at the moment? I've got 46 minutes. 
Now I'm stuck down here unless that battery comes back. I wonder what time the battery uh, respawns. 33 seconds. Oh, no, they didn't die. Oh, if I exit to the surface here, though, where would this have taken me? Yeah, I felt bad, and then I did it again. Two slots on squads. Six people can't get in, I assume, because we're map capped. All right, I'm going back up. I'm going up. Right, I will be doing north. And again, here we go. So, reflections are going off. Shadows off. Commander, you're I'll keep AO on. Quarry base camp now. Two on the right, right on time. Okay, and I don't have to focus so much on dialogue UI this time either. We can really, like, get into it. Um, I'll, I'll put blood magic on as well. It does sting taking, um, spite away, but... This is just too big. The vampiric pre presence is really nice. The lesser will of blood is really nice. Last rites is really nice. Just while I'm alive near people, they no longer go downstate. I mean, uh, they no longer bleed out of downstate. Oh, oh, are we already like super spread out? No, no, no. It's, this is just a start. Oh, this is really cool. I'm loving this map right now. Look at the palm tree and stuff. But I can't, uh, can't stop to smell the roses because here we go. The action movie begins again. Fire team leaders are gathering at the Junlai Jade Quarry. Here we go. And worse, daggers made with our own stolen tech. Don't worry, Fa. I'll protect you. I even have a few tricks up my sleeve. Great. They have supplies. Lots of them. We must reach out. Yeah, if we have food or whatever you guys want to eat. Come to an agreement. Wait, what? I'll take the Crystal Bloom and Minsek south to Orin. She's keeping an eye on Su Wan at the Harvest Temple. Orin's here? Maybe this time will be different. It may not be enough, so I've informed Logan and others of our plan. They're en route. Um, the big question on my mind is, uh, here we go. Am I still getting Dragon's End Contributor? For all these events? Is that a thing that's happening or no? Oh, we're going in this TP, are we? Oh, I'm not going to use that teleport. I'm going to use the Jade Battery to get more defense buffs later. I'm not going to teleport. I'll just walk there. I'd much rather do that. I'm going to hoard my battery charges. And yeah, I really... I know that you guys want the damage, but I think it's the wiping from the... Uh, the shockwaves and stuff you want to focus on a little bit more. So if you can get yourself a 1,500 health plus whatever percent damage resistance 150 toughness is. Hey, there's a legal document there. Ooh, I want to read about the legal document. I mean, I would really recommend you get the defensive thing stacked up. Oh, this is cool as well. I'll get on this guy's toe. Hell yeah! Without Marshal Thackeray and the reinforcements, we'll need to be on guard. Don't worry. I personally trained these troops. They're fearless, elite, and... You hear that, everyone? The boss says I'm elite. Not you, Dole. You're not even done with training. Wait, who invited you anyway? Um, you did? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> then, it was that serious-sounding guy with you. This is Captain Fa. Head of Junlai Jade Security. Um, I don't actually have any masteries. Nor Jade Bot specialization for this. So maybe it's not a good idea for me to be on his, his turtle. I like this so much though. This feels so natural and cool. Oh, I see an Aureen crystal over there. Yeah, my uh, heart goes out to people playing okay. Join Wars too. Either I just ate some weird hallucinogenic fruit, or something's not right here. There's a disruption in the flow of magic. It's close to you. Please be careful. If anyone can sense it, Orin can. Look out! 
I love how they describe it as Night Falls, by the way. Are they suggesting it was Void that was impacting Abaddon, etc., and they're calling this Nightfall for that reason? Wow, look all the buffs I've got. What is going on with my boon bar there? Why are the boons spread across two rows? Oh man, I'm out of ammo already. It's Void. Quick, throw it into my prismatic crystal, and it will be cleansed. Okay, so Aurene can cleanse through her crystals. Cleansing the magic will reduce the void's intensity. It'll give you a fighting chance. I don't know whether I should be fighting. Or... What's the skill two all about here? I want to remember this. Consume some of the corrupted magic to heal yourself at the expense of some sanity. Void affliction. Handling void magic saps your strength. At ten stacks, it will become lethal. Was this happening as I was climbing up the Harvest Temple earlier? I think I need to chill out with that a little bit here now. So much less damage immediately. I think that's the last of them. Apart from that big frickin' salt spray dragon. It oh, there's salt sprays pissed. here too. Everyone, take it down. No! I thought salt sprays were going to be special for the Kunavang phase, but a little side of it, let me say. Here's what I'm going to do as well for the matter. We're going to get the FOV back. This is definitely one of those things where you want the big FOV. Okay, I missed my flesh golem already. This bar's not even close to going down. Oh yeah, we missed it. We missed the uh, the thing. A lot of work to resustain here. Get rid of the uh, protection. There's actually so much damage here. Oh, what is hurting me? Oh my god, I think I'm just in ground targets. Kind of tricky to see now. More quickness for everyone. Does Sue One give herself prot or anything like that? There's there's no boon rip needed, right? I mean, in a massive zerg, obviously. Oh, it was the lay Aside energy. Oh, I see, I see, I see. That ambush, I'd say you handled yourself pretty well. With more training. Here we go. One of us. Great. I'll sign myself up. Right after detaining you for the endless infractions you're wanted for. Oh. And I thought we were starting to become friends. Yeah. Not gonna happen. Okay, good. So yeah, I got uh, an hour and half, an hour, uh, an hour and twenty minutes here now. Commander, um, you did well preparing people earlier. Looks still like only three percent here, sadly. Join us. But we can deal. Start working on our damage half now. battery. Excellent. Oh, there's two actually. Brilliant. That's another 40 minutes of buff right there. Two batteries is 40 minutes. It's pretty good. In fact, we're just full of batteries here. I'm sure I'll find an offensive protocol down there somewhere, so let's just keep, let's run ahead here. <clears throat>
Uh, any reason I went with Necro over Tempest for my first playthrough? I'm playing my Tempest with Kerry. Um, plus, I think Tempest's a bit OP, honestly. The build I have on it, anyway, is really OP. And I kind of realised that the game's not fun when you at, when just no combat ever gets anywhere near you. So, um, so I wanted to play something a little it's bit different, a little bit fresh. And I had no fall. interest in Catalyst either. Ah! Help! Hey, you okay there, friend? We're under attack, but I managed to get away unscathed. Unscathed? You've got a knife in your back. <laughs> I thought he was going to fall over dead there, but he's just standing there still. <laughs> Weird. Oh, okay. this place looks we lovely. We better get in there and save the others. Temple of the Fallen. Here you go, guys. Look, there's a defensive thing here and a battery here. Watch those entrances. Pick them up. Look at me wandering around at 30,000 health. I know I'm a harbinger, but be jealous. It could be you too. So how much more health can I get from upgrading my Jade Bot? Oh wow, the Shrine Guardian is the Jackal skin. That is so cool. And it's fighting with us. Oh, that's awesome. Top tier is 2,350 health. That's a good amount of health. Oh my god, and it's an evil one. But it's a, it's a Vine Tooth. Nice, avoid Vine Tooth. Quickness for everyone, break bar. Break bar, break bar, break bar, break bar. I've now spent everything. Now my pressure's now lower, but look at all the little green numbers here from all the vampiric procs. Well, you're not seeing them now. Oh, his break bar's up again, nice and quick. Boom. Love this boss. Boons for everyone. Dagger or O's for me. Shotgun. Nice. That was very satisfying. I don't have any knives in my back, do I? No. Me? No. You're good. Okay. Let's keep moving towards your base. There's not much time. There's a letter, but we'll come back to all these things. God, I hope I come back to these things. It's going to be hard without map comp to guide me around places I haven't been yet. We'll just go over it with a real tooth comb. Damn, where are all the offensive stations, man? I need one. Nice. It's the destroyer section. Do we get to siege with our turtles? Nice color turtle there, by the way. Rocking the red. Very nice. And the hot pink one as well. Look! <laughs> Enemies. Lava. Handle them, boss. No, ignore them. We need to keep moving south to our old base. Ah! <laughs> he sounded pissed about that, eh? How do we value our odds here, everyone? Again, so many batteries, but not much to spend them on anymore. Security turret there? I don't suppose there's any security turrets in the later bits of the meta at the Harvest Temple, are there? Oh, 
coagulated void cloud. Can I hit it already or no? Oh, I can. It hurts though. The salt spray dragon seems to be powered by those crystals. Maybe we can, you know, reason with it. Hello, friend. I know you're having a real bad day. Nope. Some dragons aren't good listeners. We'll need siege weaponry to break through those shields and destroy the crystals. Okay. Oh, excellent. Let's start by clearing a path to get the equipment through. Everyone come and grab this way station. I'll put a love heart on it. And remember, in the fight, you want to refresh that. A lot of phases of the thing will give you a new special action and take away your old one. So what you want to do is um, collect a new one nice and regularly. Also, it's 10 targets stun in a huge area. So honestly, considering that we're going to be refreshing them so fast, don't be scared to use them on ads sometimes, I think. I don't know, maybe, maybe I shouldn't offer that advice. Maybe that'll uh, throw people's mojo off. Oh wow, they got it real fast. Nice job, everybody. I like how often my uh, weeping shots are lit up because they're a combo finisher. And in these zergs, there's always a group around. I'm not going to spend one on that. Not 2% now. Oh, there's an offensive protocol. Nice. Pick all this up. Look, that's 40 minutes of offense. Straight up. Real good. And defense there as well. North Void Shield. Look at the look at this though, by the way. I mean honestly, just take a second to appreciate that. This is some crazy shit. It's also very clustered. Cluttered. Clear that first area and destroy the crystal. On this half. I should hold off on a couple more of these EMPs. I'm, I'm going through them a bit quick. I mean, it's so good though to use it. Look at that, boom. That's the first one, just two more. Get in there, turtles. Good stuff. I like the regard that they have for the siege turtles in the context of the story here. Everyone talks about them like they're a really big deal, you know, getting these reinforcements. This cool. makes it more exciting to get them uh, for yourself. Might as well refresh our batteries, why not? South Void Shield, what is this? Oh, it's a Thornheart, nice! I always like that kind of experience with a Thornheart. I don't see it much elsewhere. Oh, I don't have any ammo though. Wait, and how do I get off? Oh, it was, that was weird. It looked like the ability was saying it wasn't allowed to get off, but when I clicked it, it let me. Feeling the signal of the locust anymore. Okay, you ugly bastard. We're coming for you. 
what would I be feeling? Another hard CC would be awesome. I mean, Techno Babble, it's not good though, is it? Doesn't that have like basically no. It says Defiance Break 300, actually. Is it seriously 300 Defiance Break on Techno Babble? That's really good. Is that seriously what it is? I mean, I'll run Techno Babble then. <laughs> Any excuse for a uh, racial ability? I want those bars going down. What's going on here? Am I supposed to be up somehow? What did I do wrong? Well, <laughs> I said the theme of these is I love them, but they always take me down when I want them to take me up. There's probably some phenomenon going on there that I can't begin to understand. Oh, it was just through here. Okay. Secretly the only racial, good racial skill. Yeah, something like that. I love how they updated the tooltip for it. Did we get it or did it fail? Ah, oh, if only I was here earlier. It was already active when I got here. And I had no way station anymore. This is nice. I feel good and tanky. I can say that. So if I was at the Kate lane, what would I be doing right now? Just chilling? Off. I'll rip that regen if I can. I feel like I'm not focusing enough on position. Here, here we go. It's really nice that it's instant activation as well. Alright, well, it died. It's dead. We should celebrate. This is far from over. Yeah, but getting our base back was a good start. Thanks. Didn't exactly do it out of charity. You've got supplies, and it's in range of the Harvest Temple. <laughs> hey, how's everyone else doing out there? All right, there we go. I now have an hour and a half of both the protocols. Is secure. So is the Jade Brotherhood base. And we've cleared the observatory. Orin's here, and we can see the Harvest Temple. I'm going to focus my prismatic energy at the barrier protecting Su Wong. Hold up! We've got void popping up all around us. Same here. It's like they're creating a blockade between all of us and the Harvest Temple. Careful! It's corrupted Elder Dragon magic that's been combined. We don't know its power. Right, get a battery as well for your personal waypoint. Make sure you've got a little bit of battery charge as you go up there for the personal waypoint. I don't know if I'm saying that too early. Champion, Probably. As you cleanse the previous outbreaks, I felt the magic as it was released. Maybe I could absorb it from these new void outbreaks. But if the power of the magic is unknown, what could it do to you? A good question, but I know one thing. I'm going to use every bit of it to break through the barrier covering Su Wan. No, I missed this context now, from the story before. Release the Elder Dragon magic. Okay. Um, oh man, this is awesome! Listen, they're playing the Primordis boss music because I'm next to the Primordis thing this Look time. Out. Last I time they were playing different music. Crazy. They were playing the Zaitan music. Right? They've actually changed the music based on where you are. That's so cool. Somebody asked for quickness. Cool. I wish I could give alacrity to, but I get that that's like the line in the sand they've now decided. You know, you can't do both. I'm just dealing with both of those for everyone. Oh my god, I really shouldn't have spent the waste station thing there. That was too much to first. See, because of last rights, just by virtue of standing around, I'm going to be a lot more, you know, it, 
You're essentially healing down state bodies just from being near them because they no longer drain health. Not to mention the random transfuses that will port people back in. Clean things up. And of course the vampirism itself, which resustains and keeps people in scholar and stuff during uh Oh, there was a mastery point on the roof there. That's cool. Remember, have your battery, guys. So we should hear the uh, the best music in the game. Boss music in the game. The Morgimoth music over here. This is the last one as well. Is it done already? I guess it's done already. Yeah. We might hear anyway. Morgim's Blight. This is really cool. It's really cool to think that this is all coming down to the Harvest Temple. I mean, what other location on Tyria would you choose to have the very, very Wait, end of everything? I'm missing an element. I sense. Grandfather! It's another void outbreak! Prakatoric! That's the element you need. Everyone, focus on the void! I understand what's going on now. There is only void and a dwindling time before you join us. I understand. We are bound to the nothingness, and all will return to it. They have four split so events for all four dragons, but Kralkatoric isn't she involved. Is one with us now. Kralkatoric gets a special phase at the so end. One, follow my voice. Reach out. Fight it. Which is really cool we that are. they sort of separate him. They separate Why? him from the other dragons, because, you know, you this is Aurene's lineage. To release you from... Don't you realize this barrier is protecting you from... from me? That line is really cool. Suwon! It so is one... time to join us. And we get the Zephyrite motif and stuff in the music. I refuse to use the Bond of Faith. Oh, okay, because we're near the Kraukatoric thing now, so this is reminiscent of the Auditorium fight and stuff. This is like the Kraukatoric music. That's why this is here. See, I'm learning what they're doing. It's very good. Dude, I'm dodging North America for the love of God. Alright, down it goes. Is ready. Rally at the observatory. Protect her as she blasts through the barrier. Okay, what was the thing here again? It was charging them up, right? destroy those crystals all is lost we need those reinforcements Logan where are you drop the coast of camp oh it's too heavy overwhelmed surrounded can you and the others protect the magic contained within the crystals with our lives good I must fly to Logan see what state they are in it may already be too late So last time Mordrum took a bit longer, so I'll go to the Mordrum one this time. Void Tangler, these are interesting. There's names. I mean, right for the start, I just need to fight stuff, don't I really? I love how relentlessly I can float them like this. And look, when you get five targets on the skill five, you get so much life force back. And the fact that they're dying here... I, look how long I've stayed in Shroud on this. 
It's crazy. I almost got two of them. All right, more drum. Ice Brood's looking bad, actually, for now. But I'll keep throwing in just for now, and we'll see what happens. Sorry guys, sorry, I'm in the middle of a Discord conversation here. Uh, they're utilizing all of their light motifs. Is that is that the phrase, is it? Alright, one of the crystals is charged. We gotta go now. Mordrum is the slowest. I wonder if there's a reason for that. That it struggled last time and is last this time. Branded needs a bit of work. That's the icon of other people throwing them in. 50 seconds, we're all good. I think we're all good. No point in me going down there. People have already grabbed them. We filled the crystals, Commander, but they're still coming. We're finished. So many. I brought some friends. Miss me, Commander. Just show us what to kill. We've got a massive barrier to break through, and on the other side, Suwan. With the void rapidly widening, we need to stop her now. Okay, here we go. My pleasure. So remember, when we get up there, um, so zip line, get a battery. Oh yeah, this is good. So they they hold one there for you. Uh, refresh food as well. I don't know. I don't have my food ran out over all of that. I don't even know if I have any on me. On my count, three, two, one, fire! Oh, I wish I got up there quicker. Look at the look at that. The airship's shooting in. Oh, there's the roof blowing up. I saw, I saw, I caught it there. Stop! Don't kill her! Oh, there you go, birthday cake. But Su Wan's in pain. Come, we must save her from herself. Meet me at the temple. Okay. <clears throat> Quick, to the top of the Harvest Temple. I'll be waiting for you with what's left of Su Wan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your waypoints up. This is the bit now. Personal waypoint now. Trigger your little personal waypoints, guys. Yeah, right click under your she, weapon swap. She's above us. Grab Circling. it. Play. There you go. And then, um. And then when you die, when you get your first defeat, you can just literally double click on the minimap and you'll be all good. So get your personal waypoints. I don't know if I can see them or they get culled out. Hopefully they get culled out. And yeah, I think the green circle bit is 66 and 33% health. I think it only happens twice. And we did fine the first time, but the second one, there's a lot of them. So I think we really need to get on that. So just be ready for it. You know, just be have it prepped in your mind. And hopefully, if you're listening to this commentary, I can help you with that. It's so chaotic with the wind, the rain, and the void everywhere. So long. Stay back, or we will... Here we go. Look. Oh, and focus these tails the as well, I think. Ending. A landscape of shattered dreams and death. And all due to me. To walk. To walk. It can end here. It doesn't need it. The end will come fast. 
So every 10%. Oh, I fucked that up so badly. I dodged I dodged too early, and so early in fact it was twice, and I dodged the wrong way as well. I could have just stepped back and dodged, but I didn't. <laughs> it's okay, good, good res there, thank you guys. I was among the, uh, the broken there. <laughs> Pretty dumb of me. Right, so every 10% her tail, look how quickly you get the first 10% when everyone's organized and ready. Uh, and we have to break we have to kill the tail Because the tail makes her invulnerable. Is she invulnerable while her tails up? Yeah, it's much better to stand away from that and dodge into it than um, right under the, the hand <laughs> There's a siege turtle up here. That's awesome, man. Okay, you break bar Break bar, break bar, break bar, break bar, break bar. Uh, I think that's it from me, right? I think I've got it all. Okay. Maybe to dagger for a little bit. In the beginning, there was only emptiness. And now, you must join it. Quick, stand around the impact site. Okay. I'll protect you. Let's make sure everyone's in it. This one's easy. See, the next one's the hard one because there's loads of them, right? Oh, I never got to go up that time. I see. To my voice. It's me, Aureen. Oh, the music is so good. Everything about this is fucking great, right? And the beginning will do nothingness. Dude, Void Su Wan is really cool, and I'm sad that I only get to meet her in this instance, it feels like, right? Dude, look at all the life force. This is so good. Holy shit, that's skill five. Okay, so remember to... So, are we, by the way, if someone fails this, is that it? We, I can't even play... If somebody wipes now, one of the people that went down. I mean, it wasn't too bad, as far as I saw. What are these crystals? Do these crystals represent the souls of the players that went down? And when they rejoin, the crystals go away. Is that it? What's the point of us killing all these things? Is it, is it good? I mean, obviously it's good, but I mean, is, does it actually progress or help the people down below in any way? Look at all the damage we can do here. This is cool as shit, man. I'm going to just keep using my way station thing, because I mean, fuck it. Just refresh it. It would have been nice if we placed it in the middle, actually. There you go, see one's back. Oh shit. Oh my god, I was clicking out the client there. Okay, so a lot of dead people. Now you, you want to go to the Logan's airship? Oh, what? Is that undodgeable? Do you have to jump that? Okay, so we've got to go to the tail now. On the other side of the arena, is it? I'm trying to stay in Shroud to keep um, quickness going. Here we go, yeah. So every time there's a tail without fail... Oh my god. This is going to be rough. Time to res. Well of blood. I'll transfuse soon if I can. we got to get these bubbled people. Can I, can I get him? He's too high. I've got you. He might have to glide down from that. Alright, the tail's up. Oh, how, how do I spit my focus between this and the bubbles? Look at all these players. These people need help. Yes, it's working. She was casting the bubbles from her tail. Oh, I can't get you. Okay, somebody else did. EMP is good for bubbles. CC, CC, CC. Uh, go. Nice, got it, got it, got it. Techno Babble felt real good there. Like, really good. Okay, so I was wrong, by the way, about the timings. The greens happened at 80 Was it 80? Dude, my pressure's good here. Uh, a big elixir, little elixir. Focus on her tail, it'll stop the bubbles. 
drop a well. Tails back up. <gasps> Wrong target. Quick, I'm going to EMP the bubbles here. Yeah, that was good. Felt Please. good anyway. No so does Pistol right now, actually. It's poisoning me. Yes, it's working. She was casting the bubbles from her tail. Okay, uh, there's probably a break bar when we get back, right? Last time we were very close. That that uh, that tail phase went really fast, by the way. You guys are doing very well. All right, she's invulnerable. Next phase. I guess clean up some of these mobs and refresh you your thing. Collect Please magic in the middle. This guy says. Oh, is this when Aureen saves us? Kill shit. Collect magic. And use your special action. Yeah, that's it. Oh, break bar? Oh, but I can't use it yet. I don't have the special action. Do you guys have a special action yet? Oh, okay. It's, it just takes time. I think she's immune to regular break bar damage. There it is. So spam that special action now. Paralyzation sigil would be so good. Oh yeah, get your EMP back. You are all destroyed. So over here, uh, my arrow, my squad arrow, it's off to the side. Oh, hit special action, fly as well. Oh, shit. Okay, we can't refresh it yet, I think. Two, one. Oh Everything god. You do, we will always have an answer for it. I'm going to the other platform because there's not many people She's going there. The mini -map. Destroy them before it's too late. I will go after her. If we get Bloodstone 5, Gliding 5 moves you quick. And also there's a CC ability. One of your abilities while you're gliding. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I'm at the Mordremoth one because there weren't many people here. The Void will never beat us if we stand together. I'll uh, drop my Well of Blood. Your desires are but a mirage. Break the break bar. Yeah, this uh, this Mortimer one's scary. Careful of her like shockwave vacuum things, because they are nasty. Again, I'm gonna hold Shroud for as long as I can, because it does help us. Triple elixir on the group. Break bars are back. It's nice to have a little bit of self alacrity here. I don't have the way station anymore. But that was nice. Big contributions there. I'm sorry, Suwon. We have to do this. Your desire. Yeah, the black hole, the druid black hole, yeah. And behind them lurks open I'm dropping a well to try and heal that guy again. All right, good job here, uh, Mordremoth. Well done, everyone. Look, there's defensive protocols and stuff here. Special top. action back up. I've never seen such bravery. God, she's back. Look out! If you don't all want to die, kill me now. Refresh your way stations now. Oh, brutal. She fucking killed me. The end is the beginning. And the beginning will do nothing less. She literally Again, killed me there. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Oh, tsunamis. Don't stand in that. I'm gonna throw out spectral grass there just to hit the thorn heart and stuff. And I'm gonna throw a random EMP there as well, because look at all the targets we can hit with that. Just clear up the area a bit, you know? Off to the tail, yeah. Aureen's telling us. Other side. And get ready with a quick EMP if anybody does get bubbled. Someone's dead over there. Sorry to you guys. There you go. I'm going to help that guy. I really like that mechanic. I feel like it plays with range in a fun way. That's Sue won herself. Whoops. Stay clear of the tail. 
shit, I'm bubbled in the tail. I'll be safe though, won't I? Yeah, okay. They're not that unfair. Can I EMP from in my own bubble? I can. Help that guy. How high can you end up? Oh, shit. Hopefully he can free himself. No more of this. It's poisoning me. You must like pain. The friggin' thieves guild standing around. We're doing well here. Ten minutes left and she's got half health CCs. There I go while I get my shroud back. Spinal shivers. Look out, more bubbles. Stay clear of her mouth. Uh, off to the edge. Oh my god, there's a lot of dead players here. Bubbles. bubbles again. EMP again. Uh. Look out, more yeah, the tail's over here. Holding shroud quickness. So it's interesting you can DPS the tail before it's even up, it looks like. Yes, it's working. She was casting the bubbles from her tail. Yeah, we get it, Aureen. We get it. This way station's now really well positioned. <laughs> Got my MP. Got elixir. Yeah, greens are coming up now, so spread out and uh, everyone contribute to this. Do not leave any of them empty. And again, if you're like overlapping with someone, whoever's dead center. I'm not really... There, this one. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. We didn't all wipe. Do not fear your state. Okay, no, let's climb, dead. baby. Only disembody. The sense is heightened. Some must fight. I believe in you guys. Dude, this some must fight is all maybe free thing is so fucking good. You recharge all your endurance with every single memory. So maybe try and do minimal memories so that you don't take other people's. Exits up there. Holy shit! I'm I wonder how many of these references I can get. Okay, get can we down? I, like I'm not stealing from other people. Am I? I'm up already, baby. WP's in the house. Untarnished spirit. I got an achievement for that, apparently. Let's pull these bitches in. You guys stay near me. I got elixirs and stuff. Okay. Uh, where do I stand for these crystals, though? I hope you guys can get up. I really hope that you guys don't struggle with that jumping puzzle. Oh, I got to refresh my EMP. It's gone, though. The way station's gone. I think I'll stand in the middle. I'm really nervous now that we're getting further. I'm really nervous. Is a blessing. Close your eyes. Behind the crystals, but in what direction? Oh, I see. In the, I see there's some arrows. Holy shit. Not many body, though, icons. That's good, right? Kill me now. Our way station. Oh, no, there is a way station there. I'm scared of collecting this after she fucking pounded me before. All right, uh, tail, 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 tail. Oh no, yeah, it is tail. What the fuck is that? EMP. I'm hitting the tail. What we got? Five minutes to do the last bit of the fight, right? The question is, is there another green phase? Right, I think this is doable if there's not another green phase. I can't tell you guys how nervous I am right now. I've got quite a lot of adrenaline in me. This is fucking awesome. Tail again? Because she moved it to the other side? Yes, it's working. All right, good. She was now. The bubbles from her tail. Can I help that guy? No. Don't forget, if you die, Stay personal waypoint. Ooh. Get ready for a CC on the boss as well. I'm sure there's one coming. Oh, stop moving, Sue One. Let us hit you. All right, here it is. Elixirs are down. Look out. 
Oh yeah, I got whirlpooled before. Careful of those orange tails on the ground. Help them now, or she'll get the upper hand. Oh, well, this is good though. They're all right next to us. What do I do? DPS them? Oh, it's CCs. It's CCs on the whirlpools. It's okay. I got Whale of Doom for you. There's someone still in one. Oh no, I think he's okay. Oh my god, all the downs. Res. Were these all poor whirlpool bastards, were they? Focus on her tail. It'll stop the bubbles. I'll transfuse in the middle of you all. Oh, there's so many downs. I hope we can stabilize. Jesus, guys. I don't know what the, what the damage was there. EMP again on the bubbles back there. Let's get into Shroud. Give us a, keep the quickness going. She was casting the bubbles from her tail. Help the whirlpools. Spectral grasp. Pistol three. Whale of doom. Stay clear of her mouth. We use five. I got you guys. Maybe this isn't efficient. All those condies will. I got someone out. Another acid attack. Okay, elixirs are up. Because damage phase is up. All right, CC, CC. That's right, you eat my techno babble. You're dealing with an Asura, Suwon. If you don't out, all want to die, kill me now. Focus on her tail, it'll stop the bubbles. It's looking good to me, three minutes. I'm gonna jinx that. But it's looking good. Holy shit. Wait, is that but that's a turret that's been bubbled. There's an NG turret that's been bubbled. <laughs> yeah, that thing's fucked. That's hilarious. Oh shit, it's this phase again. Alright. Oh, I love all the pulls. Everyone immediately executed there. Did you see that? I gotta refresh my thing. Oh no, someone's on the edge. Look, fragments of energy. Grab some, they'll empower us. Be careful. Some are corrupted. Be careful of some of the corrupted energy. Keep that energy flowing toward me. I'm nearly ready with another spear for you. Uh, dude. I'll take Nababala, uh, Thorn Heart. There it is. I got a target, Sue One, though. There we go. I found the target. Spamming. Break bar. Damage. Got it. Oh, she's crying, help me. Okay, there's going to be a lot of new dialogue here. Oh, jump, 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 jump. Oh, fuck. We got one of these phases. Okay, where's the Someone majority of people going? Listen to I'll me. go south. Fight it. It's me, what? Oh, we're not going to make it then. Okay. We're not going to make it. One minute. Oh. What are the odds of us getting that? You guys have got to, like, become gods here to do this. We're not going to make it. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have done that. One minute for this whole extra phase. I should have known. I should have known there'd be another island the bit. Will never beat us if we stand together. Oh, brutal. The end is the beginning. And the beginning will be nothingness. Wow. What sucks about this is I don't really know what I personally did wrong this time. Maybe we need to assign people to the tail quicker or something. I'm sorry, Suwon. We have to do this. The end is the beginning. And the beginning will be nothingness. I don't even know if we'll get back up in time. I mean, we can try to get back up in time, but... Oh, God. I feel like most of the damage to uh, time is lost um, chasing the tail. To excuse an expression. I'm sorry, Sue. Lord 
Damn. Oh, I was really into that. It's taken too long. And I... I'm just too tired. We've failed. All of you, the void's starting to take hold again. Get back to the quarry before you're totally blocked off. You do wonder if it'd be easier to ignore the tail? Me too. I, that shouldn't be right. That shouldn't be what you do. But, um... I'm sorry, Suwon. We have to do this. Your desires are but a mirage. And behind them lurks oblivion. Tail is 70% damage reduction. I don't know. How do you get ready for the tail, though, and deal with the tail fast enough? The voice acting and stuff suggests the real thing about the tail is the bubbles, in which case you could totally ignore it, but the 75% damage reduction is huge. The thing is, like, all that time you're running left and right across the platform, you're doing nothing, right? We were close, but it does feel like there's a... I didn't realize it was so tight. There's that whole other phase, right? I mean, I'm really happy we got the greens. I mean, we did the greens perfectly. That was awesome. I was really happy to see that. But that sort of gutted and winded me a little bit now because I don't really... I don't think it's a good idea to do 150 people, to try and get 150 randoms optimized. Do you know what I mean? I'm not even perfectly optimized. But again, I don't know if it's build quality. I think it's just where people are, st I don't know. It's something about the tail. It's something about the tail. Um, Cause there is a lot of running around. It is a lot of hassle, isn't it? Like, think about the start of the meta. You get that first 10% real goddamn fast. And the wisp phase is quite long. That's true. Yeah. Oh, this the map is, a, is 54 people. Okay, so it's a squad. You get a squad and a couple more people. We got really unlucky with RNG this run, did we? What's the randomness in this run? I, th I do think it's a strategy thing. I don't think it's a, um, a rotational mechanics thing. I think it's a strategy thing. I just don't know what. Her dash attack is random. Oh, I see. So we keep getting it. Because, yeah, that's another thing that interrupts us a lot, those. And dig for days on end. Just where does it get us? If you get a bunch of CC phases, it's easy. If you get a bunch of tails and side swipes, it's terrible. Oh, God. Is that how it works? Because, yeah, the CC phases, we were destroying... Is that what it is? It's random whether she'll have a break bar phase, a tail phase, or a sight or, or or whatever else. And you if that's random, that is awful because yeah, a break bar phase is way better. A break bar phase is massive damage. Oh god. Oh dear. People in the live chat telling me that it is that is random. That is awful. That is truly awful because, yeah. And I, I I felt like we had very few break bars. I found it very hard to predict that. You know, a break bar you can build around. That There is not an equivalence between a break bar phase and a tail phase, for example. So what, you just keep going up against this until the, the, the dice roll in your favor? Ugly stuff. I don't like that. If you guys are right, I may have to do more reading about that, but that's if that's true. By the way, this is incredibly cool. There's someone working on their turtle. I cannot believe they would do it that way. 
I would have thought it'd just go one 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 one. You know, tail wave brake bar tail wave or, or whatever the three things are. I disagree with everyone who thinks that you need like some kind. Of, I I think that the the group we just had there I think would have done fine. Maybe there's a slightly better strategy for those other phases. Maybe I, I can't really figure it out though. I mean, what do you want to do? Just hold some people at the back of the platform waiting for a tail all the time? Like, that's just awful, isn't it? The void energy is nearing red line. Emiko, where are we on our targets? We've only hit the first target, sir. I... I take full responsibility. Never mind that. It'll be enough. Void energy. A lot Holy. of people in the live chat seem to be very confused right now. I don't think anyone said it's impossible. And it's dropping. Void energy dropping. You did it with an Uber op optimized comp and you only had 20 seconds. Wait, you did. You had terrible RNG and still did it with five minutes left. It strikes me a lot of the timer going down is stuff out of your control. Time spent climbing is a wisp. Time spent gliding to the side platforms. Time spent waiting for her to fashion a weapon for you. Time spent running to a tail that's on the other side. That Those are the big time sinks, and that actually has absolutely nothing to do with player skill. Aren't those the big time sinks? They're, they're very, very significant factors, isn't it? Some people had good RNG and think it's easy, while others got crap out of RNG and think it's impossible. I think there's probably a bit of that going on there. I like how people are talking as though RNG is this binary thing. It's either good or bad, you know? <laughs> Which is obviously also nonsense. You can have reasonably bad RNG and still be fine. It's very different to having terrible RNG. You know, someone will have slightly bad RNG and they say, yeah, it's always possible, when they don't actually know what they're talking about. I'd be very interested to play a lot more of it and see how much variance there really is. Time is money, people. Move like you got a purpose. Didn't the devs hint at something secretly happening if you tried to leave the map over the Jade Sea? I don't what do you mean? Leave the map over the Jade Sea? I'm not sure. Well anyway, guys, look, that's gonna be the end of this part of the let's play. Uh, because we've been going six and a half hours here. Um, I want to explore more of this map and chill more on this map. I also want to do the meta. I also want to finish the story. So we'll see how it goes. A uh, bit of a mixed bag there, hearing some of that information there towards the end. Um, I was really, really excited and happy to be that there, and then, and then it turned out we were way off the mark. Like, way off the mark. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Um, thank you to the people who came in the live chat. Uh, thank you for those who are watching the video. Don't forget I did a review. Um, don't forget, if you're going to buy the game, I've got a link in the description. Don't forget, this is a totally normal YouTube video, so if you haven't hit like or dislike yet, please feel free to do that. And, um, I'll see you on the next part tomorrow. Uh, well, actually, might not be tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing, but I think I'm not doing this on weekends. So, um, so yeah, the next part will be when it is. And I'll, I'll, I'll have a review and other stuff of today and all that going up anyway. So, there will be activity. So keep an eye out. Uh, if you want to get in the guild, send me a mail. I'll sort that stuff out. And uh, feel free to join out in Discord. Okay, there you go. I think that's all the stuff. Thank you, everybody. Really. It's been really, really fun. What a crazy day this has been. Thank you, guys. Hope you enjoy. And I'll see you for more End of Dragons very, very soon. Take care. Oh, yeah. There's no disliking left. Yeah. See you, guys. See you in part six.